lovely jewellery makers. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Yes. My mic isn't on. Oh, yeah, I know. So I'm just trying to fill. Oh, uh, we're going to party go. like it's happy birthday okay, to you. <laughs> yes, yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely, Monica. Happy birthday. Thank you. That was a good start, wasn't it? Did you it? like it? <laughs> I know, it's all good. Look, ever, ever the professional, I start filling with all happy birthday songs. I'm sure I could have, should, could have come up with a few more. No, it's fine. Did Stevie Wonder do one? Didn't Stevie oh, Wonder did do it? a happy birthday song? Did he? I don't know, I might, I might be... Oh, do yeah. Yeah. The one I was just singing, yeah. Um, happy birthday. Beatles, did they do a happy birthday song? How did it go, Ross? I've never heard this song in my life. Yeah, something. It's an album Sounds track. Familiar. Have you heard that one? It sounds a bit familiar, yeah. Okay. I wouldn't like to sing it, though. Um, <laughs> I don't know anymore. Anyway, it's Monica's <laughs> birthday show. I already got oh. a card. Got you a have card a card. from the team, which you is really nice. Thank we you have everybody. chocolate. We have balloons. <laughs> what more could we possibly want? Are those balloons for me? They are especially for especially you, my darling. Especially the purple darling. ones. Oh. Uh, Yes, we've thought this through, because you love your purple. What are you doing for your birthday? Anything nice? Well, um, you mean outside of jewellery making? Well, yeah. Because yeah. obviously jewellery um, making is the nicest part. Up, up. <laughs> she says all the right things, doesn't she? Bless her. Um, now, what are you doing? You doing? Well, we're going out for lunch with my parents on Saturday. So. Ah, that's lovely. Yeah, to a nice, nice favourite restaurant of yours. Did you get to choose the restaurant? Beef eater. <laughs> Eat a beefy, I have a voucher for a free pudding, so that's where we have to go. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> Sold. Get me there with a free pudding. Do you know, there's nothing better than something free, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. The kids had um, McDonald's the other day, and they're yeah. at that age now where they don't want the Happy Meals because there's not enough chips. <laughs> so we have to actually order a full adult portion. But I'm like, yay, you get those stickers. And I won one of your the sausage muffin. Oh, yeah. I can't. Yeah, I was like, oh. Ro I did think of you, Ross, actually. Have you have you have you ha have you not had many McDonald's? You've had one. What since baby's been born? Or is that this year? Since the monopoly started. Oh. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, the kids just, different. Just wait until your kids get to the age my son is, because now a Happy Meal isn't big enough, but he still wants the the cup because it's Pokemon cards at the moment. Yes. So that means that he orders a, a, an adult meal, and I have to order the Happy Meal. Oh, that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh well, I'm glad you said that. So I'll keep the co uh, Pokemon cards for yeah. for you then, because they just oh, right. go, they just go in the bin oh, in our house. Yeah. Um, because our kids aren't interested in those. Oh, and it's absolutely bucketing down. We were saying, um, was it you, Dan? That was saying there's something really nice about being indoors when it's chucking down with rain. Yeah. It is calming. Yeah. Um, you know, in the summer when you have like a deluge of rain and you can open the window ever so slightly, it's just a really nice sound. Yeah. Equally in the winter. Yeah, just ultra cosy. We have got a truly super Tuesday, lovely jewellery makers. Of course, it's Monica's show, oh. all about your birthday. <laughs> Shall we start with your kits? Yes. Talk to me about your kits. Well, the nine o'clock kits are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the, the gemstones, the findings in it, oh, it's just, it's, wow. it was so much fun to work with these. Wow. Monica, they're incredible. They, they really are. Oh my goodness me, they belong on the they belong on red carpet. Absolutely I mean, incredible. Maybe I'm biased because I made the jewelry, but still. <laughs> no, you no, it's it's justified. My goodness me, they're absolutely beautiful. They are. They're so these really are nice. your nine o'clock kits. These are my nine o'clock kits. Yeah. Um, and those components, these, you know, you've got uh, so decorative, aren't they? They they are. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Beautifully embellished and encrusted. So those are at nine o'clock. All about your yeah. micro gemstones. Don't be fearful of micro gemstones because they do jump on a beading needle quite easily don't they? I'm going to show you how to thread them on in a quick and easy way. There you go, there you go. Yeah. Um, okay and then your 12 o'clock kit. 12 o'clock we have a loom. Brand new tool! The longest Mark loom. Mark was talking about this yeah. yesterday. This is the longest loom we've ever had. So this loom lets you make things like this little hat here that I brought. Yeah, because you're restricted <laughs> normally on a loom aren't you? Yeah. To about to about what eight inches would you say? Yeah, um, 
I mean, some of them are a bit longer, and there you can sort of wind it yeah. along the loom, but it's a it's a hassle. It's, okay, it's so like not that. ideal, not ideal. Yeah. Um, so the longest loom that we've ever done here at Jewelry Maker is launching at twelve o'clock. So if you are a seed bead enthusiast or an aspiring one, um, then make sure you're tuning in and watching at twelve o'clock today. Your deal of the day is something unlike anything I have seen previously, genuinely ever seen previously here at Jewelry Maker. We have some brand new Olmec Guatemalan jadeite, but okay, um, coming up at 10 o'clock. So that's going to be unbelievable. So, oh, oh, I beg your pardon. Here's me being very specific. Um, we thought it was in particular, we thought it was going to be Guatemalan. We thought it was Bangles. We don't actually know because it is coming in suitcase as we speak. So had a conversation with uh, Dave yesterday. So we'll have clarity. We'll have confirmation during the actual live show. So that's exciting, isn't it? Um, but check out this tea bar, everybody. Look how beautiful this tea bar is. My goodness me. You've got Socorro. You've got some lovely faceted six. Look how pretty that strand is oh. or that tea bar is. Yeah. Meet along length. How amazing are these? Labyrite. Um, is, that, is, is that soda light just here? Demorturite. Oh, guess again. Kyanite. Iolite. Oh my. Have I said demorturite? Okay. Aventurine. Blue Aventurine. Is it Blue Aventurine? Ah, yay. Bring <laughs> I'm it learning. in. Amazing. I'm well learning. done, lovely. <laughs> um, natural Blue Aventurine. Wow. Amazing. So that's coming up in this hour, right? So fabulous. All the wonderful items are locked and loaded on the website. So do take a little look at that. Um, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Um, and you know that some of the items, not necessarily your early bird, will be more uh, limited in their quantity. So do shop ahead as we're talking about early birds. Let me show you these. They're absolutely beautiful. I love them. Um, coming up, we've got them in all three colours. So maybe you could go for a very Cartier-inspired, sort of tri-coloured design. Oopsie, come on, back you come. Um, with genuine turquoise. So you can shop ahead on the yellow and the rose. The silver is actually coming up at nine o'clock. Um, start of the next hour. So you can't get that one as of yet. But look how beautiful they are. Oh. Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Beautiful, just in a slider bracelet or... Yeah, amazing. Just, a, you know, with a bit of chain on either side. For Sterling an silver in a shank, you could make them into rings, rings earrings. Yes. You know, that's the joy of a connector. It's a multitude, isn't it? Um, so shop ahead on the gold and the rose gold. The silver is coming up just the other side of the nine o'clock hour. Also, if I just tip them out, we've got an absolutely amazing deal on your beautiful natural pearls, of which you get a parcel. Um, unbelievable price point we've not seen no I've not seen these Roscoe um, absolutely amazing price they're coming up in the next hour big 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 star buy opportunity on those you can shop ahead on lots of items have a look at the jewelry maker website or the w's at jewelrymaker.com there's your early birds ignore those prices um, there's your meter strands that we were just referencing sakura age flew out yesterday absolutely and whetting your appetite for saturday show with mark there's that labradorite that I was pointing out there's that aventurine there's the amazonite that we were pointing out um, those jadeite those ones there at number 10 are absolutely stunning and 11 sorry um, absolutely stunning Sh uh, pearls you've got some display boxes in there sterling silver if there's anything in particular that you would like uh, monica and i to bring to air drop us a message come say hi and of course lots of birthday wishes for our beautiful purple birthday girl uh, oh. <laughs> look at the purple pearls purple pearls yeah pearls. so you've got to have them <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you've got to have them because it's your birthday. Is there anything you've asked for for your birthday? What are you having for your birthday? Do you know? Uh, well, there's one thing I asked for, which is a, a purple bottle of gin. <laughs> it's more for the uh, bottle, really. But <laughs> yeah, but you've got it. The gin as well is good, isn't it? Well, the gin, yeah, the, gin's the, not the bad. Gin, the gin's good, yeah, too. The gin is nice. It's, ru it's rhubarb and Ooh. ginger. Oh, that sounds nice. It does. Do you mix your, your, your tonic waters as well? Because you get flavoured tonic waters these uh, days. No, don't I don't you? actually like tonic, so I have it with lemonade. Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Very mm. nice. Very nice. I've also tried drinking, I, I don't drink very often, but I always paint this picture like I do. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but gin, instead of a slice of lemon, 
big old chunk of Jaffa orange. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice. it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really nice sort of sliced all the way through. So it's a, a proper circumference of, of orange. Oh, nice. That's good. That's yes. really good. Try it. If you haven't already, try it. It's really nice. Um, okay, we were having a little texting topic earlier on because it started... But How did the conversation start? We were talking about... Oh, oh, that's it. Adam, director Adam said his brother looks like Ollie Murs. I was like, oh, okay, because I've been singing Ollie Murs all morning for some reason. I don't know why. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I said, like, okay, that's an interesting texting topic. Who have you been told that you look like? Hmm. Yeah? Is that a good one? That is a good one, yeah. Yeah. I haven't been told Ross, who have like you been anybody? told that you look like? <laughs> <laughs> Ross has yeah, just I been... see that, I guess, yeah. Ross has said he's been told that he looks a little bit like Paul McCartney. There you go. Which, I mean, that's like the ultimate compliment for Ross. Yeah. <laughs> and who? <laughs> How do I? I'm trying to. I'm trying to word that. The ch the boy child from my kids. My parents are aliens. Right. I've never seen that film, so I See, don't I, know. I only heard uh, the bit. I only heard the bit where you said my parents are aliens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been told a few actually. I've been told I look like from um, Kerry from Catonia. Do you remember Catonia? No. I yeah, don't. that's it. No, not Kerry Katona. No. Ker Ke no, what's the one from... Ah, oh, you give me road rage. What's her name? Keris Matthews, thank you. I've been told I look like her before. Catatonia, that's where the mix-up, not Kerry Katona. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I don't know, you might be thinking that now. Um, I've been doing a few before. I used to have short hair. I used to have really short hair, so that's why mine's uh, quite, right. quite mixed. What about you, Dan? Who have you been told you look like? Uh, there's an actor called Nicholas Holt. Involved. Nicholas Holt? Yeah. Yeah? Has he got smouldering blue eyes? I think so, yeah. yeah there, you go, there you go. Text in! So what celebrities have you been told you look like? I thought that was nice to have a nice fun text topic. Yeah. Um, OK, shall we get cracking, everybody? Because we've got lots of beautiful items to bring you. Let's have a thoroughly interactive show because it's Monica's birthday. <laughs> we've got balloons and chocolate and what more could we possibly want? Um, OK, a lovely, a lovely lineup. So Dave is stepping into the studio at 10 o'clock this morning um, with what will be an entire surprise a complete surprise shall we get cracking roscoe let's do it um <clears throat> we're gonna start with oh the small back uh, black displays get your words out l these ones oh, i've not seen these before oh. they're fabulous oh they've been on here once oh. before you do get you do get two of them so great if you display rings earrings so then you, people aren't actually physically touching your products yeah. your gemstones and your sterling silver um, and obviously if you retail not only that if you haven't got a business and you don't necessarily sell they're nice for gifting yes and they're also really lovely to display your gemstones um look monica oh no <laughs> <laughs> Your beautiful face. It's raining monikers. It's raining monikers. Ah, oh, it's <laughs> lovely. Um, how about two pound per display case? And they come with a sleeve as well. Oh, so if you are nice. thinking about gifting, or like I said, you've got gemstones in your stash yeah. that are too beautiful that you'd be hidden away. Just have them yeah. on your on a shelf. I mean, I've got one of the one of the round uh, jadeite. Yeah. Pendants, I guess you would call them. Yeah. Uh, in one of these, a slightly bigger one, but I've got that in one of these on yeah. my shelf yeah it's, it dust no dust no yeah. moisture and everyone can get to it um hello marishka lovely saying good morning jewelry maker happy birthday monica oh, looking forward to today's show monica's jewelry is always amazing oh. here here totally agree with you there um there's a nice message coming through from lovely mark hello mark oh. saying good morning lovely team happy birthday monica oh, thanks, have mark. the most wonderful day you deserve every success and even more happiness oh, oh thank bless you. you mark isn't he such a sweetheart you see all these mark. messages that's the best birthday present it is yeah. it is i agree yeah. i do agree it's such a sweetheart mark um yeah keep those messages coming through but because we've got to move that price point haven't we it's already amazing it's uh, well, there she is. <laughs> it's raining, Monica. Hallelujah. It it's doesn't quite right. <laughs> no, not quite. roll off the tongue as well. <laughs> <Not quite. laughs> but I thought, yeah, give it a whirl. Uh, one pound and 99 pence only. Oh, for both? For both. You get two, oh, so fabulous. it's a pound each. Oh. Amazing. I mean, you can incorporate that into your costs. 
and, yeah. and and also we don't I run out of display boxes to gift jewellery, so I'm yeah. always looking for them. I like this as an alternative. It is. It's, it's, it's a bit different as a, as a gift box, isn't it? But, yeah. Yeah. It's nice, because whatever you put in it doesn't just, like, roll around inside, no. does it? You know? just, just so you know, there's that kind of rubbery. Yeah. It's not rubber, but you get the idea. It's kind of like a smooth, springy... Yeah. There you go. So, here you are. One prime example. I can do this. Oh, there you go. Perfect. And you're protecting it, you know, you're showcasing it. Nobody's damaging your gemstones or your sterling silver. If you're gifting, it looks absolutely beautiful because it creates a frame. One pounds and 99 pence. Do shop ahead because we've got the other sizes as well. If you are thinking of stocking up your stashes, lots of you multi-buying on this. They are great, aren't they? Because they keep all the dust off. They'll keep, you know, um, moisture as well. So anything that could potentially damage your jewellery or your gemstones. Um, more messages coming through. Hello, Alison in London. And Monica has given me the joy and confidence to see bead. Happy birthday. I can't wait to see all the other jewellery maker Monica Woff entries. Yes, yes I agree we with haven't that. mentioned that, have we? Let's talk no. about that. Well, there's a special wall of fame for yeah. my birthday. Yay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, I believe the prize, I believe three people are going to win £50. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And... There's also a giveaway, isn't there? Yes, there's a there's a pretty good giveaway. I well, I think it's a good one. It's definitely <laughs> it's definitely a good giveaway. And how do we get the giveaway? Is it entering the wall of fame? Entering entering the wall of fame. There so. you go. So we'll announce that a little bit later on at twelve o'clock today. Um, okay, let's do medium size. So maybe. So what they're winning? Here we go. Um, beautiful jewelry created by. <laughs> Uh, by yours truly, lovely Monica. Well, Ross is just, I'm chuckling because Ross is like, I have said this right, this is what we're giving away, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. We're not just. Uh, no, yes. yeah. Her favourite ever piece of jewellery that she wears every single piece of jewellery. Yeah, I, I, I brought this in. I brought this in because I thought maybe if, if somebody um, who's not a seed beater were to win the prize, then mm. at least, you know, everybody loves pearls, don't they? Everybody does love pearls. Every, and I'm not sure, but is the giveaway for only people who send in to the Wall of Fame or is it for everybody? Um, I should know this. It's a giveaway for anyone yeah. shopping during the show, so we will select one person at the end right. of the show. Awesome. Anybody right. shopping, and you'll get this piece of jewellery. Um, and the the fifty pounds is for your wall of fame. Yes, and it's not just the jewellery as well. No, because I've also brought in four of my DVDs and four of my booklets. There well. you go, amazing. I particularly like the fact you've got a chihuahua in that beaded frame. Yeah, that's my mom's chihuahua. I mean, I love chihuahuas. Mm. I'm obsessed with chihuahuas. Um, we're at twelve ninety nine. You get the two of them as well. Y yeah, there was a little chihuahua that needs rescuing near me, and I'm like. Please, Tom, can we get the chihuahua? Oh, Please. My mum is 16 years old. She's they live a long birthday, time, don't yeah. they? Bless them. Bless them. 2 99 only. I like the fact that chihuahuas, they've got that kind of feisty personality, haven't they? Yeah. Although she was quite, quite well, I say was because now she's so old, she can barely walk and she oh. can't really see very well. <laughs> but she, she was quite feisty, but not like most chihuahuas. She didn't bark and snap and no. stuff like that. So she was reasonably calm, even yeah. with my son when he was very little. She, oh, was, she was quite good. So. Good chihuahua. Yeah. Uh, Two ninety nine. well done, everybody. They're cute, aren't they? To be honest, I love all the dogs. There's not a single dog that I don't love. Yeah, love that's all. true. The, I say it every day, they're the best species on the planet. Mm. Um, okay, moving on to white medium. So again, it's just about the frame and you've got the sleeve. So if you are thinking about gifting, um, beautiful. You could put not just, you know, you can put your uh, chains in here. Um, you can put, uh, maybe you collect specimens of gemstones. Yeah. You see, that's the size I've got for my jadeite pendant as well. Oh, yeah, perfect yeah, for your perfect. master carvings, aren't they? Because they've got that, I don't know how to describe this. Uh, it's very stretchy. That, it so. makes a makes a little noise, doesn't it? So yeah. you can put something quite deep in there because obviously the, the carvings are really deep. Mm. Mm. And it fits in there beautifully. Yeah, it kind of wraps yeah. itself around, doesn't it? Two ninety nine gets you both of them as well. So, and we have got the smaller size um, of the white too, so you can shop ahead on them. Also, um, amazing. You can see the sizes there. So these are seven by two um, squared, <coughs> and then two 
0.3 millimetres um, in terms of the depth. That's talking about the hard case, though, because you have got the give, in the, as Monica yes. was just saying, um, in the centre. Hello, Christine, Marishka, Maker, Pauline, Kim, Kim. Hello to you, new customer, Karen. Nice to see you all this morning. I hope you're well. Is it bucketing down by you as well? Because it is here. You could hear the rain inside. Um, hello, Diane in Channel R saying, Happy birthday, Monica. I have been told I looked like Jamie Lee Curtis when I was young. Oh, that's nice. Diane, see now she's beautiful, Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah. So beautiful. She still is, I mean. Oh, yeah, absolutely. She's, she's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. She's, uh, yeah, I mean, I saw a, vi um, a film of, or a video of her and she's, she was champion in one of the award ceremonies, I think it was, to get on. No, no, it was some kind of uh, musician to do a, like a, a matinee show. She was like, because I want to be in bed by nine o'clock. I'm like, I hear you, Jamie. I hear you. I want to be in bed by nine o'clock as well. Yeah, she's amazing and very beautiful as well, Diane. Yeah. So that's a compliment, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. A real compliment. Keep those messages coming through. Jamie Lee Curtis. What's that video with her and... Um, What's his name? John Travolta. Where they're yeah. doing the. Yeah. Is where they're doing. Is it off Saturday Night? Pulp Fiction. Mm. It's not Pulp Fiction. No. Where yeah. they're doing like the aerobics in the eighties, and they're just like giving each other the eye across the room, and it's Jamie Lee Curtis yeah. in a leotard. Have you not seen it? Source. No, I saw the I saw the movie. I can't think of the title. I can't think of no. it. I, but yeah, it, have you not um. seen it? John Travolta, Jamie. Yeah, but if Jamie you just Lee Google Clinton, John, John Travolta, Travolta and that's it. That's it. Is yeah. it? I don't think I've ever seen the it film. Is. To be honest, no, I saw. I saw the film. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Is it? Is it a bit risque? Is it a bit risque or something? I don't know. It seems it's kind of. It's kind of. Mm, do you remember Flash Dance? Oh yeah. It's a similar sort of a and and Grease and and you know those kind of dancey movies. Ah oh, okay. Yeah, it was good. okay. Now, I'll show you the two sizes next to one, <laughs> so you can tell. There you go. Um, so you can see, decipher the difference between them effectively. So these are the large, um, these are the medium. So you can decipher between the two. I do apologise if I've picked up the wrong ones. That's highly probable. I don't know. Um, anyway, both incredible prices. And, you know, so if I put the small black ones next to it, you can measure them up alongside. There you go. So you get an idea of scale there, don't you? So we're going to do a black large are we doing now? Right, uh, okay. That's these. <laughs> I'm so confused, Monica. I'm I suppose so... if you're looking at the sizes, if you imagine a, what you usually get as a bracelet gift box, that's the largest one. Yeah. The smallest one is about the size of a, a pair of earring or ring yeah. gift box, and then the one in between is in between. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Small, medium, large. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. There you go. Yep. <laughs> I agree with you, though. Ring earrings, big but necklaces or bangles, yeah. everything else. Yeah. In between. <laughs> everything in between. Absolutely. <laughs> um, perfect. Hello to you, Sean in Cardiff. Bless oh, you, Sean. Hi, saying, George. happy birthday, Monica. Thank, oh, thank you, you for all your incredible inspiration, tuition, and for being utterly fabulous. Oh. Love and hugs to you both. <laughs> Mwah. Oh, Nice. Our oh, viewers are so lovely. Yeah. So yeah. lovely. You are an inspiration. You really are. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I remember our first show together. Do you? Do you know, I was just watching a recording of a, about six, six or eight months ago. You were telling that same story. Was I? Sorry, yeah. I like a broken record. I talk about it No, too. but it's all right. I like hearing it. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember, genuinely, I remember the first show I ever did with Monica. And, just, and I came off air and I remember speaking to the powers that be. And I was like, she's awesome. Wow. She's absolutely <laughs> awesome. I remember it clearly, vividly. How could you quite possibly forget? Right, sorry. I've put those away. These are the white large. These ones, these ones that I've just put away. There you go. Um, so grab those. Four ninety nine gets you two of them. How amazing is that? Um, but they're always needed, aren't they? Display boxes, whether you're physically displaying them for your jewellery or whether you're using them to present and gift. Um, they're definitely needed. And I like the idea that you've suggested there, Monica, actually putting things like your jade art carvings yeah, in there. Yeah, absolutely. 
Because, because it's going to look after them, isn't it? Exactly. Gonna... I mean, I have it on my shelf and I've got some of my display busts with my jewellery behind it. And I keep knocking it off the shelf every five minutes. So it's landed on the floor so many times yeah. and it, it hasn't damaged at all. And never mind the, what's inside, but the box itself hasn't gotten damaged. Yeah. So it's really it's really. Well, sturdy. it's like a case to your phone, isn't it? Yeah. You're, pr you're, you're protecting it effectively, exactly. aren't you? Yeah. Um, make sure you're checking those out and don't forget to shop ahead on your early birds, those beautiful Sleeping Beauty connectors. Um, that, uh, that are available in the yellow gold and the rose gold this hour. And then we're going to do the silver um, in the next hour. Also, those amazing pearls. Keep those messages coming through. We want to know what celebrity have you been told you look like? I think that's a good one, isn't it? Mm. It is, yes. It's a good it's texting one. topic. I, I don't think we've ever yeah. done that one before. I'm not sure if we have. Yeah. Um, amazing. Um, well done, everybody. Congratulations. Now, we have found one of the most popular items of this year. So we've had 500, right? And there are 28 left. The oh, yeah. Really, yeah. Sterling silver featherweight head, uh, head pins. Um, record time sellout. I'm not surprised. Um, and that's because... These aren't just any featherweight head pins as well. They're of a certain size. They're not the massive long ones. They're very straight, so they're great if you wanted to use them with, um, with earrings, for example. Um, do you agree? You're not, you're not necessarily going to need to cut much off that. Oh, no, those are perfect. They're, they're really useful, that length. Because, <clears throat> I mean, the, the, the silver-plated featherweight head, head pins that we usually have in, mm. the, in, the, in the sort of finding kits... Those are those are longer, but I almost always have to cut them shorter. Yeah. So this is really good because you're not wasting any silver. And they're poker straight, aren't they? Oh yeah, which which really helps. Really, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So great alongside Monica's nine o'clock kits as well. We had five hundred. These sold out in a matter of minutes, like literally a couple of minutes. Um, two and a half grams of your precious nine two five sterling silver, and they're thirty millimeters in their length. Um, yeah, I remember that pivoting that moment in time when we first saw the uh, featherweight head pin, yeah. and it was like. Oh my goodness! Where have these been all our lives? Because you know, it's it's it, it. Normally, the head pins before, like you said, were just a yeah. bit thicker, so you couldn't put them through your micro gemstones. Yeah. It's a pack of fifty. It's raining, Monica. <laughs> Hallelujah! It's raining, Monica. Fourteen ninety nine. Oh, Amazing! Wow. I am happy, Pappy. How about an under £10 deal for the final 28 opportunities? 60 seconds on your screens. You know, we always price compare things, but I don't think I've ever seen featherweight head pins anywhere else. That's a good point. That's a really good point. I've looked, and I can't find them anywhere else. Hmm. Mm. That's a really good point. You just buy the normal head pins, yeah, so don't you? Yeah, somehow they, they, there's this sort of standard thickness of head pins. And yeah, that, that's like how they all come. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what the thickness is, but... Yeah, Whereas but these... Are much finer. I'm going to say probably about what do you reckon? 0. 0.4? Yeah, maybe even less. Maybe than that. even less than that. Yeah. Um, so they're going to feed through all of your smaller uh, drill gemstones. Under ten pound deal, jewelry makers snaffle them whilst you get the opportunity because we don't have them very often. Um, we had 500 when we first launched these, and they've absolutely flown out. And they're in must, aren't they? The thing is, absolutely. you know, look at your kits, for example. At nine o'clock, you're going to need head pins. Yep. I mean, I used them actually in the in the very last pair of earrings in the, the with the gold the stone. Yeah. And you can see those are not the dead straight ones that I used. Are they, are <laughs> they the wiggly waggly ones? They're a little bit wiggly waggly, yes. I, that, I think that's sweet. Very sweet. But <laughs> yeah. if you do want them poker straight, then these are the yeah. featherweight head pins for you. Eight ninety nine. well done. Gail, Marion, Teresa, Karen, Julie, Cumbria, Dawn, uh, Jill, Angela, Merian, hello to you. Anthony and Kay, Christine, Mary and Kent, well done. Make sure you are checking out. Um, we had 28 and these are flying, so it's going to be an on screen sell out imminently you would you could absolutely use these prime example if i put it alongside like the connector that we've got coming up yeah. um i've just picked up the silver obviously because it goes alongside the head pins but if you wanted to put that on a featherweight uh, a slider bracelet job done um now we had 500 i'm now down to the last 10 yeah down to the last 10 of these i would get those because i i, I can't imagine when we're going to have 
them again. No. It'll be a while. Well, it's, it's that old conversation, isn't it? They're meant to be essentials. They're meant to yeah. be always in stock. But unfortunately, we don't always have them in stock. Yeah. Um, Jill in Sussex, I have been told that I licked... Uh, uh, sorry, I look... <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let me just double check. No, it is just coffee in that cup. Sorry. <laughs> I have been told that I look like Linda Nolan and Bernie Nolan, one of the Bernie sisters. Uh, yes. Nolan sisters. <laughs> no. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, Jill. I apologise. Oh, what did the Nolan sisters sing? And I like the Nolan sisters. They all seem very sweet. Yeah. Don't they? What did they sing, the Nolan sisters? One of them is on Loose Women, yeah. yeah. Um, ah, again, beautiful, beautiful ladies, yeah. aren't they? Lovely ladies. Lovely well, ladies. Yeah. Beautiful in many ways as well, not just that in yeah. terms of the, you know, the outside. They're beautiful in their person. Although I don't know them personally, they seem that way. Um, there are loads of messages, and we will make sure we, we bring as many as we possibly can to air. Um, amazing. So keep them coming through. They've sold out. Amazing. Well done. Um, okay, now for... Oh, I'm going to make a right hash of this, aren't I? Oh. Surprisingly, no. Um, okay. Lots of birthday messages. We will try and show them. But, Monica, you're a popular Aww. girl, my lovely. <laughs> um, oh, my goodness me. There's two. Wow. Only yesterday, San and Scan in a bangle. Uh, only yesterday we were discussing, uh, we actually had brought up live the First Dibs website and showed you all the different jade bangles, didn't we? We showed you jadeite jades. I didn't. I don't believe there was a San and Scan on there, which is a variety of jade. Now I can tell you that Cartier are launching. Oh well, they have. They've launched San and Scan um, within their collection, um, but they're little. They're faceted. They're faceted rounds in amongst a, a bracelet that's very cactus inspired. Um, but they are bringing a bangle as well. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's actually been launched to the world as of yet. Um, Really? So, um, sorry, Ross is just searching the WWWs. And he said, I, I, I might be wrong. He said, but I can't find a, a, a single other San and Scan bangle anywhere else. Well, it is that new. And, you know, this is why our team travel uh, to the extent that they do. And look, they're not going on a jolly. It's lovely to go and see these countries, but they are working when they're there. Like I can, I can speak from experience. When I went to India and when, uh, with work, when I went to Tucson with work, it's graft. Yeah. They do not stop, yeah. especially with Jake. With Jake, my goodness yeah. me, he's a grafter. <laughs> anyway, you don't stop. Um, so, and the reason why they go is because, is because they're looking for the next find like this. Yeah. Yeah. This is a San and Scan is in its absolute infancy right you know we know that cartier have got it we know that cartier are launching a bangle we sourced our san and scan from the same uh supplier as cartier so is that a type of it's a type of jade all oh, right it's a type of jade a new discovery that comes from pakistan oh how amazing, amazing is that? Wow. How amazing. Um, and it brings you this really beautiful... This is as close as we'll ever get to Imperial Green Jadeite. Yeah. Now is the time to be getting hold of San and Scan because the price is only ever going to go up, uh, like I said. And we've also said quite adamantly, haven't we, that this is probably going to be the only San and Scan bangle we ever bring because they're being cut for Cartier now and we can't compete with Cartier's budgets. You know, it's a completely different entity, isn't it, um, in terms of their... Uh, in, in terms of how much they're going to sell them for. You know, we talk about 300, 400% markup with Cartier. It's probably even more than that. £699. We've only got two of them available. It is one of the larger bangles as well. You've got 28 minutes to get hold of this. It's 325 carats in that natural wow. colour. It's amazing. Um, Ross, if you, I know what you're, you're about to bring. and I'm kicking myself because I miss... I was, over, I was down my brother's on the weekend and I forgot to tune in and get my, my Malachite bangle. In the next hour, um, I really need to buy this. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, this was launched on Saturday. I had wow. complete presenter envy. I'll just take this one. <laughs> it's, oh my goodness me. Wow. Oh. <gasps> 
Malachite. The first ever Malachite bangle that we've ever done here at Jewelry Maker. How stunning is that? Wow, it's gorgeous, isn't it? It really is. Now, can I just tell you, look at the, look, look at, look at the peacock size. Yeah. There are 12 left. Say 11, please. Please, 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 please. Oh, my goodness me. It's all natural. Coming up in the next hour. Okay. It's probably one of the most beautiful things ever. Okay, they're not having that. They're not. They're, you, you will... You will have to wrestle this off me, you know, you know. I app. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Not yet, though. Not yet. I might as well wear it, didn't I? Um, okay. Let's do... <gasps> Two strands. These are lovely. I, I gravitated towards these. Two jadeite strands. A little mini high goose. Look at how beautiful these are. Oh, my goodness me. How amazing. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, so... So one is whiter and one is greener. Okay, so we're just going to confirm which uh, graphics are correct for them. Um, how amazing are these? So you're basically, effectively, getting the two strands, aren't you, yes. in one? Yes. I but mean, normally, if you get the sort of the little high goose on a strand, there's nothing in the middle. But here, they've sort of maximised the, the gems that they can fit on a strand. Yeah. Mm. But imagine the loss. Imagine yeah. the loss, because, right, we're going to start with the whiter of the two. Um, so not only are you getting creating these little high goos, mini donuts, effectively, which are very challenging. That's by hand, by the way. Not only that, you've got to put the drill hole in the hole, you know, through it, effectively. Loads of you have already got this in your, um, in your basket. So um, we had originally 51. Now we're down to the final um, six. There's lots of you already getting involved. I'm not surprised. This blows my mind in terms of the challenge of actually cutting and carving. Six of you have already got this in your basket. We're at £499. Look at that amazing translucency. Look at the beautiful pure colour. You've got whites, lavenders and greens. See the, Look how strong that lavender round is there, the one perfectly circled. It's extremely gemmy, absolutely. Some of the most translucent uh, um, quality. This was launched by Dave and what Ross has just said to me and my ear producer Ross, he said, I can't believe the price that Dave took this to. Okay, I'm intrigued because I've not seen this strand yeah. before. Far too low, says Roscoe. He thought it was going to be a 249 strand. Look at the craftsmanship that's gone into those. They're hand carved. We're not going to dilly dally, we're going to go straight down to it. Just restrand that. I like yeah. the fact you've got a little Brucey bonus four yeah, million. I was there thinking as well. of that as well, yeah. Oh, oh. if you were. £99.99. Oh, wow. Yeah, one little yeah. set. So you could get your featherweight head pins that we've just had. Yeah, absolutely. One four mil, high goo with a four mil inside, £99.99. Yeah. yeah. Even pop an extra little four mil if you want. Absolutely. How amazing. Beautiful for earrings as well. Yeah, beautiful. I like the fact I like the fact that you've got a little Brucey bonus formula in there. It's like, woo, winning, yay! I get an extra one. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yay! Um, that might not be on every strand, though. No, I'm not <laughs> guaranteeing that. I think that is basically a um, well. If you do get it, then it's probably the one that I'm actually holding in the studio. Look at your split payments. I've got six of them left. Cumbria, you've got yours. I've got Michelle in Wales. I've got California. I've got Anne in Cardiff. I've got Maker in London. I've got Swansea, um, and I've also got another anonymous maker. I've only got six available. Make sure you're ready to check those out. Um, one in California, one in Michelle, one in Cumbria, one in... Oh, I can't... Six. Derbyshire's bringing it in as well. Keep those messages coming through. Happy birthday messages for our lovely Monica. And also, what celebrity have you been told you look like? There you go. Back to the strand, though. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was just thinking... I mean, if you think about the care that's been taken with the yeah. strand, you know, just to thread it on, it's not straightforward to thread on with the four millimetre in the middle because you have to align the holes. 
Yeah, um, that's true. You know, so they could have just stranded them off one off to the other and left out the one in the middle. Yeah. But they haven't. I mean, you know, it, it takes well, a while just to strand that up. Absolutely. And, it, and, and it's a case of, you know, if you think about your high goose strands, which we have done before, you know, you've got that space, haven't you? Yes. They're, big, they're bringing you as much carrot weight as they possibly absolutely. can in this one strand, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Because they're even filling in the sort of negative space yeah. in the centre. How amazing. Yeah, that's, that's at least an extra half a strand in the yes, middle. Yes, absolutely. Out, you know. There's only there's two left, right, and 19 of you with it in your basket. It's amazing. OK, let's bring you the green variety. So, yeah. You can see it's much more spearminty, this colour. Absolutely gorgeous. Classic. Yeah, look at this. Look, look, look. Wow. It's raining, Monica. This one's also got the bonus bead in. Maybe Where's the one? bonus bead? Maybe that's the right thing. Hand. Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe they added that in to get the, the full length of the strand. Maybe that is a thing. Look at how gemmy these are. Look at how imperial these are. I'm not, sit not going to sit here and say this is imperial, Jade. I'm not going to do that because obviously we know that it's that really vibrant emerald green. However, it's some of the closest I've seen in person. How gemmy, how vibrant in their colour, how beautiful. They do look like they're melting, don't they? Oh, yes, absolutely. Oh, my goodness, this strand's insane. £99.99. and pence. We've only got how many of these? Six as well, Okay. Um, hello to you, Anne in Cardiff. Happy birthday, Monica. Aww, Have a lovely, you. a wonderful day, she says. Aww, thank you. That's nice. Ah, oh, bless you. In lovely Cardiff. I love Cardiff. Cardiff's, Cardiff's one of my favourite cities. Um, hello, Jenny in West Sussex. Say morning, everyone, and happy birthday, Monica. Aww. Elle, my dad says you look like Jerry Hall because of your lovely hair. Yeah, oh, bless I you. See that. Thank yeah. you. I'll take yes. that one. Thank you very much to your dad. <laughs> Jerry Hall. Didn't she... I'm trying to think now. Is she the one that worked that married um, Mick Jagger? Yeah, that's mm. it. I'll definitely take that. Thank you very much. Um, Gloria in Staffordshire saying, Happy birthday, Monica. I was told I look like Sharon Stone. Oh. On more than one occasion when I was younger. Gloria. Sauce. Yeah, she's beautiful and like looks amazing. Now, well, there you go. I like it because I can visualize you all now. Yeah, I imagine exactly. this Sharon Stone. Yeah. Um, there's uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Watching. Jamie Lee Curtis. We've got a bunch of hotties watching Jewelry Maker, haven't we? Amazing. Keep these coming through because I can visualise you then. Um, amazing. Are you coming to the ball? Is Jamie Lee Curtis and, and, and Sharon Stone coming to the ball? I just wonder. Just that'd be fun, wouldn't it? Can you imagine? Um, let's do what? Sorry. Ah, oh, a meter long strand of beautiful topaz. Oh, Look wow. at this. Wow. Yeah, you'll have all the all the jewelry maker crew and gems crew volunteering. Who's coming? Sorry, a lady that looks like Sharon Stone. I'll be there. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's amazing, isn't she? Um, I tell you, who I saw in person was um, Emma Thompson. She's oh. stunning, Emma Thompson. Wow. Yeah beautiful when i see when you see her in person i mean she's beautiful on air as well but you know when you fully appreciate someone's beauty yeah she's very tall mm. very very tall but stunning and just has this grace Aww. lovely lovely grace um anyway right look at this for a strand how often do we see oh my goodness me colorless topers at this size Wow. Because they tend to be more your three mils, don't they? Yes, that's what I was thinking. I don't think I've ever seen them that big I before. think it's only right, Monica, yes. that we do has this. To, has to be. <laughs> um, and then maybe we do this. Yeah, and wait, 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 wait. Stay. And then maybe we do this. Mm. Would you like that, Kate? Oh, very vintage, isn't it? Beautiful. How lovely would that be? Oh. Oops, come on. You get the idea. All of these are coming your way. Oh, I mean, white topaz will complement everything. It doesn't matter yeah. what I reach for. It's going to work with your spinels. It's going to work with all of your nine o'clock kits. It's going to be absolutely stunning with pearls, isn't it? It's going to be beautiful alongside jade eye. Everything, whatever I reach for. It's a full metre long strand. Pristine eye clean clarity. Um, and... With, when, when it comes to topaz, it's, um, I've often said this multiple times, it's a naturally brilliant forming gemstone. It can be faceted many times more times than a diamond is. 
So it brings you loads of amazing brilliance. Um, at £299 already, people shopping ahead on this, I need to get hold of some of these because this is my this is our opportunity to add that sparkle. Okay. And like I said, not just be a... Th I mean, I love three mils, don't get me wrong, but not just the smaller sizes. I don't recall ever doing a faceted six millimetre round topaz strand. No, Let's I ask the team, one. Roscoe, how many six millimetre faceted topaz strands do we have in our vault? I don't remember ever seeing them before. No. One, two, three or four millimetre. Yeah, yes. I agree. Yes. I don't think I've seen any bigger than that. How many have we got of these? 30 available. I know it's going to get boring, isn't it? I will stop, sorry. 99.99, look wow. at all the sparkle. And that's effectively, that's three strands worth there. Yes, good yeah. point. That is a good point. And it's totally natural, pristine eye clean clarity. It's that eye clean, you can see the cord running yeah. through. So again, if you imagine those featherweight head pins, oh, absolutely. you know, it's gonna be oh, so if beautiful. If something silver more. inside, it'll give us give it even more sparkle, yeah, won't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Well done. We have oh, are we not stopping there? Is that not the price? Ooh. Even though there's a meter. Giant price crash coming your way. And we'll do so in 60 seconds. Oh, you want to see the leg, man? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Ross, I didn't hear you. Ross is like, can you show... <laughs> Elle, can you show us the legs? Yes, I can certainly do that, Ross. Ooh, look at that. Oh, my goodness me. Oh my goodness me, for a hundred pounds. I mean, look, you could just oh, restrand it, knot it, yeah. Marlas. Have we ever thought about a topaz Marla? Wow. How amazing that would be. Ah, oh, and of course it's November's birthstone too. Oh, right, yeah. You could do your kiss crosses with these. You could do... Ooh, that would be sparky, wouldn't, wouldn't it? it just? God. Oh my goodness, it's Monica, the opportunity... beads. Oh. I'm amazed. I mean, there's loads of you there already, but and I don't know what Ross has taken this to. I'll be really honest, because I was quite happy at ninety-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence, but apparently there's a gigantic, gigantic price jump about to happen. Ooh. How, we had thirty, did you say? Wow, that's three oh, strands. And <laughs> I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but I think this is the only faceted six millimeter topaz strand we've brought to air. I don't. I might be wrong, but I don't recall. I think is the, the, the you know the, the real message here. We've had two mil, three mil, four mil. I know that we've had the smaller sizes, which are amazing, yeah. absolutely amazing. Imagine incorporating those with this. Yes. Oh yes. Be nice, like a to like a three millimeter topaz tassel. Imagine if you did a, a kiss cross, and instead of seed beads, you use sort of like the two or three millimeter oh. topaz, and then use these as the bigger ones. Ooh, See, that's red carpet celebrity yeah. worthy, isn't it? Amazing. Um, Forty nine ninety nine. Good luck, everybody. It's effectively two and a half strands, isn't it? Yeah. No. Well, three. It's almost three strands. Almost yeah. three strands. Um, and your faceted six millimeter, genuine natural Brazilian topaz. It tends to be smaller sizes that we see in your uh, in topaz. Um, so six is really exciting. Pamela, Jean, London, Molly, Helen, uh, new customer. Make sure you're checking out your basket. Next up, he's doing all these. Uh, um, you're building, aren't you? It's like it's like he, the tension. It's like I'm going to pause, just for effect, aren't you, Roscoe? He's like next up, the labradorite. <laughs> Love it, Ross. <laughs> Love it. Um, oh, <laughs> you have brain fog. Yeah, I get that. I get that a lot. Look at how beautiful these Ooh. are together. Oh, just put some of your micro black spinel in there. Oh my goodness me, I need these two. How amazing wow. are they as a combination? Two meters, topaz and natural labradorite. Look at the quality of the labradorite goodness you've got. Me. That's stunning, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. I can see all the blues all the way from here. Hang on, speaking of blues. Oh, yeah. Get some of your lovely goldstone from your mm. nine o'clock kits. Oh. Ah. Uh, oh. Look at the sparkle coming from all of that. I know. I know. I feel like I need to start making kits again. How lovely are they? 
Oh my goodness, those are the gold stone coming from Monica's kits. How beautiful, a meter. I don't want to separate them, they are, they are separate. So if you want the topaz, we've just brought it to you. If you want the labyrinth, but look how perfect they go alongside one another. A meter and 300 carats, a beautiful labyrinth. Six to seven millimeters, what? 39 pounds wow. and 99 pence. Look at the amount of labyrinth that you're seeing within this strand. A beautiful, beautiful phenomena effect. I, I just love the fact that it's the soft cashmere. On the, on the recording, they look a bit darker, don't they, than they do here in the studio. Um, but they are that soft cashmere grey, and then they just light up like you've got the northern lights captured within. It's magical, and it's totally and utterly natural. Goes perfectly with the colourless uh, um, colourless topaz that we've just brought you. Jerry, Nottinghamshire, Maker, congratulations to you. Keep those messages coming through, everybody. Are you going to kiss cross it, knot it, marla it, stretchy bracelets, whatever it might be? amazing right i feel like they need to go together do you know what? these are the first strands that i gravitated to this morning these three. Oh, look at that whole bundle mm -hmm. yeah would you like that as well yes yes please yes yes please, please. can i sign up for that yep oh, <laughs> oh you know we we sell created stones don't we like yes. this yes Whereas these are Mother Nature created. Yes. That blue aventurine, which Monica clocked it. Yes. <laughs> Monica's like, that's aventurine. Amazing. I didn't. I took a few guesses. Is totally natural. Totally and utterly natural. You get, again, magical aventurescence that occurs naturally within this gemstone. The re you know, that blue, that cobalt blue is so rare in Mother Nature. Yeah. There is no enhancement whatsoever. Now, there are 17 available. And that 17 are about to disappear. Natural blue. It does look tanzanite yeah. blue. I agree. I totally agree. Like quad A tanzanite blue. Um... If it were quad eight hands tonight, then you could add many a digit <laughs> to that price point. Absolutely. Um, we're going to do it in one price crash and we're not even stopping. Did you say not stopping at a hundred pounds? Oh. Madness, says Ross. What? <laughs> so wait a minute. Nineteen ninety nine for natural aventurine. How long is the strand? A meter. A meter. It oh wouldn't be nineteen ninety nine for a thirty eight centimeter strand, let alone a meter. So wait, wait, wait. Can we just do a tot up of these three strands together? And by the way, there's not ne maybe there's a lag on our call screens, but there's not nearly enough people coming. Oh right, okay, there is. That's all right then. Um, if you wanted all three, which is three meters of natural, 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 no enhancement whatsoever. So, 19.99, Roscoe. How much is the topa? 110, thank you. For, I know it's, look, 110 pounds, but it's three meters. You're gonna get a lot of jewelry out of that. Yeah, I was gonna say, how much jewelry can you make from that? Goodness me. I, I, if, if, yeah, okay, Ross is just saying, the way the phone lines are right now, if we had 100, they would have still sold out. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Oh, wow. It's natural in colour. You compare the different blue gemstones that are actually out there. You know, what is there? Sapphire? Well, how much would this be if it was sapphire? There's, can we refresh our call screens? Because it's just blank. Um, it's sold out. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. The Brocks first. I did uh, clock Dan walking across with these absolutely mm. amazing pearls. How can you, how can you miss it <laughs> going across the studio? It's like that. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Um, this is the one that you're going to be actually getting. So let me hold this up to the neckline, I think, because then you'll see them all. Absolutely beautiful. These are enormous. And I know that graphics say Baroque. I think they're more fireballs, personally. Would you agree? I would, yes. Which, there is only one. This is the one that you're getting. We cannot go a single penny lower. Look at the sashes of purple, the beautiful papayas. There was only ever, uh, sorry, 14 ever purchased. Um, 
I've got one of them left. They go right the way up to 18 millimeters. In fact, I think they're a bit bigger than that. The ones that you can see sort of front and center, um, I think they're actually tiptoeing over 20 millimeters personally. Um, this is the one that you're actually getting. So you can see the amazing quality. You can oh. see how smooth the Nacre surface is. They're all natural. There's no, uh, oh my goodness me, there's no dyeing process. If you dyed it, you wouldn't get that you know, cocktail of colors. You have seven minutes to make your confirmations. I'm going to leave that with you because there's only one. Let's bring you the, the beautiful metallic rounds. These are amazing. Mm -hmm. And they're slightly graduated, ever so slightly graduated. Now, there's only two available. You will need to be quick to get hold of these. Wow. We're going to go straight down to that price tag. 11 to 10 millimeters. Near rounds, I think we've had on the size of caution there. Close out deal for £199 only. Wow. Naturally metallic. Did you say I've got one? Two. So Eileen, if you check out, uh, and you've also got five minutes, it's on five ways split pay. I don't know why, um, but it's only available for five minutes. I've got two available jewelry makers. You can add extra to your basket. You won't get them. Unfortunately, we've only got two. Um, and it's going to be allocated on a first come, first serve basis. Again, if you're all about those beautiful, symmetrical rounds, then this is the strand for you. If you love the, and embrace the sort of anomalies, um, the quirks of your Baroques, then that's the strand previously in fact they both work amazing together wouldn't they 199 this is a 299 strand here at your maker and that would be unbelievable wouldn't it that would be unbelievable yeah. um i'll leave that one with you now last auction before we dive into your sleeping beauty um is the biggest strand in terms of carrot weight that i have seen in sakura agate um, there are 12 of them left we talk about sakura it's the darling of your agate it's totally natural um, and it's famed for having three-dimensional blooms. Here's a prime example, actually, of that. Can you see how you have that flower inside? Yeah. So it's not just on the surface. If you try and look, in it, can you see through the translucency, it's like a three-dimensional flower? Do you know what it reminds me of? Um, sometimes you see um, videos of, of people creating these jelly cakes where they where they make a, a clear jelly and then yeah. they inject the I colour of jelly. You, mean. you turn it around and there's a flower inside. Yes, that's I've what seen this those. reminds me of. Yeah, they're amazing, aren't they? Absolutely incredible. Um, but Sakura Agate, much like your uh, Nan Hong, much like your. Botswana, much like your blue lace, but in particular Sakura and Nanhong, they command a certain high price point. They're very expensive, they're incredibly rare, um, and they can't, yeah, they're very rarely in a double figure price tag, we'll just say it as it is. We showed an example yesterday, didn't we, of Sakura Agate in a necklace, and it was what? $285 or something like that. It was nowhere near the quality that I have before me and nowhere near the size. I'll leave that with you. Amazing. Up next, though, lovely jewellery makers, is your early bird. It's all about Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Um, a depleted location of turquoise, but still celebrated over a decade on as producing some of the finest in the world. We are bringing you a little component that you could use in a multitude of ways. We've got them in the yellow gold and the rose gold. And then as we tiptoe into the nine o'clock hour in Monica's kit, we have it in the silver. So don't go anywhere. Make sure you check it out your baskets, everybody. It's up next. <music> I was like, Ross, I need to speak to you in the break. And I was like, what if you said no? I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Thankfully, you don't do that, though, do you? No, no he's like, he was like that. Yeah, okay, okay. Anyway. Um, <laughs> A connector. And I was thinking about this last night. I was in a little bit, a bit of a, not a predicament, that's the wrong word, but it's like, right, do I talk about, about Sleeping Beauty turquoise? Do I talk about turquoise? Do I talk about Tiffany's & Co and their love of this location of turquoise? Or do I simply talk about the fact that this is 
a connector that we as jewellery makers can use in an absolute multitude of ways. Uh, yes. Do you see where I'm coming from? Yes. Uh, everything about this is, is, is perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. Absolutely. So uh, that was the predicament I was in last night. I was like, okay. So, I mean, I could, I, like I said, I could waffle on, couldn't I? I could talk to you about how Tiffany's and Co use um, particularly love Sleeping Beauty turquoise because it has that idyllic robin egg blue. You think about Tiffany's and Co as a brand, you see this, don't you? You see that color. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and did you know they've had that color for almost their entire existence? Wow. So it's about seven, eight years where they haven't had the robin egg blue. Hmm? It's amazing, isn't it? Anyway, and they've actually patented the colour too. Okay. So if you think about you think about Tiffany's and Co, you think that colour. But you also I could talk about how this is shallow forming, I could talk about how sleeping beauty turquoise is mined out. There's so many things we could discuss, but I think we're gonna keep it simple, jewelry makers, because I'm gonna assume, rightly or wrongly, that you know all that. This is a connector, which a connector does a multitude moniker, doesn't it? You know, it's not just a case of, okay, um, I could uh, connect two lengths of chain together. Yes, you can, yeah. but there's so much more. I mean, for example, we were saying earlier for a ring, you've got your perfect attachments there for a ring and it's just the right size as well to make the middle of a ring. Yeah. Uh, you could also use it at the top of a tassel. Even if you're making a mala, you can, you can put it underneath your, um, your guru bead for a bit of extra embellishment. You can, oh, there's so many things you can do with the earrings. You can, you can attach these to your earring finding and then put some uh, pearls or... Yeah, lovely. A, a, some it, sort of a gemstone tassel underneath, that beautiful. sort of thing. Beautiful, asymmetrically yeah. on a chain, in a bracelet, Absolutely. you can macrame directly onto it. Yeah. The, to be honest, it's probably an easier question to say, what, what can't I do? Yeah. I mean, I know it's not a finding, I know it's not a class, but there's so many inspirations that you can use alongside a connector. The fact that we have this in Sleeping Beauty Turquoise absolutely amazes me because it's, it's gone. It mined out in 2012, and yet look at that quality. It's clean, minimal matrix, very little, uh, what we call, yeah, like a webbing, effectively, that usually stretches across Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. Um, I totally agree, Ross is, producer Ross is saying in my ear, just the injection of this connector is going to significantly elevate the value and the perceived yeah. value yeah. Um, of your jewellery. Absolutely, absolutely. We're at $14.99 and there's a clock ticking. If, I agree, Ross has said, if you add this to any piece of jewellery... Yeah. He says a minimum of £30. I think so, at least, yeah. Yeah. At the very least. It's gold-plated 925 sterling silver with an exemplary quality Sleeping Beauty turquoise. You know, if you start using them in earrings, then you're talking £60 on top. Absolutely. It's turquoise, and turquoise Absolutely. is expensive. Yeah. It's like, you know, Sleeping Beauty, for me, is like Columbia to an emerald. Or Mogok to a ruby. Yes. It's the best in the world. I can't believe we're going even lower. Remind me, Roscoe, how many have we got of these available? 50. It's not going to be enough, is it? Definitely not going to be enough. I'd just macrame onto that. I think it would look really lovely in just a macrame oh, bracelet. Yes. Nine pounds and 99 oh. pence only. I agree if you had like, I don't know, gold plated shepherd hook, Depending on the pre your preference of metal, I've got all the colours. You know, shepherd hook, connector, nice big pearl. How beautiful would that oh, be? Perfect. One of the Brock pearls that we've just oh, had. Yes, yes. Amazing. Yes. But what also, are you thinking? You're also, thinking, I'm I, can, I can see the cogs. <laughs> I'm thinking I really love the square shape because it's, it's very different, isn't it? Normally you would see it in a round. That's true. Uh, so I think it's really nice and contemporary. And I also love the way that it's been set with the, it almost looks like gallery wire around yeah, it. Yeah, it does, like turrets. Uh, but there's nothing over the top of it, so no. there's nothing to take away from the, um, from the turquoise itself. Yeah, absolutely. This, uh, these are one of those components that can massively transform a piece of jewellery, I think. Definitely, yeah. You know, just 9.99. One of those massively transform the look, doesn't it? You know, you could you could bring multi strands together in this, couldn't you? You could, and and also, I mean, if you just think about the colour turquoise, I think turquoise is a colour that everybody can wear. Yeah. Because my colouring is completely the opposite of my mom, for example. She wears all the warm sort of uh, brown, yellowy, orangey colours, whereas yeah. I wear the purples and the blues. And both of us can wear the turquoise. Absolutely. 
Yeah, it is, I agree with you. It's very complimentary of all different skin tones. And people recognise it, don't they? Yeah. They know that, um, obviously, turquoise has got um, thousands of years of gemstone history. Um, and it's equally as loved today as it is. In fact, the reason I, it, I, I did this uh, a presentation while Ross was away, actually. Um, yeah, it was while Ross and Adam were away. You know, no, when you, when you, when you deserted me and, and Dan... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I don't care what the reason, whether it was to have a baby or not. <laughs> when you left us, wasn't it, Dan? Left yeah, us. We were, we were here holding the fort. Um, we did a presentation. We were talking about the fact, the reason why did Tiffany's and Co. Gravita gravitate towards turquoise as a colour? When they could have had red, they could have had gold, they could have had black, and they. Um, and it was because uh, because in the Victorian era, it was all about turquoise. Turquoise yeah. that was like the diamonds of today, effectively. Yes. Um, so that's what they believe anyway. Um, and they've never changed the colour branding. Nine pounds and ninety nine pence. There are lots of you multi buying. Amazing. We've got the rose gold still to bring you. Um, there are nine left of this, and I've got way more than nine of you with it in your basket, so good luck. Let's step into the rose gold. There's something about Sleeping Beauty turquoise with rose gold. I love that combination. Yes. Yes. I think, I think, I think Just, there's something about it. It's, it's, war really it's warmer, isn't yeah. it? It makes it feel warmer, which is a strange thing to say, but... It, that's it, how it makes me feel. It looks so different with rose yeah. gold, I think, than it does with the yellow, with yellow, gold and silver. But see, this is what I'm saying about the colour as well. It works just as well yes. in all three of those metals. I agree. Totally agree. I love it. And it's, you know, rose gold is one of those colours that I think it's, it, it's a safe bet, isn't it? If you're, if you're making to gift yeah. or you're purchasing... Uh, um, if you don't know what someone's precious metal preference is, yes. go rose gold. Yeah. Because it's that in-between, isn't it? Yes. It is that perfect in-between. Chances are, I'm a yellow gold. I prefer yellow gold, personally. I wear all of them, don't get me wrong, but um, I prefer yellow gold. Mm. Um, but I love rose as well. And a lot of times, if you're, if you're gifting, for example, and somebody usually wears silver or they usually wear gold, um, I'm just waiting for the price first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to see. I know. Well, you can get the yellow gold and the rose oh, gold yeah. ten pounds today. Goodness it's me. Sleeping Beauty turquoise. It it was mined out in 2012, eleven years ago. Where does that time go? Yeah. I remember the announcement. You know, it's, and it's not like we're getting sort of the lesser grade now where people have stockpiled it and said, yeah, I'll keep hold of it, you know, because, yeah. you know, when the best quality maybe is all but sold and Tiffany's and Co yeah. have, you know, massively utilised it, um, then we'll start introducing that kind of grade. No, this still is that amazing quality where it has got the minimal webbing, the minimal matrix um, across the surface of them. Um, in your blush pink or strawberry gold, as uh, Roscoe has just put it there, um, and precious 925 sterling silver. Equally, I have um, only 50 available, but little connectors like this, I almost feel like connectors need renaming, because yes, they yeah. do connect, but they do so much more. It's like yes. a spacer, it doesn't do them justice. Yeah, exactly. As a description, it doesn't do them justice. Yeah. Hmm. You know, they need well, a little up, bit more what else could they be called? status. Even we say if we say master connector and master spacer. Yes. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so. so. <laughs> I just feel like they need a little they bit more, more status. Respect. Absolutely, because yeah. they can completely transform a piece of jewellery. Because you can get connectors that are just connectors. You know, yeah. But this isn't just a connector. No, it's anything but that. But let's call them embellishments, if you like. Yeah. Details. It's called a little details. Details, yeah. There you go. Um, anyway, we're about to dive into a break, lovely jewellery makers. We have got the silver imminently arriving. So if you want to get hold of the silver in your Sleeping Beauty, I'm going to line them up perfectly alongside one another. Um, so you can't shop ahead on the silver as of yet, but you need to be checking out on your rose gold and your yellow gold. Likewise, you need to be checking out on all the items that I have brought you so far this morning because they will disappear off the website. So um, here's the silver. It's coming up straight after the break alongside Monica's absolutely beautiful nine o'clock kit. The reason why we kind of tiptoed this over is because it will go stunning with uh, Monica's. Look, I mean, look at these pieces of jewellery. Um, it will go stunningly well um, with Monica's amazing designs. You've got your 
your demonstration um, also. Plus, yeah, loads of fun, loads of fun. More talent than you could possibly wish oh, for with you. our lovely Monica. It's her birthday show, everybody. So do get your messages in as well. We've had loads of them and we will try our best to include every single one of them on your um, on air. Um, keep dropping those messages in. Um, it is the best bit, isn't it? Actually, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Um, but check out your baskets. We're going to dive into a break and get yourself ready for the Sterling Silver Sleeping Beauty and Monica's kits after this. All you need to do to apply for Britain's Next Gem 2023 is email guest designer at jewelrymaker.com with the subject title Britain's Next Gem 2023 and include your name, your specialism, how you fell in love with jewelry making, how long you've been making jewelry for, an image of your proudest piece. For more details on how to apply, visit the Jewelry Maker website. Oh, and good luck. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world famous Stratford upon Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three course dinner, half a bottle of wine and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party, and even a tombola, if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. You're ready, lovely jewelry makers. We are going to melt the phone lines because always when we bring you a little detail, I think that's the new word that we're yeah. using, a little detail like this, we always, always melt the phone lines when it comes to your silver. It's the most popular colour, never yeah. any surprise, never has changed actually. You know, where 
rose gold yellow gold well actually yes and your white gold sometimes you know they go they, they fluctuate in popularity but still the, the biggest seller is the silver color and it works with turquoise doesn't it when we think about the heritage i suppose the history of uh, of turquoise it quite often is in silver as a preference i mean don't get me wrong you go to places like harry winston um they use turquoise with your 18 karat gold also but it anyway I'm, I'm kind of waffling on a little bit but it's always always one of our biggest it is not one of it is the biggest seller um now i'm hoping that producer ross is going to tell me that there is quantity of these 150 if you got three in the front of a necklace. Oh, beautiful. How lovely would that be? Or on the side. Or on asymmetrically, yes. yes. If you got three, one, two, three. Oh, yes. Maybe one for a ring. You could go for Van Cleef and Arpels, but, you know, instead of having the four-leaf clovers, go for this lovely s simplistic Ooh. square. See, now that would be interesting. If you had just a large round jump ring in the middle and then use small jump rings to connect three of these to make sort of like a Y-shaped necklace. Oh, beautiful. In the centre. Oh. If you put one of these with a nice, I don't know, a white pearl. If you teamed it alongside, yesterday we launched, no, well not we didn't launch, sorry, it was the second launch of your opal and turquoise. Imagine this alongside that. The thing is, there is no, there's no right or wrong. These are going to work with everything, aren't You could they? make a whole chain, basically with a rosary linking. You can rosary link some pearls and oh. connect, use the pearls as the connectors between How these incredible. turquoise connectors, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Now, you know we are not stopping there. I need to emphasize the fact that this is genuine Sleeping Beauty turquoise, a mine that closed over 10 years ago and is still to this day celebrated as being one of the best locations of source. If you have just tuned in, we've just played the gold and also the rose gold and we closed them an absolutely incredible 9.99 price tag. We do have a full 100 more in terms of quantity. And you know we'll always endeavour to bring you a bigger quantity if we can. Now, first price crash. Let's not mess around. This is 925 sterling silver. Um, we were saying, yeah, if you add one of these details, immediately we think, what does it add? 30 pounds? It's Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. It should, if not more, if not more. We're going to do this in two price crashes. And the first price crash is not where we are closing. Not where we are closing. But already, I can tell you, loads of multi-buyers on this. 60 seconds on your screen, and then we will drop to your amazing early bird price tag. We have 140, but we know that we're going to need that quantity. They're perfect, aren't they? Just this, the simplest detail like this adds so much to your design. Absolutely. And you can make this work in so many different kinds of jewellery. You can make it work in sort of um, more traditional Victorian, kind of like the jewellery that I made for the nine o'clock kids. But you can also make it more contemporary because of the, yeah. the square shape yeah. and because of the simplicity of the turquoise itself, I think. Well, you visualise it on that topaz necklace that's in the centre. Yes. How amazing would it be sort of added to those? Um, but also visualise it, say, with some of Mark's amazing macrame. Yes. You know, just really simple details. In 14 seconds, we are... It'd look lovely, wouldn't it? Maybe at wh wherever you want to position it. Front and centre, maybe the other side, right up close to the connector, whatever yeah. it might be. But at the same time, Lark's Head Knot, Solomon's Bar, use it with that. Um, you could uh, be directly rosary linked. We just need to emphasise we are taking this even lower than the yellow gold and the rose gold. We have 150. 9.99 is not your price tag. We're going to give you one more minute and then we're going to drop to that price tag. We just need to really emphasise how good a deal this is. It's a depleted location of source. It's mined out. The cabochon alone should be more than what's on your screens right now. Um, and I agree, Ross is just saying, look, silver, you know, it shouldn't go any lower than gold and rose gold. Um, you know, we know the prices of precious metals have gone up, so we know that we should um, be above £10. If we had a similar quantity of the rose and the yellow gold, then it would have absolutely been matching that price tag. It's the same carat weight, it's the same silver weight, same location. 
The only reason we take it lower is usually because we have a bigger quantity. 9.99 is already amazing. There's already full rows of names and a, a, a fair chunk of you have chosen to multi-buy. I don't blame you. I would be doing exactly the same. In four seconds, let's do it. This is your price drop, jewellery makers. We have 150 or rather had already, I'm going to guess, probably about a third, Ross, would you say? Third, ju just over a third of the stock has already... What's that? <laughs> On nobody should ever say these words. Sleeping Beauty turquoise is set for seven pound ninety nine. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty turquoise for seven ninety nine. Half the stock has just gone in a heartbeat. You can get three for less than twenty five pounds. Yes. Or what? Sorry. Or if you wanted one of each colour, yeah. Less than 30, oh. how unbelievable is that? I mean, even if you're a seed beater, because I'm, I'm hoping there are a lot of seed beaters watching, if you put that on top of the, the center of that bracelet, attach it on top of some, this, this will be the lunar oh. weaving that comes in the in the 12 o'clock hour. So you could attach that right on top of your Oh, that would be beautiful. Seed beating. Yes, sew it in. How amazing. How beautiful. Caroline saying, join the three colors together. Yes, very Cartier inspired. I love that look. I love, love, love that look. Monica, yeah, that's beautiful. You could sew them on top of the loom. Exactly. Because we're launching a loom, aren't we? Yes, we are at 12 o'clock. Brand new loom at 12 o'clock, the longest that we've ever had. 7 99 only for beautiful, natural Sleeping Beauty turquoise, a depleted location of source in solid 925. We've got 30 out of the 150 that we originally had. Um, and again, you'll see the quantities. Nottingham's got four, Debbie's got three, Janet, Pamela's got two, Two. Susan's got three, London's got two, uh, three, uh, Gerda's multi-bought, Vivian's bought three, Jenny, Megan's multi-bought, Deirdre's multi-bought, Geraldine's bought three, Mariska's bought three, Mary's bought two, Cheryl. Um, we're going to put these, leave these on screen for another 60 seconds and then we've got to move on because we've got Monica's amazing kits and of course birthday demonstrations as well. Um, be quick though. These lovely details, I don't know, do, is everybody else agreeing with me? Yes, they connect, I get that. But I feel like they need a little bit more status. Yes. <laughs> I feel like they need, you know, they, that almost talks them, not down, that's the wrong word. It doesn't give them the justified recognition. Centerpiece. Yeah, that's Absolutely. A, that's a Focal one, yeah. point, detail, any of those words. You get one of those sort of a meter long lengths of chains that we bring you. And just attach that directly. Oh, yes, absolutely. Lovely. And also, you go to Elsa Peretti, it's all about the really simple um, Sleeping Beauty uh, um, cabochons, isn't it? What do you say, Ross? Your favourite type of jewellery, the simple. Yeah, I totally agree with you. In six seconds, we are closing this auction, but to be honest, the quantity could sell out before that anyway. Um, well done, Pamela, Linda, Hazel, Christine, well done to you all. Stay where you are on those phone lines, everybody. Now, um, I'm just going to very quickly recap these, actually. I, we don't normally on your early bird. Technically speaking, we should have moved on from it, but hey-ho. We're getting caught up in these wonderful embellishments, details, features. Um, if you want to add the yellow, there's five of these left. So if you're um, thinking what Caroline is thinking, um, yeah, it's going to be a, a very quick 20-second auction. Just recapping the, um, the graphics. We don't normally do it. There's five of them available at 9.99. How beautiful, how beautiful are they? So 9 99 I've only got five of them left though, so if you are thinking about connecting the three together, very Cartier inspired, you can absolutely do that. Sleeping Beauty turquoise, look at how perfect that colour is. I was just thinking if you, if you made, your, you know, your sunglasses chains, ah, and then you put these on the side where it attaches nice. to your glasses. Oh, that That's would be a nice. nice idea, isn't it? What can you get from Tiffany's or Elsa Peretti that's anywhere near a tenner? Yeah, maybe a box. <laughs> but even that is questionable. Yeah, I don't know if you can even get the boxes. I don't, I don't think you can. I don't know. I, I don't think you can get anything from Tiffany's for a tenner. Nothing. I highly doubt it. Maybe if they sell bottled water. There you go. <laughs> um, how about... Um, how about your beautiful rose? So we're just recapping these. It's going to be a super speedy auction 
on and gone opportunities. The yellow sold out. I think the silver is pretty much sold out. I think the rose is going to follow suit as well. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Again, um, just sort of skirting over the multiple conversations that we've had whilst uh, discussing your early bird. You know, it's, yes, they are. We could talk about the quality of Sleeping Beauty. We could talk about the fact that it's deplete. We could talk about the fact that it's still to this day, some over a decade on, still considered to be one of the finest locations in the world. We could talk about Elsa Peretti. We could talk about Tiffany's and Co. branding. But we could also talk about the fact that these details really transform your jewellery and they can be used in a multiple of different designs. Final recap on these, there's only a couple of them available so uh, make sure you are checking out your baskets. We've got Monica's beautiful kits coming up and of course amazing jewellery, amazing demonstrations. As always if you have got any messages then drop us, uh, drop us a text uh, directly, directly into the studio. Um, any questions about the designs? Um, um, any questions about the actual design um, that she's actually going to showcase? So very excited about those. Amazing. Um, Okie dokie. Into your kits. Well, do you know what, Monica? Let's admire your jewellery once again because these are incredible. Do you say there's like a, a Victorian inspiration behind these? Yes, I think so. Definitely with the sort of the filigree uh, findings and the, I think it's just a, it's a romantic I mean, when you, if, you, if you pretend you've never heard of Jewelry Maker, yeah. somebody says to you, gemstone jewellery, yeah. you don't think of delicate Victorian style jewellery, do you? No, you not You mostly think of sort of chunky yeah. well, gemstone jewellery. That's what you think of. Yeah. This is, this is completely different to what would come to mind, I think. But you get, you've got these, yeah, I agree. Um, but lots of the big designers now are kind of revisiting, yeah. you know, their, uh, the yeah. heritage, if you like, of the Victorian and Edwardian area, aren't they? So, so Cartier are really going for these multi-layer designs. Absolutely. Um, Bulgaria, I've seen. And working not just with your calibrated stones, they're actually working with your beads, effectively. Yes, yes. Um, which is absolutely wonderful to see. Now, you've got three different kits all absolutely exceptional and 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 i know there'll be people watching today that will be a little bit nervous of these strands because listen i hear you i was a little bit nervous of your micro gemstones they're not all micro by the way but because i thought they would be a little bit harder to actually work with but it's not the case is it it's not i'm going to show you a few tips and tricks that will help there we go <laughs> so which of these kits would you like me to start with then ross He's building up the suspense. He is, again. I know. <laughs> yes. I kind of could have guessed that, to be honest. I thought you would actually start with this one. Monica, it's Topaz. Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, wow. Goodness me. Oh, my goodness me. No words necessary. Look at the quality of the Topaz. Ah, oh, beautiful, isn't it? But... There are only 30 available. Oh, I'm sorry about that. But also, look at it this way. If you are one of those 30, yeah. you are getting the opportunity to create one of the most exclusive designs. Yes. One of the most exclusive designs. Monica, that piece, I love that. Absolutely amazing, especially the fact that it's asymmetric. Is that something that anybody can do? Is Absolutely. It do Absolutely. I have to be an accomplished jeweller? No. No? No. Oh, intrigued. <laughs> well, in my demo, I'm going to show you the other one with the similar connector, but it's the same principle. It just doesn't go in the middle. It goes on the side. So uh, hopefully after my demo, you'll be able to make that one. Wow. Well, there are only 30, so I think it's only fair that we do a 60-second countdown to make it fair whether you're shopping on the phone lines um, or alternatively on the web. Uh, you've also got this very, like I say, very Victorian-inspired... Um, connector, which really reminds me, you know, oh, goodness me, sorry. Um, Princess Wales has got a, a, a pearl necklace that she's been photographed. She wore it, I think, to the Queen's funeral um, that has a feature very similar to this. Yeah. Um, that's like a multi-strand, so you could yeah. go for that kind of look. But again, it's a, it, 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 it's a traditional design. Can be worn as a choker, can't it? But yes. also asymmetrically. We're counting this down. There are only 30 available. Um, beautifully encrusted, and that's natural topaz times three. You're getting all three of those amazing strands. Be quick, though, if you've got 
got your eyes on this, then you need to be quick checking out your basket. I mean, that's red carpet worthy, isn't it? Oh, I, well, I think so. <laughs> it definitely is. I love it, Monica. Yeah, I didn't want to always. add any other um, no. gemstones to it because I didn't want to take away from the sparkle of the. Of I don't the think I don't think you needed to. No. Yeah, because no. say you've got. I mean, what? Look at look at the recording next to your piece of jewellery. It's oh, perfection, wow. isn't it? Even if we were to start here at 170, you know, stop here, 170 pounds and 99 pence, yeah. you would pay more than that for the piece of jewellery that Monica has created, absolutely. Yeah. Let's get this straight under 100 pounds, which is amazing for 17 carats times three. That's 17 carats per strand and a silver plated, gem encrusted, multi strand connector. Again, it's so much more than a connector, isn't it? It's even shaped to go around. You can wear it on the wrist, you can wear it on the decolletage, so it's even curved beautifully. Straight away, we're under £100. I mean, mix these kits up if you wanted oh, to. Yes. yes. The next price crash. That's beautiful. It's a lovely kit, this. Lovely jewellery, Monica. Goodness Ooh. me. £49.99. pence. Wow. I think that's the price of either the connector and you're getting your three strands of topaz or vice versa. Yeah. How amazing is that deal? It's precious metal plated, your connector. And again, entirely gem crusted if I show you all the way around. There are only 30 available though. Look at that lovely detailing. Monica, it's also your birthday. Remember, we've got a competition, a giveaway. We've got two competitions, actually. If you shop with Monica today, then you are entered into her birthday draw, and one of you that will be chosen at random will receive this amazing suite of jewellery made yours truly by uh, the talent that is Monica. How amazing is that? So this kit will quantify you for that. Um, it's Monica's birthday. We've only got a limited quantity, and straight away we've got collectors getting involved. Um, all ready checkouts. Well done, Mariska. I Pauline, Pauline, new customers getting involved as well. I've got people on the bas um, with it in their baskets and also on the phone line. What? Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, almost a metre of white topaz and that amazing triple row connector, which you could... There's nothing stopping you putting six on there, four well, on there. You can put as I many was, as you want. I was going to say, because also, if you look at how it's made, if you look at it from the side... Yeah. Um, there's a ring behind it, so you could actually connect as many as you like to that, because there's so many connection points all the way around there. Yeah. You could you could completely bead around the whole connector if you wanted to. Oh, lovely. Yeah, you've got a gallery, haven't you? Do you also yeah. notice if I hold it like this, you've got that slight curve? Yes. Which means, yes. you know, we aren't perfectly flat, are we? So it was going to follow... For a bracelet. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to sit beautifully on the wrist and likewise on the decolletage. Unbelievable, Ross. That's way low th lower than I was expecting this kit to go. Look at the quality of the topaz that you're getting, but there are only 30. Oh, that is just crazy, says Alison in London. I totally agree, lovely. Yeah. I totally, totally agree. For the three strands of topaz. Yeah. The three strands of topaz and then I mean, natural topaz. I mean, easily you're getting the connector for free. In that easily easily yeah. easily we would we did a, a um a deal of the day the other day didn't we ross and it was topaz and we were saying that do you remember that topaz strand that we brought to air and wasn't it like 15 pounds for that one strand we found one for 25 then we found one for 19 and then we brought one for 16.95 there we go so yeah it's a, and that's one single strand that's madness amazing well done well done well done i've got to move on though because like i said lots of kits to bring you next up is should we do the gold stone oh nice this is lovely. I like what you've done with this one as well, Monica. Now, Goldstone is a beautiful man-made creation um, that, yeah, it's just it's, it's just full of sparkle. It will work perfectly alongside um, the previous kit as well. And you can Absolutely. see with a piece of jewellery on the end by Monica, um, works with, amazing with pearls. Now, you get three strands of your Goldstone, plus you're getting... Sterling Silver Connect. Sterling silver connectors, wow. Yes. Okay. That's amazing. I mean, you can use these at the back of a necklace, obviously, if you wanted a full three-strand necklace. But mm. I thought, because they're sterling silver, I kind of wanted them to sort of show in the front. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Why not? Celebrate them. Yeah. How pretty that is. It's a constant performer, um, Goldstone. And again, 
It's one of those gemstones. I've just spotted it's not a venturine, it is goldstone. Um, it is one of those uh, uh, strands that we bring to wear here at Jewelry Maker, and they are always, always one of the most popular. Um, it is goldstone. I've just, oh, is it called a venturine, maybe this kit? I'm a bit confused. Um, yeah, no, it is goldstone that you're getting. $29.99, and they are 925 sterling silver triple row connectors. I mean, again, that's a high-end piece of jewellery. And I guess you could you could put everything, everything alongside your goldstone. Absolutely. It's going to complement beautifully. This would be an unbelievable price. Would we all agree? You've got sterling silver. You've got the opportunity for a triple row price. You've got three strands of goldstone, always one of our more uh, popular, uh, popular of gemstones. And I didn't use all the goldstone in that because I'm using some of it for my demo as well. So, yeah, you could make two of those necklaces if really? you added another two of the connectors. And if you were to sell it, what would you sell it for? Oh, eighty pounds. Maybe? Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, I think so. At the very least, we're going even lower though. How many do we have, Roscoe? Fifty available within the vault. We're at $29.99, so these are exclusive kits, and going even lower. Simple beading techniques. Yes, and I decided to put it with the pearls because I think the gold stone, especially the blue gold stone, shows off really well yeah, in between the, the contrasting colours of the pearls. Yeah, absolutely. Totally agree. It, it, like really, it really pops, I think. Yeah. I absolutely agree. Do you know, controversial, if, you're, if I'm looking for sparkle in a dark gemstone, yes. um, this is one of the ones that I would gravitate towards first. You yeah. know, I love hematites and things like that and your pyrites, but this is more of a performing stone, isn't it? It's like a red carpet stone. And like I said, it, it, it's man-made, but it's certainly one of our most popular, similarly to your sea beads, if you like. You know, they're yeah. man-made, but we absolutely, absolutely love them. Make sure you're checking out. It's Monica's birthday show, everybody, and at nineteen ninety nine. That's the price of the class, and I think you're getting all three strands for free. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, Shona, Marion, Kathleen, Beverly, Pauline, Pauline in Cornwall, Pauline in Cambridge, uh, Patricia, Erica, Joyce, hello to you all. I only have 50, so you're going to need to be really quick. We always love Goldstone, don't we? We do. And I think it's a nice alternative to black because if you wanted something black sparkly, you'd probably go for Spinel or something like that. But if you didn't want something that's quite as harsh as a black, mm. um, then I think that this is really dark blue gold stone is, yeah. is magical beautiful. it's magical and and, and multi-seasonal as well isn't yes it? absolutely it's one of those that's going to work on your easy i mean i think that necklace you could wear it any time of the year yeah i, I agree i yeah. totally agree with you i totally agree 1999 well done hello jerry shirley hello to you cheryl west midlands Teresa, and tracy make sure you are all checking out 50 is not a big quantity particularly not on a celebratory day like today <laughs> It's Monica's birthday, everybody. Keep those messages coming into the studio if you want to say hi. Um, we've just had one, actually, which we're going to share oh, with right. you. Um, lovely. So, hello, Joanne in Shropshire saying, what oh. is the bangle you have on L? Not the Malachite, is it? Mine is arriving today. I cannot wait. Happy birthday, Monica. Oh, bless Joanne. <laughs> I know. It is. They're not having it back, Joanne. <laughs> That, uh, yeah, it is. I, I love it. It's your, I'm so jealous. It's coming up after the demonstration. I love this bangle. I, I, and I'm going to say I probably shouldn't buy it, but I'm going to have to because I love it. It's, it's going to be one of those pieces that I won't get out of my head if I don't. Um, okay, next kit coming up. Now, there's a hundred of these. This features beautiful tourmaline. Wow. Yeah. Just that's what I wow. As well. Normally, I would say I'd, I, I would say maybe the topaz. I'd gravitate towards the topaz. I love them all, don't get me wrong, but I'm really gravitating towards the tourmaline on this. Yes, I think, I think it's nice in this connector that you've got little pops of colour in the connector itself. Yeah, I'm going to show that. Which works really well with the tourmaline, I think. It kind of uh, mirrors oh, the, the colours in the tourmaline. <gasps> We've got a big quantity of this, this kit. First price crash, you get three strands of natural tourmaline which is amazing three and you get that statement connector which is absolutely beautiful isn't it it's like a it's like a rose design i absolutely love that 1999 did you say the word first ross did you what? we've got a hundred of them this is a giveaway might as well add it to your order kind of price tag and again are those are those complex techniques to make these pieces no that's time? what i'm going to show you how to do oh fabulous yeah. next price crash 
This is the kit that Monica's going to be demoing with. What? What? <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Fourteen ninety nine. Not what you're paying. Simple math, sir. There's four components here. There's four components. Okay, this is ridiculous. Oh. This is the price of one strand. This is ridiculous. Oh, just the connector on its own? Or the connector, absolutely. Listen, this needs to be an on-screen sellout because this wow. is as close to a giveaway I've ever seen. And don't forget, it's a yeah, absolutely, it's a birthstone. Um, it's also entering you into Monica's giveaway. But it's tourmaline. And I'm going to say it as it is. Here at Jewelry Maker, a lot of, uh, it's not one of, our, surprisingly, it's not one of our biggest stones. Oh, We're always really surprised. Whereas if you go to most jewelers or certainly gemologists, this is their number one. Yeah. You know, can, uh, USA that, yeah. love tourmaline. Absolutely yeah. love it. It's not one of our biggest sellers. That is changing today, especially as you know that this is going even lower. You've got three strands. This is buy one strand. You get everything else for free. Yes, definitely. Definitely. I don't understand it. We are going lower. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, those are full length strands. Yeah, not itty bitty ones. No. Good job. We've got a hundred of these, isn't it? We're going straight to the demo after this. Oh my goodness. Oh. I know I have brought a strand of tourmaline to air, probably very similar to this at 12 99 One, you're getting within this kit three strands and the gem encrusted connector. Wow. Wow. I mean, I mean, if you think about it, there's more than 100 gemstones on each of those strands, and they yeah. have to be faceted as well. All the colours. Oh. All the colours of tourmaline. Um, we've got a message coming through. Hello, Christine. Um, is, a ch is the chance to win, including goods bought in the 8 to 9 hour as well? Um, if you've got between 8 o'clock and 1 o'clock, you are entered into the draw. Yes, you are. Um, absolutely. As long as you've shot with us during the live show, you are entered into the draw, my lovely. So that's a really good question. So I appreciate you messaging in. Yeah. Um, well done. Everybody has been entered in and it'll be selected at random. We'll announce the winner um, at the top of the hour for Monica's birthday giveaway. Yay. <laughs> Amazing. Um, the bangle's coming up. But first, you're going to show us this tourmaline necklace. I am. If I can borrow one of the sure. connectors. Oh, I yeah, sorry. Have you did I'll give it back after my demo. I promise. Here you go. Do you want the strand? <laughs> Uh, no, it's all right. I've got some of the goldstone okay. left over. Right. So basically what I want to show you, um, I mean, the jewellery, the necklaces look simple, but there are a few little um, sort of issues that you have to think about when you're making a three-strand necklace. Because if you think about it, if it's a two-strand necklace, you can make the, the, the strands any length you want and it will look pretty. But with a three-strand, you have to sort of think about how the strands are going to be spaced out because you kind of want the same sort of space between the two bottom strands and the two top strands. It's sitting a bit wonky on the, on the bus there, but if it's sitting straight, they actually um, sit kind of parallel, not parallel, but evenly spaced out to each other. So that's what I wanted to show you, how, how I do something like that. Because obviously on a bracelet as well, it's simple if you have a three strand bracelet, because then you just have your three strands all the same length and you put the clasp on the end and your bracelet is, is going to be sort of even. But with a necklace, you have to think about the curve that comes up the back. So the way I would make something like this is, first of all, I would start by attaching. Now, I just used ordinary um, the tiger tail, the, the, the beading wire that comes in our basic, uh, basic jewellery making kits. Uh, excuse the mishmash of uh, colours here. This, uh, I had the gold in my bag and the gold findings as well. So just excuse that. But obviously at home you would use the same colours. Um, silver with the... Well, you don't have to, I suppose. You could mix and match your metal. So what I would start with is I would attach my beading wire. Let me pick up a, a crimp first. Attach all six of my beading wires to my connector first. Now, I'm not going to thread on all of the gemstones because otherwise we'll be here for the next hour as well. So I'm just going to show you the basics of how to make it and then you can imagine threading on the gemstones. But I will show you an easy way to thread on the gemstones though. Right, so attach my wires. I'm going to do another one just so that I can show you quickly. So pick up your crimp again, attach it to the next one. Now, first of all, what you've got to watch here, when you do your crimps, 
Uh, you can use your crimping pliers and I also put crimp covers on them as well. So what you want to watch here when you first start in the middle is the, the size of the loop in your wire that you leave before your crimp. So you want those to be as similar in size as possible because obviously you don't want one small loop and then one big loop because then straight away your necklace is going to start going wonky. Okay, so try to get the crimps. This is why you start in the middle because it's much easier to do that in the middle before you have your gemstones on. So try to get those loops the same size. Don't worry about measuring, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Just do it by eye so that you get them sort of the same size, just like that. So can you see? So you do that with all six of them to start with. Then at least you've got a starting point in the middle which is kind of even. Then you, you get your gemstones. Now, as Al was saying earlier, that some people struggle with re-threading um, these really small gemstones. And that's because when, you, when you're using seed beads, you can pick them up with your needle easily because they either sit flat with the hole going vertically or they sit on their side with the hole going through that way. But with a round gemstone, it can roll in any direction. And also the, the holes are much smaller than in seed beads. So it's sometimes difficult to see where the hole is, especially in a dark colored gemstone like the goldstone that you've got here. So if you were to thread on, I mean, there are hundreds of, of beads on that necklace in the three strands that are on there. If you were to thread on all of those one by one, it would take you, um, well, a long, long time. And also, um, sometimes if I try to do that, my fingers get sore because I'm trying so hard to, to roll around a tiny gemstone in my fingers. So a quick and easy way to do that, I'm just going to cut the end of this off because it's a little bit damaged. So easy way to re-thread your smaller gemstones, even if you're doing the one by one, but especially if you are threading on a lot of them. And I'll show you in a second how I do it one by one. So I would take probably about five of them at a time. You can do six or seven if you've practiced this a few times. So hold on to your thread um, in this hand and in the other hand. So your thread is straight and your beads are all sitting in a row and then pinch them together. So you've got all your beads lined up in a row in between your fingers and all of the holes are aligned as well. Then you're gonna pull out your thread. Oh, first cut the knot off your thread because I'm not in the thread so I don't lose the beads. Make sure there's no knot on there because otherwise you won't be able to pull them off. Right, so hold on to your thread and then take your first five gemstones and pinch them between your fingers like that. So now you know you've got all the holes lined up in the middle and then you can kind of feel your way. So you just need to find the hole in the first one, but obviously it's going to be right here on this end. It's not gonna be at the top or the bottom. So it's quite easy to find the hole in the first one. And once your thread is in that first one, you can just fiddle around with it a little bit until you can feel it going through all of the gemstones. Now I've missed one, doesn't matter. I've got four of them, which is better than if I was doing it one by one. Because if you imagine now this last one is the hole is much harder to find. So obviously I was fiddling around a bit so they misaligned. That's why I didn't get all of them. But normally um, you can get all of them at once. So I'll show you again. So hold on to the thread. Take approximately five gemstones. And then you can just push your beading wire straight through once you find the hole in the first one. Obviously it never happens on air the way it happens at home, but no, there we different. go. And you can kind of feel in your fingers when it's gone through, okay? Now if I was threading them on like with the pearl necklace, I did one by one, I still took four or five gemstones at a time because you still, at least you know the hole is on this end. So then you would pick up one, first one, then you would put on a pearl and then you can do your next one and your next hole in the next one is again right in the front. And then you pick up a pearl and then you do the next one. So that makes it a lot easier than trying to find the holes uh, in each one individually. I mean, the worst thing you can do is cut your strand and take all the beads off because uh, you're going to regret it oh. after about 10 gemstones. <laughs> I think I learned that the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a message for you, Monica. Oh, nice, yeah. uh, this is from Christine. Excellent tip. Oh, my nice. pleasure. And then, of course, you would cut off the excess from, from your, um, your beading wire, which I should have done before adding the gemstones, but it doesn't matter. You can do it after. Um, and then also, if you're putting crimp covers on, put the crimp covers on before you put your gemstones on. OK, it's just easier that way. And then you push your gemstones down so that this front section is the, is the bit that you want to concentrate on making 
look pretty. It doesn't matter so much what's at the back of the clasp. So that's why I start in the middle, uh, put your crimps on so this whole middle section looks neat, and then you throw it on your gemstones. Now to get the lengths, actually, I don't know if you can pass me the necklace, it's probably easier yeah. if I show you on that one. I can. So the way I get the lengths right, because you can't really work it on the desk like this because it might sit differently around your neck. You can't really work it that well on a bust either because the bust is built differently to a person's neck. It's usually a bit thinner. So it also depends on the size of your neck. So especially if you know who you're making it for, um, you can make it specifically to fit that person. So the way I do it is I thread on my gemstones, okay? So I threaded on the same number of gemstones onto all of these strands. So as you're counting, you're taking five beads at a time, it's quite easy to count how many gemstones you put on each strand. So I started by threading on the same number of gemstones on all of the strands. And then obviously the outer ones need to be longer. Let me just open the clasp so you can see a bit better. So obviously the outer ones need to be longer than the inner ones. Okay, so after I threaded on all my gemstones and they're all the same length, then I took five from the, from the inner strand and I moved it over to the outer strand. So then the outer strand becomes five longer, the inner strand becomes five shorter. Now that's just a, an, an estimate you can do, six, seven or eight. Uh, it doesn't really matter because you're not gonna see this, it's gonna be behind your neck. It's just to sort of have an idea that your outer strands are longer than your inner strands. And then the trick comes in with your, with your chain at the back. So after I had all my gemstones threaded on and I had slightly longer on the outside, then I finished off each of my strands with a crimp and a crimp cover, okay? So I finished all six of them. That way you've got your gemstones secure. They're not gonna bounce off your, your strands because that's the other problem you might have if you're trying to work out their lengths without using chains is um, if you fling it around a little bit and then your gemstones go flying. So fix all the strands, then you've got all the lengths, then you've got your necklace with all your strands fixed uh, and everything is properly in place and the middle looks all neat and tidy. Then you start adding your chain. So with the chain, what I did again was I added the same length of chain to each piece, okay? Or if you want, if you, if you think that the five gemstones difference that you've done on the length of the gemstones isn't gonna be enough, then you can do, say, the outside length, one link longer, and then one link shorter, and then another link shorter on the inner chain. It doesn't really matter where you start with. Put a bit of extra chain on, a bit more than what you, what you wouldn't want your necklace length to be, because then you can start playing around with the length of your chains. And the chain is great because the chain is easy to adjust the length of it. So, if you take a piece of chain, let's say this one is 12 links long, 11 links, and then 10 links long, attach them all to one big jump ring. Don't worry about the clasp, at this point just attach them to a jump ring on both sides, okay? Then you can take that and you can hold it up on, onto your neck in a mirror, or I mean, if you're working to sell, you can use a bust, I guess that's the closest thing you're gonna have to um, somebody's neck without the person being there, or you can try it on your own neck. Um, hold it up to your neck and then you can see First of all, if all of the, the spaces are the same, because you might hold it up and they might sit like that, okay? Then you know your lengths are wrong. Or they might all be too close together, which again, you don't necessarily want, unless that's the style that you're going for, you know, you can do that as well. Um, or they might sit like that. Or they might even sit like that, okay? So you don't want any of those. So then you start playing around with the chain. So for example, if you find that your necklace is sitting like that, Okay, then obviously the middle length is a bit too long. So then you make your middle chain one link shorter. Okay, so that pulls it up to sort of there. And then you can decide whether that's enough or if you want it to be even shorter. Or obviously if you need it longer, if, if it's like this, then the middle chain is, is too short, but you can't make it longer than what you've already put on there, but you can shorten this one, or you can shorten the one in the middle. So you can play around with the length of your chain. Now, I didn't, when I was playing around with the length of the chain, I didn't cut them shorter because I wasn't sure if it was, for example, if I thought the middle one needed to be two links shorter. You could be wrong and it could only be one link. So to make it two links shorter, all I needed to do was instead of looping my large jump ring into the last link, I moved it over two links and I left that little bit of extra dangling just until I got the right lengths. Okay, and then once you're happy with all of the lengths, all three of the lengths, and it's all sitting nicely when you put it around your neck, 
then you can take those little extra bits of chain that you've adjusted and then you can cut them off so that they're not in the way. Uh, and that's the easiest way to ensure that you have the right length on each of your, on each of your chains. Um, and then the tassel is just a little bit of extra that I added at the bottom with a little bead cap. And this is what I was saying earlier, because you've got this um, sort of gallery, I suppose, underneath your finding, you can attach anything you like to it. So this is just a little tassel on a, on a wrapped loop underneath. Um, so I think, I think that that's pretty much covers it. Really. Ah, it's beautiful. Love it. Ted, hello to you saying thank you, Monica. I've always struggled with multi-strand necklaces. Yes. So much so uh, that I haven't made one for ages. Happy birthday. Oh, well, I hope this, this helps a little bit. <laughs> it does. And just like, you, like yeah. we said earlier on, you know, that is a top tip. Yeah, because, because when you when you if you just want to play around with the length of your gemstones, it's always difficult because you put your gemstones on and it looks right and then you crimp it and suddenly it's a millimeter longer and then it's not yeah. they're not aligned again. Yeah. So that's why with a chain, a chain link is very small. So you can adjust the length by very small increments until you have the right length on each of your strands. Absolutely. And it might not even be symmetrical because you might have made one of your little loops with the crimps a little bit longer, a little bit shorter. So you might even have one shorter link on one side and the other side. You're never going to notice that on the back of your no, necklace. No, of course not. Now, oh my goodness me, this is hands down. You know, I said earlier on that jewel jadeite neck uh, bracelet was my favorite yes. of all time. It's just been overtaken. I absolutely love this bangle and I've been trying to pre-order and for some reason my app's not working so I'm sat just a mild panic. Oh, that's this what you were doing while I was... <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. This is a star buy. It's breathtaking and it's up next. Now... I've never made any secret of the fact that I absolutely adore Malachi and I'm startly, starting to get a little bit anxious because my app is not updating. Um, on Saturday, and it's my own fault, on Saturday I knew of this showcase, I even spoke about this showcase, I spoke about this bangle in particular that was being launched on Saturday, um, but I was down in Wales and I didn't get the opportunity to tune in like so many of you did. If you were one of the lucky people to get hold of it, this is exceptional absolutely exceptional we talk oh, honestly I've, I'm, I'm, I'm actually I'm actually breath uh, it makes me speechless because we talk about Malachi and these really distinctive bands we talk about the peacock's eye don't we yeah how the peacock's eye is the most sought after so it forms in stalactites and stalagmites copper rich solution that over Thousands upon thousands of years has filtered down, uh, it dripped effectively into these underground caves and created these beautiful stalactites of these wonderful greens. And a bit like sort of the rings of a tree, um, you have those separations. There is no other gemstone out there like malachite. Um, in, and that's why over and over and over again, I say it's my all time favorite. It's mesmerically beautiful. And this is totally natural. This is why so many design, that's some of the best Malachi I've seen full stop. Do we all agree? Yeah. yeah. Look, it, this is how it forms wow. sometimes upwards, sometimes down. So like I said, stalactite, stalagmite. Uh, and that's all natural. Wow. All natural. There is, there's, there's, there's a slice, if you like. You can see those peacock side, those circular, almost like floral blooms. Can you see it as well in the bangle? Like Sakura, absolutely, you get these layers. Look at this bit here on the curve as it comes around. This has completely blown me away. So many of you, like, I'm honestly, it's totally natural. It, Congolese, which is the premium location of source, there's 11 available. 10. I'm bowled over by this. I have never, ever, ever seen. Oh, gosh. I have never seen malachite like this before. Honestly, that's better than Van Cleef and Arpel's malachite that I've seen. Yeah. And I Piage, think, I think also above. because it's a larger piece, so you can see so much more of that pattern. Because normally you see malachite in little bits, you know. Yeah, I, sorry. If I sound distracted, Monica, I am. <laughs> Is I can see? I'm not. I, 
<laughs> I can't. I won't forget. I won't forget about this. Do you know what I mean? You know when you see a piece of jewellery that you know you're never going to forget about. Yeah. yeah. And if you, you think, if I don't, please stop. Yes. There you go. Uh, I I wasn't leaving this to chance because I know I would have not have forgotten about this amazing bracelet. There you are, bracelet. right on the screen at the top. Look <laughs> at the quality of it. It's unbelievable. It's my, it's probably, it is my number one favourite gemstone. It was part of one of your special design pieces. It was. I love yeah. it. I absolutely love it. I just find this just so fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. I mean, again, I could flick through... Piaget, Chopard, I could show you Tiffany's and Co. I could show you Dolce and Gabbana. I could show you uh, Van Cleef and Arpels, we've already said. Uh, There's pretty much every single jewellery house. Gucci. Um, it's also the influence in interior design. And is it any wonder? You know, like Dolce and Gabbana, this handbag, it's not actually malachite, by the way. That's resin. The handbag <laughs> is resin. We've got, we're going straight to it. You may, it's stunning. Devon, it's stunning. And I know Dave launched it on Saturday. And when I promoted it um, in the lead up to that show, I was like, oh my goodness, I've got to tune in. £799. I won't, I, this is one of those pieces if I would not forget about. And I'm sure you'd all agree. If you can, if your budget allows to own a bangle that is hand carved out of Malachite. Wow. wow. It's the first bangle I've seen, and yeah. there might be a story behind this. It might be a case of Dave's, you know, uh, uh, there probably is, you know, in terms of how he actually acquired the, uh, the, the, you know, the parcel. But I've never seen a bangle of malachite. It tends to be in slices, doesn't it? Slivers. Yes, yes. small, small bits, small but, pieces. But, yes. um, hello to you, Sue. It's one of those gorgeous gemstones that make you realise how amazing oh, the, na uh, the natural world is. Here, here, Sue. So yeah. I could not have said that any more yeah. perfectly. Yeah. It is yeah. amazing. It, 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 I, I, I can sit and spend hours looking at the recording on your screens right now. And it, it, I mean, look at this, how it forms even without a single facet or carve. Wow, that's amazing. Look at how amazing that is. I remember the article that we read during, uh, um, it was on a uh, jewellery editor, wasn't it? It said it's that outlandish eccentric that once met you never forget. Yeah. It is. That's so true. I've got five of these bangles left. Was it not? Sorry, Ross is just saying the best thing is, Al, that's not your closing price. I'm with you, Yi Mei. I wasn't letting this pass me by. I'm with you, Devon. Look at how beautiful it is. And yeah, I might get told off because it is limited. But otherwise, it would have caused me sleepless nights if I didn't actually <laughs> yeah. own this. Five of them exist. That's it. Left. That's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. Um, it's stunning. I, I generally think this is one of the most beautiful pieces that we've ever actually brought to air. It's a solid bangle of natural malachite all the way from Congo. You've got the beautiful blooms. You've got those amazing uh, florets or peacock's eye as they're actually referred to within the industry. Every single one will look unique because that is another nature for you. You'll see the one that's on your screen's got some much more condensed peacock's eye. Beautiful, aren't they? Um, I love the layers that you get. Ah, oh, I can't, I'm bowled over. Good luck, everybody. Massive congratulations. Apparently, this is not your closing prize. I wasn't able to tune in. I was traveling down to Wales on Saturday, so I didn't get the chance to shop during the deal of the day. But really, what did they do? Go on, I'll oh, find out in a second. What did they take this to? Unbelievable. Mm. It's unbelievable. There are only five available. Yeah. Four. 499 plus you have got your split payments as well jewelry makers yeah i i could i wouldn't forget something like this is absolutely amazing and i think you're gonna love it as much as i do there is a little bit of a queue on the phone line so we've got who kent okay and a new customer on the phone lines as well. There's Stephanie with it in Cambridge. If you all check out, that's it. They've gone. They've gone. And I don't know. I will ask Davey, stepping into the studio in a few moments' time, what the likelihood of getting another Malachite bangle will be. I imagine it's probably going to be remote because you need a huge, well, you need a huge stalactite, don't yeah. you, or stalagmite of Malachite yeah. to be able to carve. I, I just can't even get my head around how they actually we do it. We will get more Malachite bangles, but not this this is unbelievable. They call them bullseye malachite bangle. 
Do you see the peacock you, you side? Put the video on the main screen, Adam. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Do you see these yeah. moments where it's almost like dragon scale? Yeah. They're the bullseye. So that's like the most central point of the layers of yeah. habitat. Oh so if you throw goodness. a stone in the lake and the ripples yeah. go out, that's that centre point of the formation. I of love habitat. Malachite, Dave. So it's my number a, one favourite. We are you know, trying to get more Malachite, but it would just be the straight striation. Yeah, yeah. Which is you know more widely available, but the bullseye bangle, we've only ever sourced that one. Bullseye? That's the first time I've ever heard. Yeah, I thought it was peacock side. Is it? Yeah, that's that's cool. cool. This very, is. Very I've just bought one, Dave. Yeah, they're amazing. This is incredible. I absolutely love it. Two of them are left, so you've just heard it. Dave's just stepped into the studio. He probably, you, I hope you heard it. He basically said, we'll get more malachite, but not like the bullseye variety. Amazing. Down to the last two. So I've got Tracy, Celia and Simon, Maker, and I've got Stephanie. So there's four of you in for the final two opportunities. I'm completely head over heels in love. Down to the last one. Amazing. Rennie, well done. You've just got yours. Honestly, uh, and I don't say this lightly, it's my favourite piece that I've ever brought to air. It's beautiful and a real privilege. Congratulations, everybody. I got mine too. Woohoo! Um, and we've got the wonderful Dave, as you, can, as you just heard, stepping into the studio to bring you an amazing mystery deal of the day. A parcel that has landed today. Is that right? Landed today. I don't even know what it is. Monica, do you know no, what it is? No, no we don't. don't. And it's Monica's birthday celebration, so don't go anywhere. Lovely Dave stepping into the studio after this. All you need to do to apply for Britain's Next Gem 2023 is... Email guestdesigner at jewelrymaker.com with the subject title Britain's Next Gem 2023 and include your name, your specialism, how you fell in love with jewelry making, how long you've been making jewelry for, an image of your proudest piece. For more details on how to apply, visit the Jewelry Maker website. Oh, and good luck. Back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world famous Stratford-upon-Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three-course dinner, half a bottle of wine and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker.
Welcome back, everybody. I'm excited because I have seen for the very first time what we're launching today. And of course, we have the wonderful oh. Dave in the studio. <laughs> thank you, Al, and thank you to you guys as well. I'm also extremely excited. You know, we heard about this some time ago. Um, it was found in you know some incredible rough uh, that the team in Asia had bought. I mean, yeah, we, we, we have bought you many different varieties of jade. And you know, for us to get excited about something we've never seen before, yeah. you know that it is uh, rare. You know, it has to be rare because we buy huge volumes of jade out. We've been bringing it to you for three years. And this is something that I'm sure that none of you have ever seen. But for you to understand truly kind of how to value this material or, or you know, if it's something that you want to add to your collection, we, we need to talk about jade, you know, the gemstone that has been revered for thousands of years in the Far East. And this is, you know, something that I'm sure many of you will understand. Neither jadeite or nephrite can be fully transparent. However, the most desirable pieces present a high translucency that gives them a glass-like appearance. Jade texture refers to the smoothness and visual texture of the stone's grain. Mm. Now, um, <clears throat> as you see behind Al or behind me, you know, say David Harry Jules, and that's something that you know, it is a brand that I'm working on. And part of that will be uh, a website that will give you guys a lot of information, especially about your jade collections. You know, in, currently in the process of working on that, it's, you know, probably going to go live next month. And, um, you know, the information is key. And I, I want to provide a, a kind of level of education, not from me, but, you know, when I go to China, when I go to Asia and I speak to true authorities, experts in their field, I'm picking their brains so I can put together some articles for you. So this has never been seen because the website isn't live. But it's something that I want you all uh, to, to be able to understand. Um, I don't think the clicker's working, Ross. It's my fault. There we go. Um, so this is the, one wow, of the parts. Wow, a preview. Uh, yeah, this is a preview, yeah. So when we talk about Fuei Shea, we refer to the degrees of density. Okay, this is the compression within the stone and transparency, the clarity. Jewelry made from Fuei Shea must both be dense and clear, as well as hard and regal in appearance. Good jade is dense or highly compact, and bad jade is brittle and fractures easily. And both can be type A, mm -hmm. both natural. We're talking about entirely type A jade right now. Mm -hmm. But you've got good and bad, you know, brittle and dense. Right. Fuei Shea, or water, denotes its level of transparency. A lot of water means high transparency, while little water means low transparency. In the industry, when we talk about the type of water, we refer to the composition of the mineral crystals within the jade that can have clarity similar to different states of water. This is why we use terms like water, ice, or snow. Okay, moss in snow, icy jade, and then top water. This would be the fine to not so fine in scale. In some rare instances, Chinese labs will certify the jade as aqua. This is reserved for the purest and finest jade out that money can buy. Aqua usually has no color, so it's usually completely transparent. And if you get aqua with some color, you're dealing with the most significant jade in the world. And if it's super green, this would be imperial, which is around two to three million dollars a carat. Wow. There is a Chinese saying that says an insider looks at kind, an outsider just looks at color. When an expert in Asia appraises jade, the texture and transparency of the water are first and foremost. It is the texture of the jade that determines its kind uh, or type. The color then improves upon the value of the fuei shea. So don't get too distracted by the pretty colors. You'll want to make sure it's a good stone first. So that's the first thing they look for. So we can, you know, go, we've got red jade, we've got yellow jade, we've got this, we've got that. But the reality is the first thing that an appraiser looks at is the quality of the stone, the makeup, its kind, yeah. you know, how dense that, that structure is. Fuei Shea is not just green. That's another thing that needs to be understood. Various combinations of chromium and iron give the Fuei Shea jade out, which I guess is top water jade out or aqua jadeite, it's rich colors, from the rich emerald color to a mild yellow or a bright violet to a cool blue green or a pale white and many, many more possible colors. I want you to understand that because we are bringing aqua jadeite today. So wow. like, top translucency, incredible density, like the volume of this jade is like nothing we've ever had before. And we're about to bring you the most unique color. Wow. And when we talk about the rarest colors of jade, of course we mention red and we mention yellow, we yep. mention white, obviously the, the the more saturated green. But the reality is the color we never mention because it simply just, it really doesn't need a mention because it doesn't exist. I want to show you what Fuei Shea Jade commands in the, the Far East in the different colors. So that green cabochon is $6,000. And I was saying to our, 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 our people in the Far East, Bernard in this occasion, you know, this is too expensive. Can we try for Guatemalan? Um, and basically, you know, you can see there, he says, you've got to find the right rough stone to do a custom order because it's just not available in the marketplace. Okay. And he even goes to say that Guatemalan is not possible for this color and water. 
It's true that like much better quality is now arriving from Guatemala because of Chinese investment, but you'll never get this grade. You'll never get Fui Shea or top, top gem mm. material. This is like icy jade. This yeah. is, uh, uh, you know, before aqua. Aqua is even finer than this. And an icy Guan Yin, three and a half thousand dollars a piece. And they're saying, look, this is an amazing deal. Take it. This price is very favorable. Like an icy Buddha, wow. hardly any color, fifteen hundred dollars per piece. And then when you get to glassy or aqua, well, it's 580,000 Hong Kong. Wow. That, believe it or not, that is jade. That's jade eye. It looks like glass. Yeah, it does. And, and basically what you want <clears throat> in an ideal world, as the expert was saying in the blog um, that, that we shared with you and you'll be able to go on next month and whatever. But what they're saying is that's the, the, the stone you want. Once you start adding color to that, the price goes up. Yeah. First and foremost, that's as good as a stone you'll ever get. Pieces like this, you know, jade and diamond ring and earring set, Bonhams, they sold for 78,000 US dollars. Just three cabochons. Uh, and then we go to the GIA. And we've, we've talked about this before, does jade come in pink and blue? Mm -hmm. And we've talked about how, you know, we've had access to Olmec blue. Yeah. Um, which is only ever found in Guatemala and can never crystallize in like glassy states, mm -hmm. you know, because of the geology is very different. But that's where you're going to get blue from. Now, it's a very different blue. It's almost like a grandidiorite color. Yeah, teal. Like teal, right? Yeah. Because that's as blue as you'll ever get. Even the GIA says, Jade is available in a wide range of colors. In rare cases, it could be considered pink. However, this is actually on the kind of lavender scale. Rare examples of Guatemalan Jade in a blue color do exist. But there's nothing else. There's no mention of Burmese blue Jade eye. And then we, we go to the GIT, which is a, the equivalent of the GIA in Thailand. And they talk about blue Jade. And they call it a rare jadeite jade. And they say jadeite jade is one of the most sought after gemstones that are rich in cultural and historical background. In Chinese culture, jade has been considered the stone of heaven for centuries. Jadeite is characterized by its transparent, too opaque. All of those can be Taipei. That's just the different states, the different makeup of the stone. Uh, and that's caused by close packed fibrous aggregate structure. So the, uh, this is a really bad analogy, but imagine if you had a box and, uh, or a crate and you filled that crate with basketballs. Mm. There's gaps in between, yeah. right? And then obviously the, the tight of the crystallization, so if you put ping pong balls in there, yeah. you get much smaller gaps and that's a finer kind of jade, that's ice jade. That makes sense. But if you put ball bearings in there, yeah. hardly any light's gonna get through. You know, there is no gaps. Mm -hmm. That would be top water, you know, where it's so tightly compressed. Mm. You're talking about the same volume, Okay, well, we talk about density and volume in jade eye. Talking about the same volume, it's still, you know, it, yeah, a donut, a high goo, yep. a cabochon. You know, you're still talking about a crate. Yeah. But it's how, and it's all type A. They're all, in this case, they're all balls. But basketballs are larger, and so you're going to get a coarser structure of jade yep. In that case, it would be opaque. Then you go to the, the ping pong balls, which is ultra fine, glassy, you know, yep. uh, uh, icy. And then when you go down to, like, the ball bearings or the, you know, grains of sand and fill it up that's a great that's analogy. how dense it is i know yeah. but it, it's not sexy is it because we're talking about jade and i couldn't <laughs> think of anything else but that's you know that's the, the reality you know we, you can get exactly the same it's all type a it's all the same carving it's all the same dimensions you know you know five by six whatever it may be an oval but the reality is the makeup can be very different that's why they said an insider looks at kind which is the makeup of that crystal and an outsider looks at the color okay and, and get blown away by that and in this, they talk about the, the close packed fibrous aggregate structure. And the closer they are packed, the finer the jade, resulting in its high toughness, suitable for carving. And that's, by the way, why I, al I always say that the finer the jade, the harder it is on the most scale. Mm. Now, when we talk about jade being harder than steel, that's only top, the, top the jade. Top, that's top why right, bangles yeah. are always really, really highly polished and incredible density. Yeah. Th that's the strongest type of jade because it's so you know, closely mm -hmm. compacted. They say the stone can be found in various colors, ranging from white, green, lavender, which is purple or violet, brown, blue, and black. Among those, the green and lavender are the most famous hues, mm -hmm. while the blue, or singularly the blue, of all those colors, is considered the rarest variety of jade. Yeah. So why am I saying this? Why am I talking about blue jade? Why are we talking about aqua? It's because for the first time ever, we actually are going to bring you the rarest jade art on Earth. Every lab will agree with that. The GIA says it doesn't exist. The GIT says it is the rarest jade in the world. Um, not from Olmec, not from Guatemala, but from Burma. And no one ever what? talks about it because it doesn't Blue exist. Now, jade item, yeah, and, and yeah, it, all colors of jade exist on a, a, a scale or a series. So, you know, you can have lavender, 
which is ultra pale and like a blush lavender color and it goes all the way to like a pink you know, in some rare cases it'd be considered pink the same with it is true of uh, black jade you have gray to black yeah. green can be like uh, that mint green all the way to imperial green and then beyond that into spinach green the same is true of blue it goes from gray to blue bordering on the lavender it exists in that spectrum to find blue is almost impossible it is considered the rarest jade on earth I'm not talking price we know imperial green three million dollars a carat but far more abundant when compared to blue jade this is like a violet blue jade so this is realistically a lavender jade right? but because blue is so rare they wanted to put that in there yeah that's a piece that's already sold now it's a historic piece but it sold for three and a half thousand pounds you get pieces like this burma jade eye ice blue jade necklace it's like a gray blue yeah eight thousand five hundred dollars on sale that is is we are beyond that today in fact <clears throat> usually i wouldn't do the reveal right now but adam you just showed me that and i want to show everyone else at home because yeah, wow look at what we're about to bring you this is supremely exciting yeah the rarest factually sub objectively the rarest jade art on planet earth like that's it Blue jadeite from Burma, type A, 100% natural, and aqua, in terms of the crystallization, how dense it is uh, compacted. And you get you know, blue-green. You can get blue-green. And because the blue, even when you find blue, it, fo it forms in such small plumes within the body of jadeite, so, like, almost like ink dots, but very mm. pale. Mm. To, to maximize that, they're cutting into the green as well. But again, you can see the price on that, 275,000 Hong Kong dollars. In 2013, that's like $30,000. Wow. Or 30,000 pounds on a string with, you know, green jadeite beads. But yeah. all of that is top aqua or, or top water. You can see, right, it looks like a different stone to what we usually bring you. Mm -hmm. This is an IC jadeite bangle with like a hint of blue. The most delicate, delicate shade of blue back in 2015, 100 to $150,000. And some, in some instances, you can get this. Now that is genuinely priceless. In fact, there is no market reference for this. It doesn't exist on the scale where they say imperial green's here, lavender's here, you know, the other colors are here. The reality is there is no disclosed fee for this material. Like if someone has it and someone wants it, I, who knows what they pay for it. Blue water jadeite is one of the rarest types of jadeite. It's mainly composed of green peroxine, which is a fine texture and usually light gray and blue and also has a shallow, fine-grained uh, uh, fibular structure. Um, this is essentially, when you get that color, you usually are getting the best crystal. That's unbelievable. Yeah, I've that's, never seen that, anything that's unbelievable. like it. And here's, here's like a cabochon. Wow. Blue J this is from our team in the Far East, by the way. Okay. So blue jade out in Burma is rarer than Imperial Green, which yeah. we've just covered, we know that. Now the price is never disclosed, but it's very, very expensive. There is no market pricing for this. We, you know, we hear about Imperial Green jade out, two to three million dollars carats because there's enough of it that has been sold mm -hmm. that they can balance out the yep. price per carat you know yeah and to do that to, to get a read on the market it needs to be in public auction houses you know it's a kind of an aggregate the, bo the boulder we have sourced had several plumes of pale blue crystal material that we can try and cut for you now <clears throat> i'm going to show you like uh, top crystal jade eye. okay i'm going to show you this uh, thank you dan so this is you know what they call a gambling stone it's a small boulder and um, this is type A jadeite. This is something that, that I acquired whilst in China at the market, purely to show you people, the, the reason I bought this, they thought was to cut it. And, and people often say the jade torch, you know, how important is the jade torch? Show you how important it is. So this is, we've polished off a surface area here. So you can see this incredible jadeite. Top crystal, That's moments, cool. moments of, uh, there we go, of imperial green deep in there. Yeah. But if I was to turn it over, it's just yeah. a rock, right? But with a jade torch, you can go inside it. It goes through the skin, wow. lights up the jade eye. And you can see, oh my God, in here, there, look. You we've got top crystal jade eye. Yeah. Top crystal. And this is why the jade torch is used. And the, I don't know if I'll be able to show this, but I'm on the other side here. Oh the my light, goodness. The light is coming through, look. Yeah. So you take it yeah, away, yeah. but it's coming through. So we know the light is, is penetrating this much of the crystal. So we know it's, it's crystallized to a real high density. That's fascinating. Yeah. Absolutely fascinating. It's the first time I've ever seen it with a boulder. Uh, well, I couldn't buy a boulder, but I got a gambling I mean, stone, uh, which is, you know, in some cases can be, if that was all Imperial Green, more expensive. But today in, in a large, much larger boulder, as they sliced it, as they often do, as they always do, 
they found these kind of moments, these kind of plumes of like really good crystal, pale blue, mm. bordering on grey, sometimes violet, jadeite, with that level of crystallization. This is like, even if this, which it will, like sells out today and it's like, oh my God, Dave, this is not going to happen. But imagine if Ross came in and said, 10,000 people just missed out. Can't believe it. Can we get more? We'd move heaven and earth to get more. We can't get more. Like, that's the reality. That's what I want you to understand. It's rarer than Imperial Green Jedi. Um, this material isn't being mined anymore. And even when it was being mined, there's been so little of it ever mined that there is no known market pricing for it. Mm. This is a, a, a curiosity, a rarity. In fact, it is the rarest jadeite on Earth. It is Burmese, Taipei, blue aqua jadeite. There's four auctions, <clears throat> all cut from the same rough, but I'll be really honest, um, there is a 10 mil strand, right. which is the one we've been showing you, the one that's behind L and we've been showcasing to everyone. There's a 10 mil strand, which is unbelievable. That is almost pure blue. Thank you, Adam. That's almost pure um, blue all the way through. Yeah. Then there is, believe it or not, an actual donor. So a carved, unbelievable donor of type A jadeite, which is sensational, which again is that top blue. And then there is two longer length, smaller bead strands, which we, some of the, the beads are full blue, some of them are gray, some of them are lavender. And we're calling that those, those one. Oh my goodness. That's type A. So, but these, I'm going to be honest, if I may, the two big pieces that, that you're going to want to get hold of is that one and the 10 mil. The two longer length pieces will work with it. They're from the same rough. So, like, you know, 20, 30% of the beads, there they are, have that color, but the others go into gray, some into that mint green that we saw on that carved mm -hmm. piece at Christie's or Sotheby's, <clears throat> and going into violet as well. We're going to call those the Aqua Series. So the two long lengths are part of the Aqua Series, the donut and the 10 mil are pure aqua. Right. So that's the difference in the four auctions we're about to bring to you. Which one do you, would you like to start with this one? The 10, 10 mil, yeah, 10 mil 27, 27 centimeter strand. Wow. Unheard of. I, I'm almost just like here as like a passenger. I just wanted to see this as well. Having worked in it, I was like, look, I just want to be here to see the excitement, to see the, the you guys on the phone lines. I'm going to ask him, Ross and Adam for a 30 second clock. <clears throat> And we will make this available. It's only 50. That's all we have. There are two other strands, but they mm. don't have the same uh, matched incredible blue color and they're nowhere near the size. In 20 seconds, this will be available. The only reason we're bringing it you here is because we can do a jewelry maker price. We can actually do the, the prices that we are used to on the rarest jadeite definitively that has ever been mined. There it is. That unbelievable. So blue. Yeah. This beautiful kind of light, pale, blush, grey blue yeah. that runs throughout this. Nowhere near the price. Don't worry about it. We're, we're going to look after every single one of it. There is only 50. If you wanted to create a full strand of this 10 mil colour, buy two or three of these. And the reason I'm saying buy two or three, because you can. It's Jewelry Maker. You know what we're about. We make things happen. This is top crystallization, incredible color. I've got makers in California, uh, the south of England, in Devon, Surrey, you're multi-buying, Swansea, you're multi-buying. Thank you for trusting me. This is an opportunity we can never get for you again. Mm. I've been to the markets in Guangzhou. I've been to the, the markets in Myanmar. I've been to the markets in Shenzhen. I've seen Imperial Green Jade. I've seen you know, f true floating flower like the Million Dollar Stones. I've seen the most impressive jade in my time. Never seen blue jade not in real life. I didn't know it existed. Not in real life. Then when we got that message, like you can imagine my heart. It's probably like you guys at home now that have just seen it. When they said, look, we got this, uh, we've got this boulder and it's got some plumes of, of, of blue. Now, <clears throat> I'll be really frank with all of you because you're probably thinking, well, how are you going to do a jewelry maker price? So the boulder was about, I don't know, this large from the floor. It's a big, big boulder, right? And they've cut through it and not even, if you take all that into account, not even 5% of it has any crystallized blue. Okay. But they're just plumes, they're moments, right? Mm -hmm. And if we said, just cut the blue out, we want that, we'd stop here. Yeah. Or around here. You mean you saw that other strand for eight, eight and a half thousand dollars or whatever? Yeah. I don't know because we didn't do that, but we'd be in the thousands. We've taken the whole boulder. 
That's the only way we can make this happen. It's the only way. So we're taking some of the lower grade greens. Yeah. There are other colors in there as well, predominantly like a very pale green. And we're going to bring that to you over the next few months, no problem. But my priority was, because I already sliced it, I said, we'll take the boulder, we'll figure it out. We'll do incredible deals for you guys from the same boulder, greens, you know, everything we've kind of seen before. But I said, just as a priority, get me the blue. Just cut the blue out first, and then we'll deal with the rest of the boulder later on. So the, the rest of the boulder that we've acquired is nowhere near this grade, nowhere near this color. It's less than 5%, mm. but that's the only way we can get a deal like this for blue. you. Yeah. Oh, thank you, uh, Stuart or, or Ted. Uh, oh, Dave, this is uh, phenomenal. When you showed the donut, I'm afraid some unprintable words escaped from my mouth. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, look, I'm with you. I, um, I was exactly the same when I received like the, the, the WhatsApp pictures of it as well. This is like for, for those of you that are collectors, and <clears throat> I know I'm so familiar with all of the names on the screen mm, right now. I'm absolutely. sure URL as well. Yeah. And I know that... <clears throat> You, you know, you join me for shows on Gemporia as well. Mm -hmm. You know, I see you a lot. You are part of the, what I call the Jade Club, I guess. And, and I know you have some of the most enviable collections. A lot of you have much larger collections than I do um, of Jadeite. And this is something that none of you have. You can't have it. It doesn't exist. Now, I mentioned next door, you know, in a, about a week, we enter into our 19th year. That's amazing. Our birthday, yeah. our celebrations. And you can imagine some of the incredible collections and showcases we have lined up for our, our collectors all over the world. I'll tell you right now, not a single piece of Blue Jade. And you can watch every show for the month of October. There's not a single piece of Blue Jade. Well, this is, you guys, because I, I, a lot of you jump between the channels and I get messages on social media, you know, and... It's a kind of running joke that like jewelry maker get all the favorable, you know, yeah. moments, right? And and look, I that's hear that not too. because that's not just because like I love being here at jewelry maker. It's because a, a, a unique uh, operation like jewelry maker, which is very novel, has a very different position in the industry. Mm -hmm. Nothing else quite like it. And for that reason, we don't have as big an audience here. It's not like it. Uh, you know, me being disrespectful. No, 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 saying, no, it is. You know, in, in, all, in, in, life, in life, yeah. how many people make jewellery and how many people wear jewellery? Yeah, exactly. You know, that's just the reality. I love the fact that we can make jewellery here. But, yeah. you know, the, mass, the, 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 mass, uh, the masses prefer just to buy finished jewellery, right? So we, have, we just have a bigger uh, uh, global audience next door. Well, 50 next door is not enough. And, and remember, this is like, what, a uh, 20-centimetre strand. So I'd have to use two of these to make a necklace. So yeah. I'd actually only have 25. Yeah. Whereas exactly. you can take this part and do whatever you wish with it. So naturally, and I'm always open about this even on Gemporia, but naturally, I guess the rarest, any opportunity that I get comes here. Yeah. And that's the beauty of Gemporia. It means that I can go and buy that whole boulder and the 95% of it can go there and we can do 200 quantities. We can do 150 quantities of full strands, but it'll be green. But that 5% that is blue comes here because it makes sense. Now, I'm going to give you a 30-second clock. And, of course, uh, you know, there's a reason I'm telling you how well we bought this, you know, how, how you know, we've got this deal over the line. Now, we've got some messages coming into the studio asking about the split payment. Yes, it is on split payment. Um, yeah, it's just our graphics aren't showing it. So speak to our contact center on the website. It is available on uh, split payment, even though it's not on your screens right now. In 10 seconds, have you ever seen anything more mesmerically beautiful? How incredible is this blue? Oh, it's, it's a proper, I don't know how to describe it. Like, you know, like a heavenly blue. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. And Dave, I've loved l that. Every word that you said there, I was, I was literally hanging on. Absolutely amazing. Well, I appreciate the that. You know, like, uh, you might, my, the, the hardest thing about the, the work that, that I do, and I'm sure Elle, you do as well, is just me, you know, because the prices we go to are so low, mm. that's not blowing our own trumpet. We buy very differently to any jewelers. It's helping you understand what we're achieving now. Yeah, absolutely. Like, if I'd have just gone in there and said, as many of the jewelers might, and say, hey, guys, we're only interested in the blue. We're, we're a... We've got a store on Bond Street. We don't want the low-grade green. We mm -hmm. just want the ultra-rare blue. We want to create a collection out of it. So we only want 5% of that boulder. Price is going to go up. A, and, and, like, look, I, I don't ever want to diminish what other jewellery houses do. What we do is so unique, and it works out amazing for all of us. But this jewellery house here, right, it's, well, it's an antique piece for starters, but the original jewellery house, 
probably only needed one of these. Yeah, probably, right? yeah. That's and it's eight and a half thousand dollars. Yeah. Right? I've got, I had 50 of these. I'm going to go straight down to 499. Wow. And um, yeah, I, I agree, it's amazing. But wow. we've just saved you $8,000 on that piece there. And we're literally going toe to toe with showing it you. But on top of that, I want to let all our collectors know, the reason I said, if you can buy two of these, do it and make the full length 10 mil strand. I am going to say, I'm still hundreds of, hundreds of pounds away from being finished. And I know that maybe you want to see the translucency, so I'm just going to borrow it. Yeah, of course, let me pass okay. it to you. Um, <clears throat> Here. Thank you uh, so much. The rarest of all. So much so I didn't even know it existed. Yeah, and that's no, it was neither did the GIA, so that's not a slight on you. Uh, you know, even the GIA have no idea that you can get blue jade out from Manmar. And again, we talked about a lot on, on the blog that I shared with you that will be available free very soon. Wow, Dave, that's amazing. I'll go back up if that's okay, Dan and Adam. We talked about the crystallization, wow. the bodies of water of jadeite. Aqua jadeite is very unique, like that blue jadeite is very unique, that it quite often, I mean, it doesn't form often, but when it does, the majority of it is top crystal, top water. And we can confidently show you that translucency. We switch off the lights, we put the light through it. Um, I'll ask for another 30 second clock. And I guess it's still that presence of vanadium that produces yes. the blue. Yeah. Just, just as with the lavender, because as I said, they all exist wow. in that series. Yeah. You know, so um, when we talk about the, the red material, it's that oxidization of the iron. Yeah. But you can get brown too, and you can get yellow. They're part of the same series. Yeah. So it is the, the presence, it's, you know, it's the perfect amount. It's wow. the, the, the most perfect amount that exists. Um, in 10 seconds, we're going to shock you. Look at that. Yeah. It's exquisite. Okay. From 499, where do I go? I'm going to go to 149. What? 149. I don't know how many of these we have remaining, but you're getting a 10 mil type A blue jadeite strand. You did say 149. Yeah, 149. It's on your screen right now. Two interest-free split payments. I've got Anne in Cardiff, you've got two. I've got Valerie in Somerset, you've got two. Oh, Karen in 90. South Yorkshire, you've got three. Uh, Maker in Devon, you've got two. Rosemary in Surrey, you've got three. Lots of us are taking the opportunity to multi-buy and get this. Remember, the lights in the studio are not kind to most gemstones. I mean, Valerie, you've got three. They <laughs> literally bleach it out. You know, Adams. Dave, our call screen's on a little bit of a lag, but as you can see, it's just woken yeah, up. Yeah. The, the phone lines have, has lit up. Oh, for sure. I mean, I mean these people, Yi Mei in Greater London, I know you have an unbelievable collection yeah. of Taipei Jade. I, you know, and not just from me, I'm sure, but you know Jade. You know Jade. Even though Elle didn't know this existed, when she realized it did, oh. we know it's special. Like, for instance, did any of us know that, um, if I could just, sorry, uh, Ross, I just brought the clicker. Yi Mei's actually got two of these, which is unbelievable. But any, anyone know that Jade could exist like that? No. Like that bangle that's just like... Ye May, you've got two of those. Yeah, Ye May's oh. got two. Valerie's got three. Maker in Swansea's got two. We're at £74.50. and pence. Caroline in Greater Manchester, been collecting jade yep. for, for 50 plus years. Yeah. He's on the phone lines. I think you've just got yours. We've got in the queue right now, I've got Maker in Gloucestershire. Caroline, you're there. Maker, uh, Tina, Moira. Uh, Maker in London's just got two. Someone's got five in their basket. Maker in Swansea's there. This is the opportunity. I said, like, of the four beautiful pieces that we've managed to carve from this mm. boulder there's two that stand One, four, out there's nine, two that are significant yeah and that's all down to the fact that you bought the entire boulder yeah, that we have to do things like that to make these opportunities viable viable yeah, yeah exactly to make them affordable and and i guess it goes back to that statement that you always say we don't go okay how 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 much can we get it's no. how little can we yeah, that's the it. thing you know maybe another jeweler would show you all of this uh, literature so look, they sell for 8,000, they sell for 100,000, mm. blah, 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 blah. This is why we're doing this price. It's the price of the material. The only reason I'm doing it is so you don't think of this as a 149 acquisition. Yeah. Like, I don't want you to think, oh, 149, that's great. Um, I don't want you to feel like that. Like, we buy so differently. Forget about to the any other jewelry house on the up. planet. Yeah. yeah. It's one of those, isn't it? You don't want to remember that because that's no, no reflection of the true value or worth. My goodness me. Um, there's still opportunities, but it is getting extremely, extremely limited now, jewelry makers. Plus, how many, and these would be luxury high-end gem traders, well, jade traders, will also say, I tell you what, give me an 0% interest split payment. There's that. 
um, as well. I've never seen it. Like I said, I, I mean, my first ever jade piece that I saw was 25 years ago. And I wasn't overwhelmed because, Dave, it didn't have the translucency that we're looking at right now. Yeah. Um, and Ross, can I see how many we have remaining of the 50 that we, that we bought to our collectors? We have precisely... Okay, 11. there's 11 left and I'm not done. Pardon? So, I'll tell you who's in the queue. Christine, Mags, Caroline, Anne, Tina, Moira, someone with five, Maker in Swansea. Can I have a 30... Anne, you've just got three. Can I have a 30-second clock, please, Adam, if that's okay? There's literally 11 chances remaining. Yeah. And I'm still going again on the price. Well, there's only we 50 the in Can the beginning. Yeah. So, good luck to anyone who wants to own this. Uh, Anne, you've got three. Gloucestershire, you've got two. London, you've got two. Oh. Ye May's got two. I know someone else has got three. It's actually gone off my screen. In 15 seconds you'll get your final price. That's amazing. You, you'll, you'll get your final price. So if you see your name on this side of the screen, mm. check out your baskets, because look at that quantity. There is 11 as it stands. Cumbria, Christine, Mags, Caroline. Okay, 99 99 take 50 quid off. Good luck to every single one of you. Um, that's the opportunity. That is the ultimate opportunity. Uh, and there's nine chances remaining. Single figure stock, we've gone to 99 99 Unbelievable. I Good can't luck. get my head around it, Dave. Good luck to, to anyone who wants to capitalise on this. Remember, we still have that huge single carat weight piece coming up. Oh, that that yes. exquisite... The high goo. Yeah. Got the high goo and we've got the other strands as well. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. Down to the final two jewellery makers. These kind of opportunities, though, Dave, I guess... Well, they, it's once in a lifetime, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. Oh, they've like, gone. They, 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 sold out. Okay, apologies, apologies. We didn't even have time to do a minute clock to close that one out. They have gone. Well done to you. Congratulations. I said there was the two pieces to get from this. Oh, here, here it is. This piece right now. Wow. Yeah. That colour. Do you know I'm visualising that? Just literally with some cord. Mm, oh, 100%. Knotted. As they would anywhere else uh, in the Far East. Do a 30 second clock. We'll make this available. Is it 50 of these, Ross? There is, yeah. Yeah, 50 opportunities on this. The other two, longer lengths, smaller beads, uh, and are kind of more exist in the Aqua series. This is pure Aqua in colour and in the crystal and the density. Exquisite. And you've just seen what we've done on the 160 carat 10 mil strand. So I hope you have the confidence to get involved. I hope you're there, and I hope you get your piece. I said these were the two today. I want to be honest, I could have said all four of these carry this Ooh, colour, sorry. and they do, it's true they do, but these are solely this colour. Yeah. 30 carats and a single gem in that wonderful, iconic, historical, culturally significant high goo shape. You're flying in, 10% um, of the stock's gone. That's, that is the way something like this is going to go. Yeah. Absolutely. Rosemary, the first person on the phone lines took three of these. Yeah, I don't blame you, Rosemary. Okay, Swansea, you're there. We've got South Yorkshire, Greater Manchester, California. Um, Liz, seven seconds ago. I'm so glad I purchased all my jade out from Jewelry Maker when it first came on air. But these deals are brilliant. Thank you so much, Liz. It's, it's wonderful to know that you've, just, you've been here from the start. Your collections have been growing and, and you're, you're loving these offerings that we're bringing to you. Karen's got two. Swansea's there. Maker in California's got two. Ye May straight away in and took three. Rosemary, you took three. Stephen, you're there. This is the... the Iconic opportunity. Mm. That's for a 30 second clock. This is not going to be available for much longer. Uh, thank you, Adam. Uh, and we're going to give you uh, an amazing deal. To say that you have a high goo in it as well, yeah. in, bl in blue Burmese. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. And, and remember, many of you will already be aware of this, but when we talk about a significant caravan like this in a single gem, yeah. the price jumps up ludicrously. Well, my mind goes back to those photographs that you showed us, like a single cabochon yeah. or a single ring. Maybe, all right, there's a few diamonds around it, but Absolutely. it's not really, the, the value isn't in the diamonds. Well, look, here's a strand, $8,500, yeah. a, a full strand, incredible match, sensational. Yeah. But then you go to this one, and it's yeah. only even a portion of blue, but because the carat weight's so large, it's sold for $275,000. Yeah. Okay, because... Yes, the strand is collectively larger, but because it's in a single piece here, not even the whole piece is that full blue. Absolutely. Okay. So, so, and that's, like you said, a percentage, say 30% of that carving, yeah. whereas this is the entirely full, blue. Yeah. yeah. So um, I'm going to go straight down to 149 from here just because of how busy it is. And I am going to tell you right now that we're not done but we probably should be. If we went to 99 on the, the, the strand, which was 20 centimetres, then we should be done here by our own pricing on this uh, uh, high goo. But 
because of the trust that you've placed in us, because there's so many of you there, like mm. Cynthia, Debbie, Catherine, Moira, Maker in Swansea, you've got four of these. Maker wow, in Oxfordshire, amazing. Anne in Cardiff's got two, Yi May in Greater London's got three, Valerie, you're there in Somerset, Jane in Greater Manchester, Karen in Yorkshire, South Yorkshire, you've got two. There's a Maker in Swansea, I've got uh, Alison, I've got Arthur in the Highlands, Marishka in Surrey, Stuart or Ted who messaged in earlier in Oxfordshire, Vesna in Greater London, Jean in Hampshire, Maker in Greater London. It's, it's one of those moments, and if I can, I'll just ask for that final 30 second clock and we're going to do something crazy. Karen in South Yorkshire, you've actually got three of these now. It's just incredible, isn't yeah. it? Absolutely. Absolutely incredible. I'm just imagine, say, a ruby this, in this, the this, 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 Just to let you know, I know we usually give you a clock, but no one's waiting for the finale of the clock. No, No one's not, waiting no. for you. If you haven't made your mind up, I just want to warn you, this is about to sell out. Certified aqua. Mm -hmm. How amazing. Yeah, aqua jada in both colour and the, the density, wow. the, 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 the fibrous structure of this incredible jade are so tightly compressed. Uh, and we are actually going to do it. I know we shouldn't, but I want, it's a one-time opportunity. We want as many people to get involved oh, as possible. And so many of you have trusted us and what we bought. Let's do it. Let's go 99.99. I knew it. We'll go double figures on this one too. Let's just do it. The biggest carrot weight, the one that many Wait. of us probably thought we couldn't afford. Is Wait, does right. that mean I can get both? Yeah. Yeah. We did, what did we take 10 meals to? The same. No way we can get, get both, both for under 200, 200 pounds. Yeah. Well done. Uh, it, Teresa uh, uh, and Adelaide in Oxford, uh, Manahari in As Essex, Diane in County Durham, Maker, Susan in Essex, you're trying to get to, Mary in Cambridgeshire, Vesna, Susan in Hertfordshire, Patricia, Michelle, Valerie, Karen, Arthur, Alison, Geraldine, you've just got yours. You haven't missed out yet, but you're about to. So if you can get it, absolutely go for it. Yeah, 100%. And also, you know you know me, Dave. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. Imagine that. Imagine that. Maker and Devon, you've got two. Susan, you've got two. We're at 99.99. You've got your interest-free split payments as well on this opportunity. Got collectors from Swansea to Surrey, Lancashire, Cambridgeshire, Oxford, County Durham, Hertfordshire, Greater London. This is it. This is your moment. Now, single figure stock. Let's just do a minute clock to close this one out then. I don't want to, you know, uh, oversell this. There's eight left. We'll yeah. give you a minute clock to close this opportunity out. You can still be one of the eight. We know it's hanging around in a lot of baskets. If you make the call, if you check it out, it's yours. Good luck, everybody. Two, I'm just amazed that you can get these two for £200. Yeah, it's ridiculous. The rarest colour with aqua. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah. Never seen anything like it. Five chances remaining. Yeah, good uh, luck. To, to the collectors in the queue, like uh, Maker in Swansea, Tracy in Lancashire, Maker in Surrey, uh, Mary in Cambridgeshire, Anonymous Maker, Teresa, Diane, Susan, Vesna, and in Cardiff. You can still do it. You haven't missed out. There's three opportunities, and they are available to you. Well, it's about to slip through your fingers if you don't check out sooner rather than later. It is once in a lifetime, Dave, isn't it? Oh, for sure. You I mean, know, and that, it, that's, that's probably been, uh, uh, you know, complimentary yeah, yeah the, the reality is maybe it's uh, once in uh, a generation yeah or something exactly. like this well um, you only have to go on places all the auction houses how much of the aqua blue do you and actually how much see? of it is antique yeah you know how much that's of it is, was mined many many years before any yeah. of us were even walking the earth you know that's the reality yes they make an appearance at a modern day auction house but they'll be listed as antiques yeah absolutely you know, th these colors just don't come out the ground amazing well done stay holding unbelievable opportunity and remember we still have two more in the aqua series we still have two more opportunities in the aqua series and you know we're about to make those disappear as well if you think the deals we've done so far have been good if you want to get those longer line strands if you want to get those wonderful colors that kind of naturally ombre through that color series this will be your opportunity this piece here i mean this is going to fly out how many of these do we have say we've got 200 say we've got 100. no you just said it which one there's a hundred. Right, well then, let's make, can we make this on a star buy? Or whatever you, we call it here. Look at that blue. What's the yeah, deal? let's do it, star buy. Okay, this is your star buy, good luck. So you've just seen the two most incredible deals and this one's the star buy. 30 yeah, second clock. That's true. 30 second clock, we're going to make this available as 100 of these. What do we always say to you? The, the, the bigger the quantity, the bigger the deal. This is from the same boulder, from the same rough. We told them to prioritize cutting the aqua colors out. This is one of those moments, that unique 
wonderful uh, uh, dispersion of colors from the, la the, the violets through the blues into those kind of gray blues, all existing here in this sensational top gem jadeite opportunity. And there you can see those colors. And you know, if you look at the jadeite uh, necklace that I've got on the screen down here, you know, as it exists, I always say it exists in a color series, the mm. blue into the green. Mm. And that's what this necklace is, because I've had to cut for the blue. There's a hundred of these. It'll work unbelievably with any of the pieces you've acquired so far. It is from the same you know, body of rough. If you, if you thought multi-buying on the other one was an option, this is almost a necessity, genuinely, because we're about to do something unbelievable. 100 carats, type A, aqua color series jadeite. Every single person on the phone line so far has multi-bought. Every single one of you. I do think it's a necessity at yeah. the deal we're about to make happen. A hundred opportunities. You can be one of those hundred or in, rea or in all actual reality, one of the 50. Because everyone's yeah, getting two as a minimum and you have no idea how long I'm about to take this. No idea at all. From the same boulder, from the same rough. We told them, cut the blue first, we'll deal with the rest of the boulder later. The blue happened to be extremely uh, icy. Incredible colors. And I'll ask Adam uh, for a 30 second clock if that's possible. Let's get this price moving. It is a star buy, it is gonna be special. 100 opportunities, a lot of you are flying in already. Can we just appreciate fully while that clock is ticking away just how remarkable this, we didn't even know this deal of the day was happening until minutes before. We didn't know. And that is because, I, I mean, I literally touched down and we cannot wait to get it into your homes. It's on air literally minutes later. That's amazing. And, and, and the three years, that, which comparatively speaking, Dave, three years is nothing. Is it's it, a blip. Jade? You wouldn't it's see it blip. on the timeline of Jade. Jade's what been mined. Jadeite's been mined for 800 years. First price crash. Forget this. Told you it's going to be special. And I says multi buying on the others was as an option. On this one, it's a necessity. What do I mean by that? First price crash, 79.99. Pardon? Yeah, first price crash, 79.99. That means we're nowhere near done. We're not done. There's 100. It's a star buy, probably the star buy to end all star buys. It has been an introduction to the rarest variety of jadeite on earth. The jadeite that many labs do not know exists. The jadeite that Elle didn't know existed no. a moment ago. Many no. of you might not have known. I was you know, also very ignorant uh, to it as well. Thought, yeah, you only get blue jade out from uh, Guatemala. Why? Because I've, I've read all the books on jade. That's what they say. This turns up in a boulder. I start doing some research and I was like, oh my God, there has been blue water jade out mined in Burma, but it's just too rare. This I'm is the first price. This is not your final price. Ridiculous. Dave, I'm fairly sure. In fact, uh, not fairly, I'm sure. I have said on air, you don't get blue jade out yeah, from Burma. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I know I have. If we had a gemologist here that taught at the GIA right now. They would say it. They'd say, jadeite, blue jadeite. You can't get it. Right, a minute clock and I'll give you a deal. I'll give you your star buy deal if you want. Uh, everyone's multi-buying. How many okay. we have left? We had 100. It's the star buy. 55 seconds, big, big price crash coming. I said, multi-buying on the, the previous two pieces, those solid aqua pieces, there's an option for you to do it. We're gonna do something special, and we did. On this piece, I told you it's a necessity. That's how low we're gonna be. I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. it it's all cut from that blue material. Of course, there's a natural blend of colors it, going into those wonderful top water uh, kind of mint greens. Uh, you've got the violets as well, and those blues. It's a very pale color. It's, that that's the reality with blue jade up from Burma. It's not going to look like London blue topaz. This is the opportunity to even get blue jadeite. It is a curiosity. It's the rarest jadeite one can get. Wiltshire, you've got two. Middlesex has got two. Bristol's got two. London's got two. Wales has got two. And, and it goes off my screen. We had 100 opportunities. We have nowhere near that right now, but we still have a healthy quantity for you guys if you want to get involved. Five seconds, four seconds. It's going to be something crazy on your screens. Brand new, never been seen before. We've been working on this for months. Yours today, 49.99. Uh, um, 49.99. I said, multi buy, multi buy, multi buy. Get yourself 200 carats for 99.99. You can get 100. two strands yeah. for under 100 pounds. Yep. And That'll be 200 carats, carats yeah, of, of Aqua Color Series Type A Jade. It's gone wild but you'd have not missed out. 
You have not missed out. Want to remind everyone that Wiltshire, you've got three. Surrey, you've got three. Merseyside's got two. Swansea's got two. Devon's got two. Manchester's got two. Uh, Greater Manchester's got two. North Yorkshire's got two. Cumbria's got two. Lots of you getting twos and threes. There was 100 opportunities, so you can absolutely do it. Don't think you can't, but this is the only time this will be available. Dave, this also means that I, we can make this piece of jewellery... Oh, yeah. ..for one four nine. Have I done the right maths? 249. 249. 249. Sorry. It's incredible. 249. Yep. Unbelievable. Which, you know, when you compare to that one that we saw earlier on for like, oh, what was eight, it? Eight and a half thousand dollars. Yeah. Eight and a half thousand dollars in a strand. Then when you factor in the high goo as well, when you see larger pieces cut, even with a third of it being in that pale blue spectrum, they're going for like 30 grand back in 2013, like 10 years ago. But 50 quid, that's, that's really happening. Insane. It's actually it's a, it, happening. Yeah, it's you can crazy. understand why I made this one a star buy. You can understand why I was shouting from the rooftops. Look, it's a necessity yeah. that you multi-buy on this opportunity. We're at 49.99. That's madness, isn't it? Um, an, an opportunity, I guess, nev never say never. However, this is almost a guarantee, I suppose. Yep. We're not going to be bringing Aqua Blue away. No, like I said, even if 10,000 people missed out today, yep. and Ross and the team and Wayne and everyone was like, look, so many people love that. So many people missed out. We need to get more of that. I, it's, it's impossible. You can't bring what doesn't yeah. exist. It's not in the market. Yeah. You can't. There's 17 left. Let's do a minute clock to close this one out of 17. Out of reminder, a 100 quantity auction. Yeah. Because we're at a rock bottom price of forty nine ninety nine. Wow, amazing! Yeah, what a collect, what a collection for sure. What an amazing collection, absolutely. And one of the I couldn't, I don't want to say few. I couldn't even put decibel points that low yeah. to how many people would say, could say that they own what's on your screens right now. Never met anyone. No, well, never, I've that's never right. met anyone. You're going, you will have met people because I've you met know, people that have. Yeah, I, I've met people that sold. The, the, the fifth most expensive Jade Up bangle of all time. Yeah. Unbelievable. It, it really is. 22 seconds remain. Um, jewelry makers, fifth, uh, so make sure you're checking out the final nine opportunities. What an amazing, incredible acquisition for you all. You can do it. Do stay where you are. The, t the moment slipping through your fingers, though. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay. One more strand. One more incredible. Oh, I beg your pardon. There's four left of this strand right now, so you can still do it. Don't think you missed out. Four opportunities. Okay. My favourite of all sizes. Oh, uh, a lot of our jewellery makers say that, um, and I appreciate it. You've seen how crazy the deals are. In blues. You've seen how crazy the deal are. Hundred of these, Ross. Yes. Okay, Adam, start by. Can we make this one a start by two? Gotta be. It's going to be another one. Good luck. This is your start by. Okay, thirty seconds to graphics, please, uh, uh, Ross and Adam. Hundred opportunities on this one too. This is your opportunity to create, or you know, to, to be able to get involved in every piece of the aqua series that came from that boulder in all the different varieties that we knew that you'd love the, the, the huge carved piece which was sensational the 10 mil what was the previous one the six mil and now we're at the four mil yeah again the impeccable crystallization the wonderful colors the color series it it, it, it do you know what it's this it's just clicked it's the blue of aquamarine yeah yeah that's that right. glacial blue, isn't it? Yeah, like it? Santa yeah. Maria, yeah. You know, you, you know, if you've ever been, I don't know, to a glacier or skied, it's that, that blue. Mm -hmm. Okay, straight That's away, nice. no clock. Let's start right now on this piece. Forty nine ninety nine. That's where I'm starting. That's where I'm starting for every single one of you. I've got a hundred of these. If you want them, you're gonna have to be super quick. We're not messing around. We know how busy it is. We know what the queues are like. If you can use our app, if you can use the website, absolutely go for it. This is a firm favorite for our jewelry makers. This is a start price. 100 opportunities are going to disappear in a heartbeat. Are you going to finish your collection? Are you going to have got all four of the only type A blue Burmese jadeites we've ever bought to your screens in 19 years across the partnership, across the different channels that we operate here? 
It is part of the Aqua series. We've primarily cut for the blue here, but of course you get the secondary tones as well, which is evident in some of the most famous blue jadeites to have come to the auction houses, like this carved piece uh, that I've got down here, which is stunning. It's amazing. It went to uh, Christie's. And, and of course, you know, the, the blue exists in minute moments. Of course, yeah. And they're trying to maximize, make the most out of it. I believe there's like a, a Pixu carved at the very tip of that, just underneath the bell. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As it yeah. coils round, that level of detail, that ice-like transparency. And it, it commands huge... But when you're cutting something like this, you're going to get the variation of colors. Predominantly blue, but you get some of those wonderful kind of mint greens as well. Um, minute clock one crazy deal coming your way. Minute clock, we're going lower. We shouldn't. This is brand new today. Mm. Never seen a response like this from you guys here at Jewelry no, Maker. I, and we are going lower. Well, it's understandable, that response, isn't it? Um, we've always said, we have always said, blue doesn't exist from Burma. It's always Guatemala. And vice versa, I've always said, you know, Olmec blue only exists from Guatemala. So. I love the fact that Mother Nature so, well, not frequently, but throws curveballs at us and reminds us, hey, you know, don't be so, so definite about your statements. It does occur in blue in Burma. However, it is once in a generation, as Dave was saying. I love it because it's that really, really delicate glacial blue quite unlike anything I've ever seen before. I can't believe we're going lower, Dave. It's 49.99. Okay. Um, there is a price that I shouldn't go to on this that I'm actually going to go to. And the only reason I'm going to do it is because I've got something very special to share with you in a moment's time. Like, okay. Something you've never seen. Okay. Uh, it, so I ordered this piece that I'm about to bring to you in a moment, but I want to get it as busy as I can. So Ross has said, okay, if, you, if you're going to bring this piece, which you haven't seen yet, then, I'll, then he's okay for me to do something ludicrous on this. And that ludicrous is $29.99. Sorry, Ross. Oh. Sorry, mate, but look. Oh, he's breathing, get it whilst you can. I appreciate it. $29.99. Aqua series. Only four pieces can be cut from this boulder. They're on your screen right now. I've gone this low. I absolutely shouldn't. And the only reason I've done it is because I've got maybe the most important piece of jade ever to show you. It has arrived this morning. So I uh, acquired the rough for this uh, the back end of last year. They've been cutting this for me. And um, I got one of my guys from the Far East to meet uh, Wayne, who's your sales manager here in Hong Kong. He arrived back in the building today. Yeah. And he's bought it for me. And I'm going to auction it to you guys. Wow. It's going to happen. Right. That's, that's how impressive this is going to be. So um, this is your opportunity. I've gone to, like too low on this. Like I... I can't yeah. see his computer in there, but it's probably below cost. Let's I love frank. how knee jolt we are here. Yeah, you know, why not? It's literally landed, and the aqua, mind, yeah. landed today yeah. on air. Yeah, but that's what we do. Like, what, what, what benefit is it? Not, what true. benefit, you know, we don't follow the market price of things. So two other jewelry houses might sit on something for the mine to close or for this to happen or that mm. to happen because then they can charge more for it. When we don't do that, for us, the, the, the priority is just to get it to you. Yeah, you know, absolutely. to rush it to you, to give you something incredible, something mm. special to look for. And I'm about to tell you, I've got the most sensational Jada opportunity we've ever had in three years. Been working on this since late last year. Never seen rough like it. Um, bought it, bought heavily, bought as much as I could. You've never seen it before. It arrived today. I've, I only saw it this morning in person. I've seen it over um, video calls and, of course, on emails and WhatsApp. You know, the first few prototypes, trying to get this right. I'm about to give it to you at an incredible deal. Nothing like this probably will ever happen again. This one has, has sold through, we believe. Stay holding for it. Before we even show that, Adam, um, because um, Adam's recorded this. He's an amazing job up against the clock. Wow. I was offered Jade Eye uh, Rough, which is... The, the type of color that the likes of Asprey go for. Okay, so we're talking deep kingfisher green jadeite. Rough, imagine that, having the opportunity to do that. You can't buy it finished, like true kingfisher. And I said, let's work with this rough and let's carve the biggest single piece that our collectors can get, right? So we're talking like over 200 carats. We're talking like 50 mil, five centimeter uh, high goo. Of the best, Five centimeters. Yeah, of the best type A green jade out you'll ever see. I've got it in my pocket. I'm going to bring it out, and you're, you're going to see 
the sheer size of this. This is Taipei Green Jadeite, okay? And I'm gonna get my torch. As it's the first time I'm doing this live. So they've done this for me over WhatsApp, they've done it for me over video chat. But you're gonna see unbelievable moments of imperial green. You wanna talk about top crystallization. Yeah. Oh, That's wow. Taipei Green Jadeite, 216 carats, crystallized to perfection, pollen inclusions, a haigu that has arrived in the building today. We've never, no matter what you think. Oh, do you know what, um, Adam, I'm really sorry. Can we cut to that wide shot of me on your camera? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You're about to own that but only 50 of these we could make from the whole rough. And we can show you this in the daylight as well, which is sensational. This is why we went so low on the, the Aqua Jadeite, because this opportunity we've never had. Never had. That's Thank unbelievable. You, um, 30 second clock and I'm gonna bring the graphics in. I'm just gonna be really frank with you. There's, there's 50 of these, 50 in the world. That's all we could cut from the rough if we wanted something this large. We could have done cabochons, we, we could have done something far smaller, maybe we could have done some beads, some like you know, 10 centimeter strands with this level of green, this level of translucency. It's Taipei, it's 100% natural, the polish on it is impeccable, the color, the kingfisher green. 30 seconds you got before this goes live. There's only 50. It's those amazing patterns. Mm. Dave, that's absolutely unbelievable. And, and within the body of the jade, as you can see with the torch as well, you see those moments of white, those flecks. Yeah, yeah. That's pollen inclusion. Usually, you actually usually only find that in imperial green jade. It's a testament to the crystallization of the material. These yeah. kind of beautiful moments within that look like pollen floating in the air. There's 50. I didn't think I'd have this today. Wayne's arrived late and he said, I've got those pieces for us. And the team have obviously, while I've still been on your screen, I don't wear an earpiece, they've been working diligently to get this on your screens. That's why the start price is too, way too low. Oh yeah, well we know that. But, but look, this has been rushed right. in. This has been rushed yeah, in. Yeah, absolutely. Like a single piece like this, you wouldn't get for lower than that anywhere. No. I've only got 50, so there's no 100 quantity here. There's no like star buy opportunity. This is it. This is your moment. The best green jade out we've ever had. And the largest, five centimeters, 216 carats. The perfect tiger. Oh, it really is, isn't it? And you know, every time I look at you, Elle, and I see you holding it, and I see it behind you. I know. Look at that. I know. That's what you're about to get. Remember our studio lights kind of bleach this Yeah, out. we've got floodlights. But if you us. look at that on that screen, yeah. that's what you're about to acquire. That's the reality. Yeah. That's what you'll see in person. Mm -hmm. Here in the studio, yeah, it, it, it does. It drowns everything out, doesn't it's it? It's very, very special. It's a very special piece. I'm going to ask for a 30-second clock. These 50 are going to disappear. It's my final auction with y'all. I always like to go out with a bang. And we're going to make that happen. 10% of the stock's already confirmed. No one even has a clue on the kind of deal that we're going to do for you. Maker in Devon, Maker in Swansea, California, Surrey, Gloucestershire. 16 seconds. Mm, amazing. Good luck. luck. Good luck to each and every single one of you. Paula, you're there. Uh, anonymous collectors, you're there. 50 in the world, ever commissioned. Oh my goodness, it's take, uh, today has just been absolutely epic. Straight down to where we should close this, 499. And genuinely I should close it should there. And every, close everyone there. that knows, he's, he's already confirming when I say that price, but I'm nowhere near done. I'm actually nowhere near done. And something's just dawned on me, David. I know the clock's run out, but I just want to say this, that, you know, we always talk about, imagine if Stanley Yu was watching. Imagine, you know, yeah. he was really excited and, oh, and, sure. and intrigued by what we actually do here at yeah. Maker and the prices that we bring for fine quality mm -hmm. jade. Just imagine he spontaneously tuned in right now. Oh. He's got 499 on your screens and the price going down with Monica's lovely face in the graphics. Yeah. And yeah, you're I saying, I'm not done. Yeah, nowhere near done. Um, and I'm, all I'm gonna ask, I'm working on this for a long time, all I'm gonna ask for anyone who's fell and fallen in love with this piece and wants to own it, I can't get 50 more, can't get 10 more. This is it, it's not part of a wider show, it's not three mm. other auctions, this is it. And I'm gonna ask you to trust me if this is the piece you want. Because I'm gonna give you a minute clock, I'm gonna drop right down to the price, and it genuinely, you know how busy it is today. 
it genuinely will sell out and I cannot get more of this. So uh, I'm, I'm trying to tell you without giving away the price how low I'm willing to go on this piece. And if it's something that you would want, if it's something you've fallen in love with, if it's something you need in your collection, mm. then you've got 45 seconds to do that. I'm asking wow. you to trust me. Um, you know, and all around the world, people are shopping with this today, mm -hmm. Dave. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't ever surprise me the deals that we bring you, the quality that we bring you as well. But I remember it was a, it was a customer, I believe it was you, California, who messaged in that yourself and a friend of yours actually are dr uh, jade traders or your friends are jade yeah. traders. They worked at Gumps. They worked at Gumps. Worked at Gumps. Yeah. Sourced directly from us. Yeah. So never think for one second. I mean, look, you only have to look at it. You can see that quality. Exactly. That's what you're about to acquire. That's what you're about to earn. I don't think anyone's ready for how long I'm going to take this. No. Essex, Gloucestershire, Devon, Swansea, California, Surrey, Norfolk, uh, Wales. Good luck. Five seconds. Well done to everyone along the bottom of the screen. It's already confirmed. It's so, huge yeah, I trust as you. Well, everyone babe. pays the final low deal. And our final deal on this. Get ready for it. The largest, most impressive jadeite we have ever had in the building. I'm going to do it for every single one of you for 149. 149 with the 0% interest split payments it's arrived in the building from Hong Kong today. It's 100% natural, certified as such, top crystallization, top kingfisher green color. Those pollen inclusions and the most impressive carving. It, obviously, it's gone wild. I told you. That's to half me. what I was expecting. I don't want you to, to miss out. Yeah, of course. I mean, I, look, we know we've sold jadeite for more than that and never seen this quality. More abundant jadeite we've yeah. seen. We've, we've brought to air for two nine nine. Yes, for sure. But this is kingfisher. Kingfisher green. You can see it dappled with those unique moments, those patterns within. You can see the transparency. You can see the sheer size of this. And we've got a ton of you in the queue with it in your baskets. Do not miss. This legacy opportunity. Wow, Do not forty nine pounds and sixty six pence on your split payment. Yeah, it is a legacy, isn't it? Imagine that with your aqua blue. Unbelievable, yeah. unbelievable. Stephen Maker, Devon, Swansea, California, Surrey, Norfolk, Cyprus, Wales. This is it. We've got multi buyers in London, multi buyers in Swansea. We've got Bristol, Oxfordshire, Lanarkshire, the Highlands, Greater Manchester, Northamptonshire. If you miss this, you miss it forever. Yeah. It's we landed, we, and it's it, in All the good work we do, everything we do, we never thought that three years on we'd be able to offer you an opportunity with this grade. Of course not. Never. I, of course not. You know, it's fresh back from Hong Kong. How yeah. amazing is that? Um, the quantity remaining, 14. 14 chances. I'm going to give everyone uh, a minute clock to close it out. That doesn't mean it's available for a minute. It's available... Uh, until it sells out, but yeah. I'm going to give you a minute before we close the auction. Uh, don't think you've missed out. I can see you, Elizabeth and Valerie and Anne in Cardiff and Vesna and Kay and Gerda and Vanessa and Paula. I can see you in the phone lines. I can see you queuing for the final 11 opportunities. It goes off my screen then, but I'm just letting every single one of you know in 45 seconds this will be gone. For those of you multi-buying, imagine if you're going to create the um, you know 400 carat pair of earrings. Wow. Imagine that. Can you hold it up to the ear? Yeah, Just sure. to show Why that not? size. Imagine. Just because the deal that we've made possible today may be... Oh, my word. Why not? Imagine that. Imagine that. Framing the face. Match pair. Exquisite. Now, we couldn't do that. We couldn't do it because then we'd only have 25 to auction for you today. But oh. we're giving you a deal that means that you can. If they you would see be free. absolutely incredible, wouldn't Five they? Five chances remaining. Yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Good luck, everybody. 216 carats. Well done. A vision. Yeah, unbelievable. Um, that was my final auction with you. I know Elle still has the most unbelievable Jedi opportunities, including, I believe, uh, the, the Jedi Zodiac carvings. Oh, I love uh, those. The, the Jedi color wheel strand, of which there's, I think, five or six of those yeah, strands left, many. and some other pieces. I am back with you tomorrow at 10 a.m. with an incredible... Uh, nephrite jadeite showcase that you nephrite jade showcase that you're not going to want to miss i know i was going to take you through the most incredible showcase and you have the amazing masterclass coming up and it's been amazing yeah. to be with dave, you dave thank you so uh, much thank you so much and thank you to you guys as well oh thank well you. we can't wait to see dave again tomorrow that's going to be amazing but yeah i'm about to make my way over to the lovely monica i've got more jadeite to bring you masterclass and don't forget we're launching a brand new the longest loom that we've ever had in jewelry maker history which is very exciting um that's coming up at 12 o'clock with your masterclass monica's amazing kits which she is such a talent isn't she we always say that um, and don't forget you we've got your wall of fame monica's birthday wall of fame 
and a prize giveaway. So there's a lot to squeeze uh, between now and uh, the top of the show. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this. All you need to do to apply for Britain's Next Gem 2023 is email guest designer at jewelrymaker.com with the subject title Britain's Next Gem 2023 and include your name, your specialism, how you fell in love with jewelry making, how long you've been making jewelry for, an image of your proudest piece. For more details on how to apply, visit the Jewelry Maker website. Oh, and good luck. Back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favorite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker, and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world famous Stratford upon Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three course dinner, half a bottle of wine, and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party, and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited. So order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, everybody, and congratulations. Just wow, what an hour. That was amazing. Wasn't it? My mind was spinning about the jewellery time. I, I bet. I bet. As a, as a jewellery maker, as a designer like yourself, you must see pieces like that and think, oh, my goodness me. And also see photographs elsewhere. Let's be honest. You can go, go, I could probably make better than that. <laughs> but what was that, did you say? Roscoe? Who's singing Monica's praises? Everybody sings Monica's praises, absolutely. <laughs> I totally agree. I totally agree. I wax lyrical about the fact the first show we ever did together. I was like, she's a good one, she is. She's a, she's a good one. Right then, we've still got a lot to squeeze in. Like I said, it's Monica's birthday show, everybody. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Sorry, I'll go a little bit, I'll go a bit, what's his name? Is it Carlton from uh, oh, yeah, Fresh Carlton. Prince of Oil? Yeah. 
<laughs> go a little bit like him on birthday songs. Um, yeah, so get your text messages in. Remember, we've still got the Wall of Fame as well to bring you. Monica's yeah. special Wall of Fame where three of you will have uh, £50 credited to your account. And we've got your beautiful giveaway as well. Yes. All you need to do to be part of the giveaway, which will announce the winner in the, in the final hour, so you've only really got this hour to enter, um, is shop. That's all you need to do. And it's all of this as well. Yeah. This and all of these so yeah you get loads how well, amazing not is that? the threads though the threads are coming up no they're coming up <laughs> that way um but as dave said we are going to do some last of stock final opportunities of your beautiful beautiful jadeite collar wheel olmec i've got the zodiac boxes and a bangle if you've got your eye on these beading threads these are my yuki beading threads which monica you worked with didn't you did, they are yes. brand new and they are available on pre-order right now. So you get 50 meters on those itty bitty spools. Yeah, they go a long way. They do. So this is designated to seed beading. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I often get asked what threads to use to make tassels, seed beaded tassels. Yeah. This would be the thread. This would be the thread that you would yes, go for. Absolutely. Can I ask or also ask, uh, Lauren, have you got the tool we're launching in the 12 o'clock hour? Because I think we need it on the desk. I know it's big, but it's we need it on the desk. Both of us. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Santa's sleigh, doesn't it? Oh, it's, that's a good idea. You could paint it. You could paint, paint it. it. Like Santa's sleigh. You could. <laughs> it's the longest loom that we've ever done here at Jewelry Maker, and we are launching this at twelve o'clock. It's it's looming. The masterclass is looming. <laughs> All about looming. <laughs> I like it. So that could do belts. That could do handbag handles. Yeah. That could be hats. Headbands, yeah. Lots of things to do. So you can pre-order on your Mayuki beading thread. Um, I'm hoping, Roscoe, have you got quantity of the, uh, of the 200 of each? Okay, so shop ahead on those. So look at that. That's cool, isn't it? Tip it a bit forward. <laughs> you can't really see it. Very cool. I, I do like it. That's like a cowboy hat, isn't it? It is. That's my holiday hat. Yeah. It's a <laughs> yeah. nice holiday hat. I like that one. I'd wear that too. I don't, um, I don't look so good in girly hats. So that's why I went for the cowboy hats. Hats are difficult. Yeah. Hats are difficult. I'll either go for something like that. A trilby. You could do a yeah. trilby in the winter. Yeah. Or a woolly hat. Or a beret. Oh, beret, yeah. Beret. Yeah. You I can't beat on a beret. <laughs> well, I suppose you could, but... <laughs> I guess, yeah, I guess you could. No, I like a good old, you know, like a floppy beanie hat as well. Oh, yeah. You could bead around that, couldn't you? You could, yeah. Why not? Why not? What couldn't you bead around? <laughs> um, so there's still lots to bring you as well, jewellery makers. Like I said, some of our um, last of stock opportunities. This is literally Last Chance Saloon. Um, we're bringing you some of our most amazing collections, some of our proudest collections, which of which, by the way, what you've just seen is definitely to be able to bring you Ice Aqua is incredible, and your Kingfisher. Plus, we're about to bring you the Collar Wheel of Jadeite. I've got final opportunities in that exemplary, the best parcel of, of Guatemalan that we've ever brought. And like I said, we've got the most amazing carvings. Um, okay, so you can shop ahead on my you Mayuki threading materials. This is coming up at 12 o'clock, plus your Wall of Fame, plus your prize giveaway, plus Monica's kit. Honestly, there's loads. Right then, shall we get cracking? What should we start with? The Olmec bangle. Two separate viewers have requested for an Olmec bangle since we brought the San and Scarn bangle in the first hour. Now, this is hinged. There are only two. So that means that, it, yeah, the two of you that requested, if you check out, then that's it's it gone. Um, we, d we haven't done many Olmec Guatemalan hinged bangles, have we? Well, bangles in Guatemala and jade It doesn't naturally yeah. form in the vast boulders. It, you know, but Burmese jade forms in much larger sizes. You heard Dave saying sort of it's about yay high, kind of about yes. his height you're yeah. actually talking about. Yeah. Whereas Guatemalan's significantly smaller. What? 799? And that's not where we are closing. So if you are one of those collectors that messaged earlier on asking for an Olmec blue jade um, in a bangle, then here it is. It comes boxed, obviously, but let me just show you. Look how, and, and the hinge bangle materialized because we had a lot of feedback from viewers who were saying, look, really struggle with full bangles um, because, uh, you know, you might have, 
your joints might be slightly wider or you have swollen joints or it's painful to actually yeah. push over. So a hinge bangle, I can actually show you. I mean, look how perfect this is. Clock is ticking, I've already got people there. A lovely mechanism, all set into solid sterling silver. You just literally slide it over click it into place. Look at the quality of that. Isn't it absolutely amazing? Manchester, you've got yours. Congratulations, because this is not where we close it to. The quality of this bangle, it's type A grade. I, I almost said something then. I almost said, oh, you know that blue only forms in Guatemala, which, no, actually it doesn't. Um, but in the old neck, which is like a teal, that yeah. solely forms yeah. um, in Guatemala. You can get blue from Burmese, uh, Burma, as you've just seen, but we're talking about tiny proportions. £499. Wow. That's, uh, again, I expect zeros. Yesterday we were showing... I don't think there was any Guatemalan jadeite bangles on first dibs yesterday when we were going through it. However, I didn't see any more of the more plentiful colours at anywhere near 499, did you? They were all four figures and above. Manchester, you've got yours. Look at the split pair. Oh, it's gone. Well done, Manchester. Congratulations. Snapping up both of those. Fabulous. Yeah. Well done. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Probably because, you know, you were thinking, you know what? I was happy at £1,000 for one. That's probably a jeweler, yeah. yeah. I don't know that for certain, but maybe you're thinking about gifting. I don't know. Okay. I certainly do. I have my eye on this. Ross has just said, have you got a strand of Olmec Guatemalan jadeite that is 70 centimetres? I certainly do. Bear with. Imagine that. Just beaded, beaded, quite simply. I think this is my favourite colour of jade. Yeah, because I'm more blue than green. Having said that, the blue jade we had earlier was amazing. Yeah. Um, it is stunning, isn't it? It's, it's absolutely it's stunning. It's one of the... Uh, what I can say is it's, it is physically one of the world's rarest colours that Mother Nature produces, not just in the gemstone world, in everything. You think about natural teals. Not dyed, natural teals. Very few species, animals, plants, gemstones form in teal. Yeah. Very, very, very few. Yeah. How many do we have, Ross? This is a staggering 60 centimetres. Look at that translucency as well. Nine available. I'm just going to do something for you. Oh, look at that. Nine available opportunities. Look at that colour. Isn't this like... Wow, look how blue it is. Goodness me. <laughs> 60 centimetres and also look how uniform they are. Not only in their colour but also in their translucency in their crystal. Okay, we have how many... Sorry, Ross... Nine, okay. Two have already gone, I'm not surprised. Absolutely flying out the door. It's uh, impeccable quality. Again, you just knot that, wouldn't you? Or not, just put spaces in between. Yeah. It can be ultra, yep. ultra simple. Can you remember the first long line Olmec necklace that we had here at Joymaker with that single gold bead? Oh, can you yes. remember? Yes, I remember, yeah. How amazing that was. I don't think it was knotted. I think it was just literally beaded. Yeah, I think it was just uh, stranded on. Yeah. yeah. And this is a double length strand, this one as well. It it's is. 70 centimetres, wow. We're at 799, plus you've got the uh, option of option of your split payment too, which is 0% interest. There's nine available, that's it. Six of them left now. Janet, Cumbria, Manchester. 60 seconds and we will drop it to that closeout price. Like I said, it is actually pointless us, our business model is incredibly different to other jewellery houses out there. I've worked in jewellers. The jewellers that I always mention, I worked there for five years, I think. It was about five years, all in all. Um, and there were pieces of jewellery that never sold. 
in those five years. Wow. They are used to having pieces stay for long periods yes, of yes. time. Our biz business model is extremely different. You know, it basically they're in, like the art at the showcase we just done, it landed today and we sold it all out today. Yes. It's on and gone opportunities. So it's actually pointless having nine in a vault sat there. Um, and plus, you know, it's all about straight down to five. It's all about not how much we can get, it's how low we can take it to. Natural certified, genuine Olmec Jadeite. You've got your five-way split pay. Heather in Hearts, you've got yours. Maker, Marishka, Janet, Cumbria, Manchester. I've got new callers. Names that I can't see as of yet. The final four, good luck. There's a lag on my call screens, but real time, you need to have your, a, a little bit of urgency about you. That, that's oh. ridiculous. That for, Imagine this knotted as a long line necklace oh, with a large five centimeter high gear you just had. Oh, the, the kingfisher blue, that would be amazing. Oh, that would be yeah, perfect. that would be amazing. And again, when we've shown you photographs, from what it, remember what, what Stanley, you were saying. It's not about the origin, is it? It's, you know, it's not about necessarily, oh, the country that determines the price point. It's always about the jade. Jade is jade, yeah. you know. And Stanley, you were saying the future's Guatemala because that's where the mine is actually in full swing, effectively. The whole jade market from China has relocated over to Guatemala. And yes, the quality will go up because they have that skill. They have the skill, the ability to carve and... Uh, and polish and cut your um, your jade but it also means the price tag will follow suit the final one well done all around the world getting involved hello california hello marishka hello to you heather cumbria manchester janet new customers there's still one opportunity that is a mad deal it is a close out deal and as long as we all know that that this is the one that's the closest to that pea pod oh yeah just i i, I, I can't I can't, I don't know what else to describe. Like a little pea pod, isn't it? Yes. This is the colour that's the closest to that. You'll see where I'm... You'll see where I'm coming from. It is that really distinctive, like teal, bluey green colour. Oh, my goodness. Now, there's one left. You can't leave us with one. There's six of you with it in your basket. Like I said, that's the only reason we're doing these closeout deals <laughs> is to actually get rid of the entire quantity. Six of you have that final one in your basket. We'll leave it with you. Well done. Um, okay, I've got one other Olmec strand to bring you. These are six to five millimeters. Ah, oh, again, all totally natural. I should point out Olmec does not form in the same way that um, Burmese uh, jadeite does still the same gemstone obviously but it forms in much 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 smaller sizes so to actually get a uniform uh, a uniform strand like this again to go back to what Stanley you were saying whether it's Burmese whether it's Chinese whether it's Canadian whether it's Guatemalan with that whichever there's only one item one one piece of jewelry that is more valuable than a bangle and that is a matched necklace of jade um, and I am looking at this the potential of that necklace I mean all you all you need to do is knot it and then uh, invest your clasp um, but look how matched they are wow. matched in their color matched in their translucency how many do we have then 90 oh that's not really a closeout quantity is it but hey ho 19 available but um producer ross is saying we're still they are going to sell out today so i'm going to do something ridiculous right oh okay i like the sound of that i'm all for being ridiculous graphics about to appear 130 carats six and a half to seven millimeters look at that blue it's a cooler blue does that make sense yes definitely Definitely. Because yes. there's different degrees of Olmec, isn't there? Yes. You've got your very deep teal and you've got your, your cooler teal colours. This is the cooler colours, so if that's your preference. Absolutely gorgeous. Got to start somewhere, haven't we? And 19,000, I know that's a lot. I'm not going to sit here and say otherwise. However, it's nowhere near where we're stopping. Um, okay, let's get it down to a more realistic, a more accurate, certainly elsewhere outside of these four worlds. Mm -hmm. I've seen lesser grade Guatemalan Olmec Jadeite in a beaded necklace. Not a particularly well-made necklace, I will say, for more than what's on your screens right now. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. The next price crash. 
totally and utterly natural, certified Guatemalan, the lost treasure of Guatemala. We are at £199, which is an unbelievable jewellery maker deal, but we are still not done. We are going even lower. When we say close out, we don't just drop those two words in there for, for no reason. We absolutely mean it, even when there's 19 and it's technically not a close out quantity. Again, you know, this is the reality. What, and I love the fact that when Dave steps on air and he talks about the fact that this, the only reason we do this is the way that we buy. Our business model is very different. The whole concept of Gemporia as a partnership was not how much can we get? You know, we know we can get more than that. We know that we can ask a higher price tag than what's on your screens right now. But that's not what the business model is across the entire partnership. Is how affordable can we bring this to air? And we'll also sell 19 like so not the five years that i was just mentioning we are still talking about though i'm duty bound this is where it's my responsibility and accountability lies on my shoulders that i convey how rare this is and i convey just as long as you recognize that that is no reflection of the true value or worth even if we were to stop at 199 it should be considerably more than that one four nine for the softer oh. the cooler olmec blues we don't see this shade very often do we? it tends to be much more the deeper teals yes which i absolutely love i look it's, it's hard to choose and like i said you've said it is your favorite but there's there's shades of olmec aren't there there is there is but i think this will also be absolutely beautiful if you've got any of the blue jade we had earlier so, the, for example, this is a Marla necklace with the 10 millimeter blue oh, rounds wow. as, as your marker beads. And maybe the, the blue high goo as, as your guru bead in wow. the center. Wow, be unbelievable, oh, wouldn't would be it? Amazing. That would be like a museum piece. It, well, it, well, you took the words out of yeah. my mouth. This is ultimate legacy jewelry, isn't Absolutely. it? You know? You know, I'm not just talking um, like for my for my daughters. It's my daughter's children and their children, and their children. That, that that's the reality. What they're owning right now. And yes, the op it's not mined out. It's still very much in operation. But in terms of accessibility and affordability, to be able to get hold of this gemstone, like I said, they are there. It's coming out of the ground right now. Now more so than ever, really. However, the price is also skyrocketing because the quality is getting that much better um, with those expertise. We've got multi buyers getting involved. Mass Look at the split payment. Look at the split payment. Over the weekend, over the weekend, it's tradition on a Friday night in the Stevens household, we have a takeaway. That's our takeaway night. Amazing. Amazing. And I spent more than that. Not the £149. We didn't spend that on a takeaway. <laughs> That's you quite... get your takeaway? <laughs> no. I meant, <laughs> I meant the 37 of the 37 pounds um how amazing that you can get one of the world's rarest rarest look at that blue from distances away from dis sorry from from distances away look at that amazing blue it's incredible isn't it it's on split payment good luck I can't see all of your names. Our call screens have gone into a little go slow, but I know you are there. We had 19 and um, there's multi buyers getting involved. Yeah, you can have the really deep teal, which I love a little bit like the strand that you saw earlier. That's a deeper color saturation. But if you love the sort of more delicate, cooler tones, same as all gems, isn't it? You know, you can get you can get emerald that's a very deep forest green Absolutely, and you can yeah. get it that's much yeah. like siberian color and ultimately it just depends on what your preference preference is, you know absolutely it's, Ta yeah, it's, um sapphire you know look at the royal engagement ring which is a really deep blue and then you've got my yeah. mum's favorite was actually the very delicate cornflower blue yeah and it's not always about the, the value or, or how much no, it costs difference. it's about which one you prefer well what you're gonna like him you? yeah like it to wear yeah. it um now, if anybody is wondering what this Viking boat is at the front, <laughs> it doesn't look like a Viking boat, does it? Does. it? <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Have we got Elf on a shelf? I feel like I need to put him in there as well. So this is coming up at 12 o'clock, those of you asking. It's the lo uh, longest loom 
that jewellery maker have ever done. And Monica will talk to you about the benefits of having a long loom. Yes. <laughs> this is a sentence I never thought I'd say. Ah, oh, so why do I need an extra long loom? Make sure you tune <laughs> Make sure you tune in at 12 o'clock and we shall find out. Amazing. Um, don't forget, you can also shop ahead on your brand new Mayuki beading threads. You've got them in three different colours. I hope you can see those just there. So you've got a nice little, like a... Um, cornflower blue. Yeah, cornflower. You've got more of a deep purple and then you've got like a, a lovely khaki green or forest green. You can shop ahead on those. So Monica has said that um, if you're asked... What what you would actually use, use as a preference? Tassels. tassels. Yeah, for tassels, this is perfect for tassels, but also for your looming, obviously. I'm going to show you that as well. But quite often I get asked what thread to use for tassels. For tassel, and this yeah. is your preference. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And we've got your uh, your birthday Wall of Fame. Yes. Three people. That's happening at 12 o'clock. Three of you will be £50 richer. Yes. And, and... You've also got your amazing prize giveaway. And you might be thinking, how do I enter in the prize giveaway? I want to win Monica's DVDs and booklets and amazing jewellery. Well, you just go to shop with us today, that's all. And we'll yeah. announce the winner at the end of the show. So if you've bought anything throughout the course of the show, whether it's a kit, no price. There's no, no, no price qualification. Yeah. You know, like most websites, you're like, oh, to get 10%, you've got to spend this. Or to get that, you've got to spend this. Yes. Or you've got to buy from this collection. Yes. No, as long as you just shop during the live show, it's fine. You, you enter into um, the prize giveaway. Amazing. Are we going to draw that prize today? I think so. Oh, that would be exciting. Are we drawing the prize today? For the giveaway? Yeah, yeah. Oh, for Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh, that's nice, isn't it? So it's somebody else's birthday as well. Yeah. And don't forget, we're also talking about... Um, yeah, send your birthday messages in. And we're also talking about who have you been told you look like? I meant to ask Dave, I forgot. Hmm. Looks like who? Deserby, the Brighton football manager. Do you know who he reminds me of? Who's the actor? A friend of Amber Heard's. I know, I know, sorry, but... It's a bit vague. <laughs> <laughs> Are they not friends anymore? No, but you know the one that apparently she had a bit of a thing with? What's his name? James something. Oh, he's an actor. This is... Not James McAvoy, no, not him, although he's amazing. Um, I'm thinking of... I'm thinking he looks a bit like Jake Gyllenhaal. Do you reckon? I think so. Um... No, he doesn't look like him. No. He looks nothing <laughs> like him. No, he doesn't. I, all right, Dave, you don't. <laughs> you, do, you don't look like him at all. Um, he looks like that James... Oh, gosh, what's his name? Not James... <laughs> so, let's talk... Say... Go on. It might... Yes, I do. Oh, can't I? Oh, I can't mention him. Is he not a good egg? Okay. <laughs> what? Okay, right. Okay. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on. I've just heard. Sorry. Let's stick with Jake Gyllenhaal, shall we? Okay. <laughs> Dave looks nothing like the person I had in my head. Right. Let's do the what? The what? Oh, the butterfly. This oh. is absolutely beautiful. Just, I always, you can always count on L. Put my foot in there. <laughs> Isn't that one? Isn't that? <laughs> anyway, uh, here we go. Right, let's bring you some hand cards. <laughs> <laughs> hand carved type A jadeite. Um, in your beautiful butterfly, symbolic of transformation. Oh, dear me, dear. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
99, 99. So I'll be back in the room in a minute when I just get myself out of this hole. Um, and we are doing, uh, we are doing <laughs> close out deals. They're not helping in areas, no, are they? No, they're really not. No, not at all. Well, it's already incredible at double figures. I mean, these would be absolutely beautiful. So I'm actually crying here. Um, amazing in earrings. Let me just grab my tweezers for a second because if you are wondering about the drill hole um, in terms of, there it is. Can you see it? Very discreet. Just by his anten antenna. Um, so you can actually attach that to your shepherd hook. Be a lovely little pendant. Not everybody wants the big carrot weights, Monica, do they? In like the big master carvings. Uh, and I get that. Absolutely. Some people I mean, dainty. The, the six millimeter um, old McJay we just had, this would be a perfect. Oh, it'd be lovely. As well, yeah. Yeah, that nice balance. Yeah. Um, good luck, everybody. Double figures, but bring it to a close out deal price point. How many do we have then? 16, oh, okay. Or even with just a silver bale on a chain. Yeah, lovely, like a pinch wearable. bale. Yeah. Just squeeze it together and jump done. Yeah. On a jump ring, you could do that. Lark said not all of the above. Butterflies do tend to be one of those species that we gravitate towards yes, as well. There's definitely. lots of meaning behind them. Um, my 18-year-old niece has just had a first tattoo. She turned 18 oh. and the first tattoo, Is I know. Hey. Close, it's a dragonfly. Oh, yeah. But I was like, ooh, transformation and all that. And they you know, <laughs> getting excited about it. Like, yeah, okay, you could tell. Yes, Auntie Earl. Um, <laughs> but 69.99. Yeah, because there is meaning behind them. It's all about change, isn't it? And femininity. What's that, um, what's that saying where, where the butterfly flaps its wings oh. uh, and, the, and the ripples travel across the world? They feel that, I don't know. Can we do a Google, Ross? What's the saying? It's the butterfly effect. Butterfly effect, yes, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Um, there is a saying, though, isn't there? Is there? Can you Google the butterfly effect saying? There is, absolutely. It's, I know what you mean. Yeah. I do not. Uh, they feel it, yeah, yeah, from the other side of the world. Is that it? Mm. There is no action without consequences for others. I, that's not quite what I was th thinking of. Um, no, but it is. There's, there's femininity, change, um, summer, of course, isn't yes. it? So lots of uh, the delicacy, fragility. Um, well done. Now, Dave did reference the Zodiac box, so we're going to bring this to air. Now, there is only single-figure quantities. I mean... Uh, for me, I don't. I look at this and I think it's not necessarily about your specific uh, zodiac sign. Um, I think it's about the collection, isn't it? You know, like you have people that collect, I don't know, rare coins or they collect works of art or um, stickers, whatever it might be. This is um, figures, yeah, action figures, whichever it might be. This is about the actual collection and it's beautifully displayed. It comes in this lovely kind of leather box here. Um, let me show you, because every single one of these are wow. amazingly... Have you seen them before? I saw it on here. I haven't seen it in person. Yeah, they're incredibly hand-carved. And the detail of these carvings are mind-blowing. Look at this. Wow. Look, Look at the quality of that colour. The details are absolutely mind-blowing. They're all top-drilled as well, if you did want to commission these into pieces of jewellery. Um, so, Wow. I mean, imagine if you're a collector of jadeite and you have that as your sort yeah, of centerpiece your of your collection. Wow. The 12 zodiac signs. Goodness me. Um, so you can have the rabbit. So it's the year of, isn't it? The year of. There's the tiger. The year of the tiger. Amazing. Year of the dog. Mm -hmm. Of course, the dog's going to be a nice little happy chappy. <laughs> year of the rat. Is it right? Yeah, it's right. <laughs> and it's a mouse. <laughs> There's the ox. Yeah. There are, uh, look at the level of detail as well. There's no question, the dragon, yeah. the most auspicious. You know, there's no question which each, uh, uh, the uh, rooster. The year of the rooster. Year of the monkey. He's cute, isn't he? The horse. The year of the horse. Snake. Year of the snake. Sense. Year of the ram. Yeah. 
and Year of the Piggy. I, I, just, just fascinating, aren't they? Like you say, as a collector, as a jadeite collector, to say that you own each of the zodiac signs. It's, it's amazing. It's and amazing. they're all hand carved, beautifully displayed. You might do nothing with this at all. I mean, this is something you have to get as a collection. You can't buy it piece by piece. No, 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 no. They did no. We're not selling these individually. You know, it's one of those that you know, like uh, my mum and dad used to collect those Swarovski figures. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Oh yeah. Um, so it was great as a child because I knew what I could. Well, I say as a child, I was obviously a bit older. Um, that, that I knew what to get them. You know, for yeah. uh, for birthdays. Oh yeah. Uh, but you still got, ugh, I'm going back some years now. They were about, started about £25, I think, yeah. or £20. Yeah. Anyway, but it was a collection, wasn't it? This is the finished collection. Yes. You know? Well, that's All what I mean. One. It's not something you can get piece by piece. No, no, you definitely It's only not. going to be a matching set if you get it all at once. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know when Dave came on air and he was bringing those one-of-a-kind carvings, you know? And they were one-of-a-kind. I get that. Totally get that. Um, but... There was one, and let's be honest, they were a certain price point, weren't they? They were price point way beyond my achievement. So, um, anyway, so he brought those. We're, we're, we're at three figures, and we are not stopping there. This is wow. owning that legacy, owning that level of rarity, an entire collection, which this is the Antiques Roadshow of the future. Yeah. You know, and you've, especially as you get your certificate of authenticity that's going to say type A, Burmese, Jadeite, mine closed in 20... Well, it's not, obviously your certificate's not going to say this, but, you know, that specialist will know the mine closed in 2020, know the value of type A, Jadeite, know the value of the amazing ma uh, master carving, that level of artistry, and 499. It is the Antiques Roadshow of the future. This is how I imagine it. And you can get hold of it today at £99 and £80. Beautifully. Yeah, just imagine that. Imagine, imagine in my 80s I, I, you know, or 90s, I rock up to Antiques Roadshow. I could do it tomorrow if need be, and I show them something like this. All right, they might not be an antique, but are they all antiques now on Antiques Roadshow? I don't watch it, so... Don't, don't you? Know. You should. Do, 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 well, occasionally, do. occasionally, um, but it's not good. regularly. But imagine their reaction to something like this. At £499, how many have we got, Ross? Four left in existence. Make sure you do check them out. A beautiful display, four left in the world. It is the kind of thing that every so often you might get out of your uh, display cabinet and show sort of friends, loved ones. Look at this. It's actually yeah. the 12 signs, zodiac signs um, um, in type AJ. It's one of those things. You know, like you have your coffee table book that every so often you get out yes. and you show and you have a little look within. There's a few of you there. I'll leave that one with you. Um, now, I've got the last six of your colour wheel. Last six. To repeat something like this, we have been told from our, our team, a little bit like, you know, the Japanese diamond company, what they said when they, when they first managed to um, facet a pearl for the first time. They were like, done it, never doing it again. <laughs> they were like that, weren't they? We are never doing it again because it was that labour intensive. Our buying team have all said, we've done it. And it was one of those things that was uh, an idea for about two or three years. They're never doing it again. A, they can't get hold of red or the yellow. You've also got aquas in here. You've also got your white and you've got the beautiful greens. So this is last chance saloon, effectively. Yes, I would say so. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to do this in one price crash because there are only six available. Um, if you want it, get it in your basket because there's only six. This is all type A grade. Some of the rarest colours, all in one amazing acquisition, one incredible strand. I'd probably reconfigure it, pop along to Gumps of San Francisco and see what price tag they bring you, something mm. similar. Um, I've seen some at £2,000. I've seen some at £10,000 for the multicoloured jadeite necklaces of this size. I definitely haven't seen them at 299 The final six opportunities. It's ticking all the boxes. You've dropped a, um, an apt word there, Monica, saying collector. If you are yeah. a collector of jadeite. Absolutely. And this is bringing you all the colours, certainly most of the colours that we've ever brought you. I mean, with this one, you could break this one up and you could have sort of like, almost like a display, like you've got your, your, your uh, collection over there and pick out one of each colour 
and have that almost like on a display. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of them you could use, you could pick out all the reds and put them in, a in one piece of jewellery. You can pick out the, the yellows and put them in another piece of jewellery. Or you can keep the rest of them together. But I would definitely pick out one of each colour. Yeah, it's up to you. Yeah. Well, it's like your multicolour barrel strands. You know, some people separate them all. Some people keep them in yeah. that mixture. Um, love that. And, they, and uh, yeah, amazing. I mean, if you go on to, we've mentioned Gumps, but if you go on Mason K, which is like a go-to jeweller for, for uh, Jade Eye. Yeah. Um, a, I, I do, I'm not saying they haven't, but you find very little of your reds, your blacks um, and your yellows. And if they are in a piece of jewellery, it's one tiny bead. Yeah. One tiny bead. Already these are going, I've got four available, that's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. It's one of those never-to-be-repeated strands. Unbelievable. By the way, if you're curious about this amazing, amazing um, object, <laughs> it's the longest loom that we've ever done here at Jewellery Maker, and we are launching it just after the break. It's brand new. Um, yeah, Monica can walk you and talk you through how to do looming if you've never done it before. Normally, they come about half the size, don't yeah. they? Uh, that's coming up just after the break. Okay. Uh, before then, though, the faceted. This is unbelievable. Six millimeter, purest white color. Look at that. Wow. Gosh, that's really beautifully white, isn't it? What do you think of jadeite wow. that forms over millions of years? How does it stay that that you know that crisp white in color oh, saturation? That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Jadeite forms. This is very much abbreviated because movements of tectonic plates and uh, those tectonic plates plummeting beneath the uh, ocean's crust, incredibly rare, incredibly rare. One of the most valuable and rarest gemstones in existence. Um, this mine is also closed. That's 800 years of mining operation gone, gone. So the jadeite market, if you like, has been completely flipped on its head. From what it's always known, and that's the Burmese deposit, it's now having to search elsewhere. This is from that depleted location. To be able to bring you this quality of pure, pristine, white jadeite at a double-figure price tag is absolutely incredible. Faceted to perfection. It's the final jade before we step into the masterclass and your wall of fame. Who wants an extra special price point? Okay. Imagine this with your nine o'clock kits. You know that topaz? Oh, yes. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yes. I didn't know we had white, white, white jade. Oh, what? it's I've proper white, seen, isn't I've it? It's the whitest that. of the white. Wow. Very few je white gemstones exist, don't they? Yes. Pure white, natural white. Gosh, that's beautiful. It is, isn't it? It's ethereal, isn't it? Richard Wise once said, who's the author and figurehead really that we uh, train alongside, well not in person, but alongside his publications um, with the GIA, said oh, um, a pure white jadeite with a moderate to fine translucency should be considered the finest of its type. Yeah. We're about to do a close out deal. Not nearly enough of you on the phone lines though to benefit from this opportunity. It is first come first, oh okay, you are there. Okay, faceted. We don't see faceted. We don't see pure round. That speaks volumes, Monica. The fact that you've just said that I, I didn't know it comes in a pure white colour. Yeah, I mean, the closest I've seen was the mutton fat, Jane. Yeah. But that's almost like a little bit of an off-white. Yeah, it? it is, yeah. I didn't know we had it in white. It's pure, 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 isn't it? Ooh. Ultra rare. £69.99. pence. I hope we've got quantity of these at that kind of deal because you're flying in for it. Think about, your, you know, knotting this alongside, maybe you team it alongside your Guatemalan or alongside your um, aqua jade. It is, it's ice, it's pure. And I know I always kind of say it and, and it might not be the best description, so do bear with me on this. But again, something that forms physically underground to, to be this level of clean. Yeah. It gets, it, I can't, it doesn't make sense. No, absolutely. absolutely My yeah. two-year-old just steps outside and is dirty. <laughs> this is <laughs> formed within the ground over millions of years and it's that pure. Yeah, it's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. amazing. At 69, is there many, Ross? 
Well, there's never going to be many, is there? It's jadeite, type A jadeite. And it's not dyed, it's not bleached, it's not polymer impregnated, certified completely natural. I would encourage you getting your certificate alongside all your jadeite purchases or jade purchases. Um, well in London, Swansea, Jeanette, Jackie, Christine, Jill, Heather. Hello to you, Cody, Tracy, Maker in Surrey. Lincolnshire, Makey, Jeanette and Christine. Is, uh, I mean, I think we're pretty much there. If you all actually check out the names that I can see, I think totals around about 20. Um, Julie and Tyne and where I can see you getting involved. Now, let's put 60 seconds onto your screens. And then after that, we're going to dive immediately into the break because next hour, we've got your Wall of Fame, Monica's birthday Wall of Fame. Oh. And we've got your giveaway as well, which we're going to be announcing. So is this the cutoff point for the Monica's giveaway prize? No? Okay, you can buy during the next hour as well. I apologise. Um, so we're going to do that at the top of the hour. And we've got the launch of your brand new loom, which is yeah. going to be amazing. The biggest one yet. We've got demonstrations and beautiful inspiration and kits. So check out your baskets. Well done. And very good luck to you all. Pure, ethereal white. And it glows. I would definitely put it with the old Mick Jade, I think. Yeah, that would be lovely. Perfect. Lovely. Yeah, it's rare though, incredibly rare to get it in this level um, of purity. Down to the 19 seconds, I'll be stepping out of this auction and we'll be immediately ducking into a break, effectively. Um, so good luck to each and every single one of you. Huge congratulations to you all that have managed to get hold of your beautiful Aqua Jade Eye and the High Goo and all the deals we've brought you thus far. Don't go anywhere because the Wall of Fame's after this. to do to apply for Britain's Next Gem 2023 is email guest designer at jewelrymaker.com with the subject title Britain's Next Gem 2023 and include your name, your specialism, how you fell in love with jewelry making, how long you've been making jewelry for, an image of your proudest piece. For more details on how to apply, Visit the Jewelry Maker website. Oh, and good luck. Back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker, and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world-famous Stratford-upon-Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three-course dinner, half a bottle of wine and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited. So order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker.
back, everybody. It's time to I make. That... Yeah, this is fun. This is fun. <laughs> but first, let's show off your wonderful entries. Oh, yes. Um, starting us off, this is spe specifically. It's hard word to say, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, for Monica, your. Do you want to read these actually? Well, because it's your birthday. I think it makes sense that you read them. There you go. So I definitely recognise this one. So this is from Kim Hopkins. She says, hi, please find my entry to Monica's Wall of Fame. These are seed bead pendant and earrings in 95 sterling silver, all from JM. Good luck, everyone. Oh, ah, that's perfect. Beautiful. Loving those, Kim. Beautiful. On to the next. Next one, yes. Oh, yes. This is from Alan Hopkins. Please find my entry to Monica's Wall of Fame. I've just recently made these inspired by Monica. They're memory wire bracelets with seed beads and freshwater pearls. Good luck, everyone. Beautiful, Alan. This was, Loving this those. was on my last show, I think, or the one before this uh, that we did these. I think uh, I was I the with Swarovski, you? yeah. I think so. I remember. Swarovski, I remember that. Yeah. Super. Next one. Yes. I love that. This me. one was from my last show. This is from one for, uh, number 154 from Anne Clark. Hello, made this necklace after watching Monica making her St. Petersburg jewellery from 4mm hematite and 11O, all purchased from JM. I love it and thank you to Monica for her talent and sharing her designs. Happy birthday to Monica. Have a great day. Aww. Oh, thank you so much, Anne. That's, That's lovely. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Oh, goodness Look me. at those. Ooh, lots of, wow. Alison Quince, number 155. Gosh. Uh, so, Alison Quince, hello JM team. I'd like to say the biggest thank you to Monica for sharing her inspiration, knowledge, and love of purple. Here's my wall of fame of Monica. Ah, oh, thank you so much. That's beautiful. Can I keep these <laughs> wall of fame? I think you entry? should. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Super. Ah, oh, those are all great. Beautiful. Oh, yes, yes. That's from one of my booklets. This is from uh, Erica Cotter, number 156. Hi, this is my favourite of Monica's designs. Wishing you a very happy birthday. Oh, thank you, Erica. Oh, that piece beautiful. is incredible. I love the colour of that middle one. That yeah, amazing. One. The other two, that. but that one I think is my favourite. Number 157. Oh, oh, look, and there's my little nutcracker as well. This is from Gail Birch. Please find attached my entry for Monica's Wall of Fame. I made these after watching Monica's demonstrations. I also purchased the DVD. The instructions are easy to follow. Good luck to all who enter. Aww. See, there's the Very DVD. Very nice. DVD well, the DVD's in the, the giveaway, prize. actually. Yeah. The little nutcracker, if you fancy making him. <laughs> this is so nice seeing everybody else making my design. Yeah, that's I love like, it. That's brilliant. Number 158. Oh, beautiful Pretty. as well, yes. Tracy Austin, hiya, Jane, presenters and crew, and the lovely birthday girl, Monica. Ow. Wow. <laughs> Please find attached my Wall of Fame entry inspired by the wonderfully talented Monica. It's a double row bracelet made from small pink opal rounds, Czech volcano alabaster seed beads, pearl atos, and pink atos, gold plated spaces, and box clasp. A little difficult to photograph, so I hope the colors came across. Mm. Everything purchased from Jewelry Maker. Enjoy your birthday, Monica. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, the colors are beautiful. Yeah, Tracy, actually. that's amazing. Loving that. Yes. Really nice photography as well. Oh, another one. That's nice pretty. Photography. Oh, beautiful. This one's from Barry Austin, number 159. Hi, all at JM. Many happy returns, Monica. Please find attached my Wall of Fame entry. I'm still sort of new with the jewellery making, but I hope my bracelet, inspired by Monica, is good enough to be entered and shown. It's a seed bead bracelet made with lilac and purple super duos, small pearls, aurora borealis crystal 11O seed beads, and a silver plated lobster claw clasp. All items from my wife's huge jewellery making collection, all purchased from yourselves. Hope you're all well. Oh, I like that. You used the whole things from your wife's collection. Love it. It's brilliant. Love it. Well, I'm, she, I'm sure she doesn't mind when you make jewellery like no, that. No, absolutely. Really. She's winning. Oh, Amazing. Beautiful. Next one. Number 160. Oh, yes, I remember that one too. Anita Rice, here's my entry for Monica's birthday wall of fame, inspired by one of her recent masterclasses. I used aquamarine drops and faceted moonstone with seed beads all from JM. Happy birthday to Monica. Oh, thank you. Lovely. Oh. Next one, 161. Oh, yeah. It's from Janet Ray. Hello, this is last Christmas, but just starting this year's collection. Thank you, Monica, for teaching me this technique, as I am not a seed beater. Happy birthday, Monica. Well, you wouldn't never know that you're not a seed beater. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, next one. Number 162. 
Ah, oh, yes, I remember. Oh, oh, I just had this piece of jewelry in my hand recently. This is 162 from Caroline Brown. Happy birthday, Monica. Here's my adaptation of your leopard head netted necklace. I've made a lot of netted necklaces, so I thought I would try a little variation. Hope you like it. Have a lovely day and best oh, wishes. Beautiful, I Caroline. Do like it. That's Amazing. really lovely to have it asymmetrical like that. That's beautiful. Well done. Number 163. Oh, oh, look at that. Gosh, that's a lot of... Fabulous. <laughs> That's from Valerie. First time sending to the Wall of Fame. As I hope you can tell from the photo, I absolutely adore Monica's makes. Yeah. And when she's on JM, I know that will be my next project. <laughs> Thank you for all your hard work and inspiration. Happy birthday. Ah, oh, those are perfect, Valerie. Beautiful. Beautiful, yes. Next one is from Trevor Edgar. Oh, very nice. Hi, all at JM. This is a bracelet made with gold super duos and silver 15 O's with bolt ring clasp. Hope you like it. Good luck to all in the draw. Happy birthday to Monica. Have a great day. Best wishes, Trevor. Oh, yes. thank you, Trevor. Oh, 165 is from Ange Smith. Hi, everyone. This necklace, inspired by Monica, uses crystal bicones and size 11 seed beads. Have a good day, Monica, and best wishes. Oh, I think Beautiful this was the design Ange. I did for, for birthday, I think. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah. Beautiful. Number 160. Yeah, that's the one I did for birthday. Hi all, here's my entry for the special wall of fame. Firstly, happy birthday, Monica, and thank you for all your inspiration and your beautiful designs, uh, which you share so freely with us. I think this was one of the after hours demo last Christmas, which I loved making. Ah, oh, it is, it was, for, it was for birthday in May, I think. Jewelry maker's birthday, not my birthday, jewelry maker's birthday. Love it. <laughs> 167, I think is the last one. Oh yes. From Barry Harvey. Hi, Monica. This is a necklace and earring set I made from the massive agate beads you brought to air a while back. I had to get two sets of these as my wife loved them so much I had to make a set for her as well as to sell. Uh, love and magic to you. Aww. Amazing. What a talented oh, lot. So and what a talented lady you are. Oh, thank you. I'm keeping these. Uh, you should. You should. <laughs> Do you know what? Should we, make, should we make three people 50 pounds richer? Let's do it. Go on, you need to do it. Okay. As the birthday girl, it's only right. Give it a good old spin and make someone... It'd be great if you could... Oh. Come on, now we've shaken the ticket. Right, so the first Number one. one. Receiving is... £50. Pounds. Number one. Oh, hang on. I'm sure we just read that out, didn't we? Oh. Trevor! Trevor! I was going to say we just read out that number. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay. Next one is, let's have a little look. Oh, 166. 166 is Ali, amazing. Oh, very nice, yes. Ooh. Amazing, next winner, gotta final it, winner. Got to give it another spin. I give don't often spin. get a chance to spin this. <laughs> oh, see, there we go. If we're on together every Wednesday now, you can spin it. It is good fun. Last one is 162. Oh, they're all quite close together. Well, very close together. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. 162? Caroline. Caroline. Oh, oh fabulous. Well done, everybody. And it goes to show. Enter it. You never know. Well, you don't need to do anything. £50 will be credited to your jewellery maker account. How amazing is that? But there is still another opportunity for uh, you to uh, win because you've just spoke. Oh, hang on. But, uh, so, ah. Oh. Okay, one sec. That makes sense. That does make okay, sense. Yes, so, sorry, does. just a little st uh, update. So, in terms of Monica's giveaway, which is all about this necklace, this earring, these earrings, um, the DVDs, and also the booklet. So, all you need to do to qualify to be in with a chance of winning um, is shop. And to make it fair for everybody, because you might be one of those people that shops in the very last auction. Um, or even after the show on the repeat. So what we are going to do, everybody buying, what is it? Any item. Any item on today's show. Okay, amazing. Is entered and then we'll announce the winner when? When are we announcing the winner? 
Friday. Okay, so okay. We'll, uh, we'll announce that yeah, on your that behalf. So, yeah, just because people might be watching on the repeats, they yeah. might be watching the very old. Yeah, that's So we enough. don't want them to be missing out on that. So anybody shopping today? Just shopping today. <laughs> Any item gets entered with a draw and we'll announce the winner on Friday. Amazing. Now, um, just before we bring you this brand new launch, we've got a very exciting, the largest ever loom that jewelry maker has ever brought it's at least yes. double the size isn't it or there i think so it is i think we've had one that was sort of two-thirds yeah now that's yeah. available on pre-order in my peripheral we have had a special de uh, special delivery and <laughs> from everybody here at jewelry maker can we all sing together and don't and everybody here in the studio that includes you guys because otherwise oh. it's just my voice <laughs> that they hear okay okay Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday oh. to you. Happy birthday oh, to you. Happy birthday, oh, dear Monica. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Oh, thank you. I'll just give, I'll give you a kiss symbolically mm, for wow. everybody. Thank you. Oh, Monica, we love you. This is going to be very distracting while I'm doing my demo. <laughs> Just the waft of chocolate and everything. We amazing. love you and I hope you have a wonderful oh, birthday. Thank you so much. And enjoy your nice meal. Yes, with I your will. free pudding. With my free pudding. Making it even better. <laughs> even better. Right then, available on pre order. Are we doing it now? Fabulous. Now, okay. <laughs> What is it? Firstly, what is looming, Monica? I'm just going to well, push these to one side for one second. So what is looming and um, do I need to be accomplished? No. What kind of skill sets? What do I need? Well, you, well, the looming is basically the same as uh, weaving a piece of fabric. So you've got your, your warp threads and you've got your weft threads going sideways. The only difference between looming uh, with beads is that you put beads on the threads okay uh, on the weft threads so the ones that go across not the lengthways ones mm -hmm. but other than that it's exactly the same principle as when you weave a piece of fabric with your threads going sort of across okay so it's really simple if you've never done any seed beading before ever this is a good place to start because it's very um you don't need to know any special techniques okay uh you don't need any special stitches you don't need to know basically anything <laughs> okay and it's one of those projects that you can kind of have out and get come back to isn't it absolutely absolutely um and it's it's quite satisfying because it builds up really quickly yeah because if you think about it for example with peyote stitch you're adding you're picking up a bead then you have to do a stitch then you're picking up a bead then you have to do a stitch mm -hmm. whereas with this you do your beads in rows so you do one row of beads at a time Right, so I even see. if your piece is quite wide, it doesn't take much longer than a narrower piece because it's really the number of rows that is your number of okay, stitches. Okay, so that's cool. But previously, like, so we've had looms before, haven't yes. we? We've yes, had we looms and they're fantastic. And we've yes. said the same, you can put it down, you can come back to it, etc. Think about like embroidery. You don't tend to do embroidery in one, one, one no, sitting, do you? No. You come back to it and you cross stitch, etc. Absolutely. It's a little bit like that. Um, but we've done looming before, haven't we? Yep. But N not of this size. No. So, so I'll tell you what we're going to do is start the demo okay. before we bring the graphics live. But I will also tell you there are 200 of these and you don't just get the loom. So in terms of items, this is on the photograph, you'll see. I don't have all that here, by the way. I can show you. Okay. Screen. So yeah. you've got, what's that? Embroidery design sheets. So you've got your sheets, which are these here. Yeah. Uh, I've got them in a plastic, but I can take them out so you can show those. If you you have, yeah, lovely. So you have are... the beading thread. Yes. Which is a nylon thread. Yes. You have four needles, and then you have um, a bag of seed beads. Is that everything? And then yes. all the components for your loom. Well, basically, the top half of that picture from the loom bars upwards, that all comes in the box with the loom. So you get a little bag of free um, mixed colored seed beads. Um, you get a couple of needles, you get a couple of small spools of thread mm. in, with, in the box with the loom, and then the rest of those bits all built together to make your loom. Amazing. And then underneath you've got extra design sheets. You do get a couple of the design sheets in the loom box as well, but you have a separate pack of them. Um, and then you, ha you also get a few designs, which are not in the picture, ready-made designs for you in the loom as well, which I will show you in a minute. And then there is a spool of nylon thread, which I will explain what 
that is good for. And then you have a separate pack of extra needles, which are really good beading needles. You can use that for other beading as well. Amazing. Okay. So I tell you what, let's start demoing. Like, so we've had looms, but they've been shorter. What's the benefit of having a long loom like this? Well, if I show you, let's say one of these bracelets. Well, this isn't a bracelet. This is a bookmark. It's on pre-order. You can shop ahead and Monica's going to take it away with a demo. But just to show you, carry on. So this is, this is normally um, the length of a loom. So you can make a normal bracelet length on, yeah. a, on a basic loom. So if I put that over the top of the loom. Oh, hang on. Um, where can just we, after the yeah. There. Yeah. So that's normally the, the length that you would do on a loom. So that's your basic bracelet, okay? mm -hmm. which is fine for normal uh, bracelets. But if I just bring these over quickly... Sorry, I will bring okay. them over here. So these ones are very popular at the moment, the, the multi-strand, uh, multi-wrap. So beautiful. Bracelets, okay. So obviously these are much longer than, uh, than a normal bracelet. They're three times as long. Yeah. Um, so this is the kind of thing you can do on the long loom, plus also things like the hat, which I've got on here. So the hat band, mm -hmm. right? So that goes all the way around. Okay, and then if you go down a bit on the necklace on the same display here. So this necklace actually, uh, I put it on here as a necklace. It's really a two wrap bracelet, um, but you can wear it as a necklace as well. So this is sort of not as long as a three wrap bla bracelet, but it's longer than a normal one. So that one, uh, I will show you in a second as well how long that is on the loom as well. So you can technically do a longer piece on a shorter loom. Uh, but you have to wind the ends, which makes it very complicated with what to do with the threads on each end. Yeah. And also the method I'm going to show you, because most people are put off of looming because um, if you can imagine you've got your, I'm just going to say vertical threads, okay, uh, and, and then you've got your cross threads. So your cross thread is one piece of thread that goes back and forth. So you have a start of your thread to finish off afterwards, and you have the finish. But you have all the long ways threads. So if your loom uh, pieces, let's say 15 beads wide, mm. you're going to have 16 threads going lengthways, okay. which means 16 thread ends on one end and 16 on the other. That's 32 ends of thread that you have to finish off and thread in. Okay. Which is yeah. very off putting because normally when you're putting your beads on, it's all exciting and fun to do, but when you have to do the finishing bits, it's uh, really a bit of a faff. Okay. So, what that I'm going to show you is how to make a piece that that you don't have to do that for, that you're only going to have your your cross threads, one at each end to finish off, and one thread to finish off at each end for your long threads as well. Amazing. Okay, take and it for, away. But for that, you can't spool along on your loom. Right. So you have to have a long enough loom. Hence this. Um, hence this. Now, any questions, you can shop ahead, text in. Because I get it, uh, you know, you said there, so my ears picked up when you said this is a great way of starting seed beading. Yes. So if you've never done seed beading, then this is hopefully an introduction. Any questions, we are live, text in, but shop ahead. We've never had this before. There's 200 available and you get everything you need. You do, yes, absolutely. So I'm just going to move these out the way for a second. Okay. I need a big space here. <laughs> Bigger space. Right, so you're going to use your loom uh, this way when, you, when you're using it. Now, to put it together is really simple. Um, you just have uh, three of these sort of thicker bars going across here, and then at the top you've got two with like a spring on. And they're all just uh, undo with the, with the, are these called wing nuts? Wing nuts. I think they're called wing nuts. Yeah. Yeah, so you put them through and you tighten the wing nuts. These ones at the bottom you want to make quite tight, and then you'll see on two of them you've got this little screw sticking okay. out. Yeah. Uh, so those two with the screw sticking out go on the ends. There's right. one in the middle which doesn't have the screw. Okay. okay. So this one doesn't have the screw. Don't worry about that one. That one just goes in the middle. The two on the ends which do have the screw, so these two, you want to fit them. I mean, you can, you can spin them around if you just loosen the nut and then you can spin it around. So the way you want to fit it is for that screw to be facing towards the end of the loom and a little bit down. Okay, so basically if I put it down flat, okay. so that's where you want your screw to be. You don't want it to be Up facing point. inwards, you no. want it to be outwards. And you want that on both ends, and then you just tighten your wing nut to hold it in place. Hold the screw as well, otherwise the screw will turn and it doesn't tighten. Right, so that's your basic assembly. I mean, it's really simple. Um, there's nothing difficult about assembling it. Now your threads. So we've got two different kinds of thread. Um, oh, yes, yeah, we've got the Mayuki as well. Yes, we've got the Mayuki threads coming up. Now, this is where I say if you're a beginner, this thread 
uh, the ni is a nylon thread. It's kind of like the monofilament that we get in the beading um, packs, mm. uh, except I think it's a bit thinner than that monofilament. Um, so the reason this is good for your long waist threads, so your warp threads, is because this thread is almost impossible to pierce with your needle. And that becomes important again when I'm going to show you how to um, pull the, the thread ends out so you don't have to finish off so many ends. Um, you can also use your wildfire or your fire line for this, which if you've done a few pieces and you've, you've practiced a bit and you're quite confident that you're not going to pierce the thread, then you can use your wildfire or your fire line, which is also not easy to pierce, but it is possible. Whereas this one um, is extremely unlikely going to pierce through this with your needle. So this is good for your warp threads. For your weft threads going across, the Mayuki thread is really good uh, because it's nice and soft. So it does give your piece a little bit of um, softness. But also this thread is going to be brilliant for any sort of other beading like tassels, uh, like I said earlier, uh, because it's a really soft, flowy thread. I wouldn't use this for my cross threads um, because it's a little bit stiff for that. So, I mean, you could, I suppose. Um, but it works better with the Mayuki thread, okay? So should I carry on or do you want to show something? Should I carry on? Yeah, 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 right. please do. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So um, to get started, what you want to do is you want to attach your thread to one end of your loom. Now, the best way I've found to do this is if you make, I don't know what this knot is called, I think it's a sliding knot, where you just make a loop in your thread, I hope you can see that thread, and then you take the end which is attached to your spool Right, so not the, not the short end. Take the end that's attached to your spool and pull it through the loop that you've just made. So make another loop that goes through that loop. Okay, so when you tighten it, you get one of these knots where if you pull the two threads, then your knot becomes smaller. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the easiest way to start. And then you're going to hook that knot or that loop around one of, your, one of the ends of your loom. So when you pull it tight, so when you pull the working thread, so not the loose little end, but the long thread, that loop tightens around this uh, screw at the end, okay? So that's your, your thread attached. That's all you need to do to attach it to your loom. I'm just getting the end bit out of the way, put it underneath. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna put your thread through one of the grooves in this little spring, okay? And now you won't see this on the camera because the loom is so long, but I'm gonna do the same thing on the other end. And I'm gonna take my thread through one of the grooves and then around that screw on the other side. So can you see how that holds it in place, okay? And then you're gonna come back again. When you're coming back, you wanna go into the next groove along. If you're using 11-0 size uh, seed beads, which is what we've got here. If you're using larger seed beads, you can skip one hole and go into the next, uh, next groove, okay? But in this case, because we're using size 11, you're gonna go into the very next one, okay? Then you're gonna bring your thread down to this end close to you again. And again, you're going to go through the very next groove on this end and around the screw at the bottom, okay? And you're just going to keep doing that until you have as many threads as you need. And I will explain in a second how you know how many threads you need, right? So you just keep going like that. When you're finished, when you've got all the threads that you need, okay, just go around this little screw a couple of times and then take your thread out to the side where your wing nut is, loosen your wing nut a little bit, then take your thread around that wing nut, and then when you tighten it, that's gonna hold your thread in place, okay? Don't cut it off the spool, okay? Because what we're gonna do at the end, so that you don't have so many thread ends to finish off, is we're going to pull all of the excess thread, so all these bits here that you're not going to be beading on, we're gonna pull all of that out of your piece of work, and then that's gonna add on to this bit that comes off your spool, so you can just wind it back on your spool and you're not wasting any thread at all, okay? Which is great, especially when you're using Fireline, which, which is quite expensive, to be fair. Uh, you don't want to waste loads and loads of thread, especially because you can still use this loom, obviously, to make a shorter piece. Mm. Uh, but if you wasted all of this thread, it would cost you a lot of thread to make a shorter piece. But if you pull your thread out afterwards and you wind it back onto your spool, you're not wasting any thread at all. Yeah. Okay. okay, so that's how you get it set up. Then to start your beading, you're going to take your Mayuki thread, try and find it. The All end. of these are available on pre-order, the Mayukis, the actual loom, which is brand new today, longest one that we've actually done, and we've also got selections of your beads. Shall we 
Um, yeah, uh, shall we bring the graphics on here for the loom? Yes, let's And then do we that. can well, carry on because well, they are going on pre-order, so I wouldn't want to... <laughs> yeah, before we get started with the actual beading side of yeah. things. Um, here it is. So it gets you everything that you see on your screen. So right the way to your bead weaving design sheets. Yeah. You can make your own patterns. Uh, the nylon thread that you've just seen Monica set up with, the needles, the actual loom itself, um, plus you get some additional beads, which is absolutely amazing, isn't it? So it's a big kit. It is. It you is. Know, not every looming pack, which I've seen, introduces all of these components. Yes, and the, even the bees that come in, the beads, not the bees, the beads yeah. <laughs> that come in the loom, that little multicolored pack, those are the bees that are used in the necklace. Oh, Actually, lovely. I mean, normally, if you get like a pack of free beads with something that you buy, they're yeah. not the best quality. OK. But these are actually brilliant. I mean, you can see in that piece there, they're very uniform. I didn't have to throw out any oh, of those good. beads. Uh, and they're the same size as the Mayuki. The blue beads are from a Mayuki tube. Um, the colored ones are the ones that come with the loom. And they're really good quality. They're perfectly usable. There you um, go. You know, Wonderful. You know, Prime example. Any questions? Absolutely welcome. Now, we are not stopping anywhere near, even though this is a piece of kit that you will have, and as long as you look after it, you're never going to need to replace it. Absolutely. And as I say, you can, just with this kit, you can get started because you even have your beads uh, in there ready to go. And it looks like a small pack of beads, but actually it will go quite a long way. Yeah, I'm sure. Bring that with me. Did now, oh, did. we're at £49.99, pence, which to me seems like an absolutely amazing price point. Amazing. Oh, gosh, yes. I it's mean, not a closing price, though. There's nothing else you need no. to get started with this. You can decorate it as well. I like the fact that it's in yes. MDF, so you can actually yes. choose that. But for me, you know, like I said, you imagine someone that does embroidery or, you know, someone that does knitting, crochet or uh, diamond dot art. It's not a project that you tend to complete in one, just one sitting, is it? It tends to be, a, you know, a labour of love. Absolutely. But then, having said that... Um, there's a wide neck, a wide bracelet that I made. I will show it to you in a mm. second. Oh, it's, the, the one on the, the end, the very last yeah. one. Yeah. So that one is made using the pattern that comes in in the actual in the kit in the in the loom. Wow, it's cute. And it's quite a wide bracelet, and I made that in about four hours. Ah, oh, it's beautiful, so Monica. A lovely autumnal colours. Thirty nine ninety nine. Amazing. Is it not? Sorry, Russ has just said to me that's still not your price tag. That's fantastic. There are loads of you getting involved as well. I love it. I love this, Monica. I love those bracelets, the wraparound style bracelets. Yeah, they so, are so on trend. So you can see on there, you can put uh, leather cords on the sides. You can, oh, that's um, cute. Some of these are bookmarks that I've made. They're not all bracelets. Yeah. Um, you can do handbag straps, can't you? Absolutely. Like that. Absolutely. Um, all sorts of things you can do with that. And you can use any beads on a loom. It doesn't have to be seed beads. You can use microfaceted gemstones, like the ones we had in the nine o'clock yes. kits. Um, so uh, th uh, there's just so many things you can do with them. Uh, they're, they're cool, and I guess you can research different patterns as well, can't Absolutely. you? Or make, or make up your own. Um, as if thirty nine ninety nine is not your price tag. So you get your loom, which is not just like a single use. It is one of those pieces that you can use repeatedly. Yes. Um, you get everything that you see on your screen. So the top part is obviously setting up your loom and the beads. And then bottom part, you've got your, uh, your sheets. Um, your nylon cord and your needles. There's 200 available. Um, going even lower. I was expecting it to be more than what's on your screens already. Yeah. Because I've brought, I've seen some looms and and yeah, there's Ooh. definitely wow. There's definitely looms of uh, of of. Higher quality, does that, I mean, I, cause I'm not an expert on this, and I'm not complaining to, uh, 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 I'm not actually claiming to be, but well, that looks like a top quality loom. Well, that's what I was going to say. The Peakdale looms are definitely the best ones that you can get. Oh, there you go. You can because, tell. Because, I mean, you can get ones that are made completely out of wire, for example. Um, but the problem with those is when you put your, your threads on, uh, because it's wire, it pulls together. So by the time you finish putting on your last thread, the first one becomes loose, and it's very difficult to do looming when you're when any of your threads are loose. Okay. Uh, so that's why a solid wooden one is is the best way to go, and also to have the springs on the end. Some of them don't have the springs; some of them just have a smooth rod at the ends, which oh, well, again, gonna slide, aren't they? exactly, your threads are going to slide all over, and it's going to be very difficult to get it started. Okay. Um, so yeah. So this is creme de la creme. It is, I think so. Yeah. Ferrari of looms. <laughs> yes. I like that. 
Um, we've got 200 all around the world getting involved. Now, Monica, it is your birthday. Yes. You get everything that you need to get started. You get the wire, you get the sheets, you get the loom, you get the beads, obviously. You've but got, we'll bring you more bundles of beads. You've got some ready patterns in ready here. Ready patterns as well. in there as well. So you don't need to add anything to this if you don't want to. We are actually lower than the price that I I was expecting on your um on uh, you know as your kit. In my preparation, I was told more than what's on your screens. But it's Monica's birthday. We've got 200. I tell you what, 60 seconds and we're going to go even lower. So I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm thinking about this right now. You might know somebody they, that maybe doesn't necessarily make jewellery, maybe has uh, mobility issues or something like that, but like enjoys crafting. What a nice alternative to yes. say, I don't know, they might read, they might paint, whatever it might be. What a nice Absolutely. little gift. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. But I also think I'm... One of the reasons I don't make jewellery as often as I, I'd like to is because of time, effectively. Yes. I don't always have the time to, to spend hours into a piece of jewellery. Yeah. I'd love to be able to see bead... Um, but a loom, I can put down and, and, and leave, can't I? You can. Plus, I mean, as I say, you can make one of these bracelets easily in one evening. Um, so they build really, really they quickly. They do. They then. do build much How quicker than any that? other seed beading. Yeah. Well, we're going even lower. Jewelry makers all around the world getting involved. And again, any questions, uh, do text in. Uh, it's great hearing the fact that Peak, Peakdale, is it? Peakdale, Peakdale yeah. is a premium brand when it comes to your looming. And even I, as a complete novice, could see the difference. I can't yeah. actually see the difference in that. Um, so if you are thinking about looming, then this comes with the seal of approval from our wonderful Monica. $29.99. 200 available. Good luck, everybody. Maybe you're updating your existing loom. Maybe you're thinking, yes, finally is a loom yeah. of that length. And I'm pretty sure Ellison will back me up as well on that Pigdale looms are the best. I'm sure she will, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. I've got no doubt. Any questions, do text in. That's absolutely fantastic. We had 200 of them. Roscoe, how are we doing on quantity? 73 have gone, but you can still do it. Back to you then. Um, also, the beads and also your uh, Mayuki cords are coming up. It's all available on pre-order. Hello, Sue saying, uh, that's a Christmas present sorted for my 10-year-old granddaughter. Absolutely. Um, so she can continue with a jewellery business. Uh, yep. She'll be delighted. That's lovely. Yeah, all ages can do this. Absolutely. And if you record my demo, then she'll also be able to watch it back. So as you can see how to oh, do it. Oh, yeah. lovely. Oh, Big tick there, Sue. As well, yeah. That's fantastic, Definitely. isn't it? I bet it'd be something that like the younger generation was, would love. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I mean, um, we, I, we. I used to do this. I don't know if you ever did it when you had a sheet, of, a sheet of paper with sort of cuts in it, and then you had little strips and you wove those in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I yeah do it's remember it's that. the same sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I remember thinking back primary school years. I must have been about I don't know seven or eight, and I first started doing things like cross stitch. Yes. In school, we used yes. to do it in school. Yeah. And sing all wartime songs. It was like a really nice child. We did. I know. <laughs> we did. We used to sing all kinds of different songs. <laughs> um, but it was nice. It was yeah. really. Nice and this is this is quicker than uh, than cross stitching because I started a lot of projects in school that I never finished because they yeah. just took too long. Yeah. But these are, this is much quicker. Okay. Over to you. Okay. So um, I'll show you this bit quickly. So this thread, the Mayuki thread, when you take it off the spool, it's quite um, sort of springy because it's been wound quite tightly around the spool. I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's, okay. So to get get that sort of um, springiness out of it and also to stop your piece of jewelry from stretching i mean it wouldn't stretch a lot because these threads are going across but if you're using it for tassels or anything like that what you need to do is when you take it off the spool just give it a good stretch uh, and you'll see that the thread becomes much uh, sort of smoother and straighter and it takes out some of this the stretch from the thread as well because it does have a tiny bit of stretch so do that before you start working with it Okay, then you thread it into your needle, which the needles that come in this kit actually are, are pretty good. They're, they're normal beading needles, so they bend slightly. Uh, so you can use it for your other, other beading as well, but they have a slightly bigger hole than the needles, the beadsmith needles that we usually have. So they're actually a little bit easier to thread. So you're going to thread a piece of thread into your needle. Now use as much thread as you're comfortable working with. I usually use about a couple of meters uh, at a time. I will, join, uh, I will show you in a second how to join thread as well. But to get started on your loom, you're going to take your other end of your thread, which is not 
Maybe I should put a white piece of paper underneath. You might be able to see better what I'm doing. Okay, does that make it a bit better, a little bit? Yeah. So you're going to take the other end of your thread and you're going to tie it onto the very first thread that you put on your loom. Now, this is not quite in the right place. Let's just pretend. There it is. Okay. So you're going to go through between your first two threads on your loom. Of course, it's very difficult to see in all of this light, the monofilament, okay? And then you're just going to tie. You can tie a surgeon's knot just to make sure it stays in place. Okay, so uh, tie a single knot and then tie a double knot where you go around twice, okay? And that's your start, essentially. Easy enough to do. You just tie a knot on there, okay? Then... Uh, I need some beads here. Can I use the blue tube beads because blue those tubes. are going to tie Yes, in well these tubes are, uh, are on pre-order. I will, I will talk about the pattern for a second. So you get these pattern design sheets um, in, your, in your kit as well, but we also, well, a couple of them come in the loom box, but then you get a whole extra pack in your, in your kit as well. So these are really good because the width of this this uh, chart is approximately the length of a bracelet, okay? So I can show you here, this is part of my demo, this piece here. So that makes about the length of a bracelet you need for a single bracelet. Obviously, if you're making a, a wrap bracelet, then you can repeat this pattern three times or you can uh, cut it up and glue it together to make a longer piece if you want your pattern to change over the whole piece. Um, and then it's basically, I just use your colored markers. So I use this bundle of beads here so I picked out three markers that were sort of similar-ish colors, as long as there's a difference between the colors of, of your markers so that you know what, you, what you're doing and which bead you're going for. And then you just draw your pattern on here. Now, one thing I will say is don't be tempted to color in the squares fully like I did there in the middle, especially if you're using a dark color, because if you color them in fully, you won't see the black lines in between. So obviously each square represents a bead in your, in your beading. So all I did was I just put little crosses. So I put a little cross representing each bead and each square. And then you just make up your design with your colors, however you want to do that design, okay? And as I say, this makes one bracelet length. So if you want to do a triple wrap bracelet, what I actually did was I measured around my wrist three times, and then that's the length that I made. Um, make sure it goes all the way around. You will have a clasp on the end, which will make it a bit longer, but you need that extra space to give it a little bit of sort of movement on your wrist. Um, so as, you be, as you're beading on your loom, you can measure the length of the piece that you've done, and that's the best way to work out the length that you're going to need for a triple wrap bracelet. Um, so now, when you have your pattern and you've got your beads, I'm going to put some of my beads out here, if you give me a second. So I've got my, because I want to show you how to pick, pick the beads for your pattern as mm -hmm. well. This is nice, Monica. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's nice. Right. So, oh, I haven't got enough space on this desk. I know. <laughs> You've got the biggest desk in the world. You can always move me if you want. No, it's fine. <laughs> right. So, turn your pattern sideways like that because your loom is sitting sideways like that as well. Okay? Yeah. And use a ruler on your pattern. Okay? So, now you're going to, the way you're going to pick up your bees for your pattern, really, I have loads of space. It's just how much I can fit into the camera. That's ah, the problem. <laughs> Right, so I've got my needle with my thread attached to my loom. Now, I haven't got all the threads on my loom here, so I'm just going to do a small section. So what you first want to do is take your needle and thread, right, and put it underneath your threads on your loom. You want to bring it through underneath. So remember, it's attached to the leftmost thread, and you want your thread to go underneath and come out on the right-hand side, okay? Mm -hmm. Then what you're going to do to follow your pattern, you're going to... Follow the beads, okay? So for example, I've got two of the dark blue here, so I would pick up two of the dark blue. I'll bring it over to the pattern so you can see. And then we'll pick up two of the medium blues. And then I would pick up two of the lighter blues. And you go all the way across all of those. Now, I've only got four th threads on here. So the way you work out the number of threads you're gonna need here is if you count, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16. I've got 17 beads going across my bracelet here. If you have 17 beads, it means you need 18 of your threads going along your loom because obviously you start at one end and then you've got one in between each and then you've got another one on the other end. So you need one more thread than the number of beads that you have in the width of your bracelet, okay? And then you're gonna pick up one entire row of beads onto your needle. Now I've only put the first four threads on here, so I'm only gonna pick up the first three beads, but I can show you the technique with that anyway. So you've got your beads on there. Just say, say you've got your 18, how, how much was it? 19, 17 beads I think I had there. So you pick up all your beads, you bring them along to your loom. I'll bring it over a bit here. Mm -hmm. Is that good? So you bring your beads down, put your needle down, and then use your hand to just hold onto the thread and push your beads underneath the threads that you've got on your loom. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to position each bead to go in between each of those threads. Okay, now you ideally you want to push your beads down with your right hand, but you want to take your left hand and you want to push, push those beads up in between those threads mm -hmm. so that they stick up one between each thread. Obviously your bracelet would be wider, or it doesn't have to be, you can make a really narrow one as well. Okay, then you're going to take your thread, because remember now your thread is coming underneath your loom. Now you're going to take your thread, you're going to go back through all of those beads, but you need to make sure that your thread is now going on top of the, the threads on your loom. So you want to go through your beads. This is why you need to push them up through the threads on the loom. And you want to go through your beads above each of those threads. Okay, so can you see I've got the, the clear threads underneath and my needle is going across over the top of them. So when you pull that tight, that will hold your beads in place because you've got one thread going through your beads underneath and you've got another thread going through your beads over the top of these mm. cross beads, cross threads, okay? Then you're gonna take your thread underneath again from the left to the right, just, just the same as how we started, right? So again, you've got your thread going underneath those over to the right. Then you pick up your next three beads. I'm not gonna follow the pattern now. I'm just gonna pick up the, any beads here just so that you can see what I'm doing. Bring your beads down again to the loom. Push them down and put them in position and then use your left hand to push them up where they sit, okay? Now another thing you can do is when you position them like this, push them a little bit away from the work that you've already done. And again, that helps not so much with this um, clear thread, but once you carry on with your fire line or your wildfire, and I'll tell you why in a second. So I'm just gonna go back through my beads again, remember to go over the top of those clear bead, clear threads, okay? And then you're gonna pull that tight. So that holds your beads in position, and then you can move them down to the rest of your beads, okay? So the reason you wanna do that, so you wanna separate them and then go through them and then pull them down is because you know that if, you're, if you can move your threads along your, your beads along your thread, that means you haven't pierced through your long threads. If the, if the beads don't move like that, that means you've pierced one of your threads and that's not good. So you, you would pull out that row and do it again, okay? So this is a good way to make sure that you haven't pierced through. You can see I can move those beads up and down quite easily, okay? And then you're gonna carry on doing every single row just like that. Now, I'll quickly show you how to join this thread because you, there's no way you'll be able to use enough thread to make up a whole bracelet. So I want to show you how to join. Well, you've just led us nicely into what I need to bring to air, oh, yeah. actually, the Mayu thread. beading thread. So um, now, in no particular order, should we start with the blue just because it does that on the website? Yes. Um, here we go. So this is Mayuki, which I would say as sea beading, it's a premium brand, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. So you get 50 meters? Yeah. Which I suppose you're going to need a lot of meterage for your looming. You are. I mean, for, for this bracelet that I made here, I probably used about six meters. Okay. So it's not that much. Actually, but, that's surprising. Yeah. yeah, it's actually quite surprising. No, for almost 10 bracelets. <coughs> yeah, not too bad at all. Don't be fooled by these little deceptive spools. Um, 16.99. I know it's a strange sentence, isn't it? Uh, 16.99 for the blue. You can shop ahead on these. I've also got um this lovely sort of like a deep purple and also a lovely forest green so those are coming up you can shop ahead and pre-order on those but right now for the blue oh, really 3.99 oh that's brilliant i've got no gauge that this seems is, like i a mean good if you price. say that's enough for 10 bracelets i say it's enough for 10 bracelets then that's 40 p per bracelet that's not bad is it yeah. and it's a, you can't do without your beading thread can you no and, and as i mean you can use fire line but that will be uh 
almost double that price if you use Fireline or Wildfire. Okay. And also, as I say, this thread is essential for your tassels and your, your fringe earrings, that sort of thing, where you need a bit of uh, flow in your... Okay, in your there you go. Now it's brand new. How many do we have, Ross? We had 200, which is fantastic. And I should imagine lots of people are stocking up on these. We've got them in three different colours. 3.99, how amazing is that? Um, yeah, make sure you're checking them out. Likewise, shop ahead. Should we, bring, should we do that on the purple as well? Um, they're absolutely flying. So the purple is still to come. The khaki green is still to come. Let's bring the price on. And then you can you can basically shop simultaneously. They're all going to the same price tag. So purple up next. You know it's not something at sixteen ninety nine. Three ninety nine. All going to the same price point, and we'll do exactly the same with the green as well. So, um, have we got two hundred equal quantity across all of them? Amazing. Okay, so you grab those. Back to you, Monica. Right, so I'll quickly show you how to join this thread because um, those of you who do do seed beading would know how to, most of you know how to join fire line, but this one you do in a different way because you, it doesn't work with the burning the ends the way you join fire line. So I'll show you how to join this one. So this, let's say this is the end of my thread here and this is my new thread here. So when you're going to take your new thread and you're going to do the same knot that we did to start off the, the loom as well. So you're going to do a sliding knot like that. And then you're going to take the end of your thread, which is your long, I've only got a small piece here, but this would be the long end of your thread that's on, on your spool. And you're going to take that through the loop that you've made. Okay. And you're going to pull your loop into the same knot, like I say, that you started. So this end, which is on your, on your spool, if you haven't cut it off like I have, that's the end that you pull to tighten your loop. Okay. So you've made that loop there. Then you're going to take your old thread and you're going to put it through that loop just like that okay and then you're going to take the spool end of the new loop and you're going to pull on the spool until you tighten that and then you're going to pull it really tight until you hear a click okay once it's clicked then you can pick up your new thread or your old thread and your new thread and you'll see there's a really tight join there okay so then you can take all these extra bits here and you can cut them off, leave about an inch or so, and there's your joint there, okay? And that's a really good, strong joint, so then you just carry on beading as you were before. These little threads on the end will hide inside of your beading, and you won't see those, and that's gonna be a really strong joint there, okay? Now my talk back's just gone, is that on purpose? Uh, no, oh. no, it hasn't, we can okay. rectify that. I tell you what, <laughs> whilst we sort that out um, for Monica, because she can't hear the gallery right now, so we're going to bring all these seed beads again, different colours, so um, so blue's on screen right now. Oh, these are the Peakdale ones as well, so how all do right. you fix that? So, oh, yeah. um, so I've got blues, you can shop ahead on the fiery reds, we've got pinks, we've got greens, and we've got the monochromes also. Um, yeah. So those are the same ones I used in the brace that I showed you earlier, the, the red mix. And these mixes are great actually because they've got delicas and round seed beads in there in the same sort of color range. So you can pick out, um, in, in a loom piece, I would use either all round beads or okay. all delicas. Yeah. Uh, obviously the colors don't matter. You can mix the colors or you can pick them out, whatever. But I would use only the one type. You can do it with the different types really, but um, it kind of looks a bit smoother. Yeah. If you use all the same type of bead yeah, that makes um, sense. for the whole piece. That seems a very good price point, doesn't it? For all of those, 100 grams. Yeah, I think it, 100 grams. Oh, wow. 100 grams seems like a great price. Me. Um, okay, let's bring you the pinks next. How lovely is that? Pinks and purples. Um, very, very beautiful. Here we go. 100 grams. Yeah, that's a, that's a great yeah. price. And, and as I say, it's, the quality is really good. Um, well, you've tested them, I would them, say they're you? as good as the Mayuki. And... Well, the two best brands of beads are Mayuki and Toho. Toho is a slightly different size and shape. Okay. The one that we usually have is the Mayuki, and these are the same size and shape as the Mayuki beads. Perfect. Uh, Twelve ninety nine for the pinks and purples. We'll leave that one on the web for you as well. Um, just two different colours now to bring. Let's do the gorgeous greens. Lovely. It's greens and turquoises and blues. A little bit of yellow in there as well. Very pretty. Twelve ninety nine. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. These are all available right now. So I'm just bringing these up so you can shop ahead on these. These are the uh, um, Picolom. 
And last but by no means least, you've got your lovely monochrome. So you can shop simultaneously while, whilst Monica um, completes her demonstration. Amazing. So obviously not stopping at $49.99. You get a full 100 gram um, tube or bag, however, which way they come. Yeah, Perfect. That's but everything as, you need. That's about as much as four tubes worth. Is it? Well, you've got 24 grams in a tube, so 100 grams, that's four Of course tubes. it is, yeah. Four tubes, the yeah. equivalent to four tubes. Amazing. Um, back to you, lovely. Right, so the last thing I quickly want to show you is how to pull those threads out so you don't have to finish a million threads when you've done your bracelet. So when you've finished all your, putting on all your beads, so you've got your working thread here, one end of your working thread, and the other end, which we tied on with a knot, would be on the other end. Mm -hmm. So you're just going to take this thread and you're just going to weave it through a few beads just to make sure that it stays tight and then you can cut that off and you can cut off the other end as well. So that's those two threads finished off, okay? Then you're just gonna take it off your loom so you loosen your wing nuts um, on either end, which means that you can turn this bit here and you can just pull the whole thing off, um, off your loom. And the last bit, that knot that we did, remember, that we started with, if you pull the loose end, so it's already come off because if you pull the loose end, then your knot becomes bigger and then you can just pull that knot out and you've got, a, you know, it comes off your loom quite easily. And then the other end you just pull off as well because that one you can also turn. So this one I've, I've taken right off the loom. I did this one on the shorter loom just for ease of the demo here. Um, but it's the same thing except you have longer threads on each. Well, you might not have longer threads if you made a really long bracelet, but it'll look like this with your threads loose on both ends. Now, to get rid of all these threads, what you're going to do is you're going to find the thread that's on, attached to your spool. Remember I said when you're, working, when you're putting your threads onto your loom, don't cut it off the spool. So this is my long thread, which comes off the spool. Next to it, or on the other end, depends if you have an odd number or even number of threads, you've got the other end, which is the short end, which is the knot that we originally tied to get it started. So you're gonna you need to find this thread, which is your short end that's not attached to your spool. Okay, put that on the left, bottom left hand side. Then you're going to find the next thread that comes out of your, of your piece of work here. So you've got this loop here, which is the next one along. And you're going to take this side of it, which is closer to your, um, your starting thread, and you're going to start pulling that thread. Hold on to your piece nice and flat, and you're going to start pulling that thread. And can you see on the other side, yeah, that thread yeah. is pulling into your work. So you're going to keep pulling until the thread reaches your bead at the okay. top here, okay? Yeah. So now obviously this loop here at the bottom has gotten longer. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip it over like so, okay? You'll see now the first two threads are gone here. So you're gonna find the third one or the first one that is still there basically. So you find the very next thread that is there, okay? You're gonna do the same again. So you're gonna pull that thread and then you can see on the other side when I'm pulling yeah. That long loop that we made earlier is pulling through. Now, just make sure that your loose end um, thread isn't caught in that loop. So just make sure there are no other threads caught in that loop. It's quite hard to see. Oh, I think I've already pulled it all the way. Uh, yes, I have. Okay. So you're going to pull that out, which will pu pull your next loop out. Have I pulled it out all the way? It's quite hard to see with the clear thread. I think I have, yes. Okay. And then you're going to flip it over again. And then you're going to find the next thread along on this side here. Unless I pulled the wrong thread. I think I might have pulled the wrong one. You're going to find the next one. Oh, there it is. Yep. So the next one. So ignore the first one that you left on the side when you get to this end again. And you just want to pull the next one along that is still there. On the other side, you won't have that loose little end thread, obviously, because that's on the one side. So you just keep pulling all of your threads out, just like that. And then you go into the next one, flip it over, and you keep pulling, keep pulling, until eventually you get to the thread which is attached to your spool, okay, your long thread, which is here. And you're gonna, that's going to be the last one that you pull. So you pull that, pull that, pull that, and then you can take all of that thread, you can wind it back onto your spool, and then you just have that one thread, which was your long thread, cut it off about here, and then you can tie it on into a knot, and you can use the other thread that you started with, which is also a short piece, tie that into a knot as well, and you're basically done. Oh, Monica, that's so <laughs> awesome. I love it. First ever extra long loom that we've done yeah. here at Jewelry Maker. Loads of you have got still got this in your baskets. We only had 200 and it's busy, busy, busy today. Monica, 
Amazing. And then this just just want to show you quickly. That's how you finish it off. So yep. you can get these uh, these slider clasps. We've had these on Jewelry Maker before. Yeah, perfect. Um, thank you for oh, joining us and happy pleasure. birthday, oh, my thank lovely. You so much. Thank you. Enjoy your thank cake. You for the cake, yes. Enjoy your dinner oh, as will. well. When you're <laughs> back with us, do you know? Uh, on the 10th of October. 10th of October. Also, oh, not too long. Uh, in two weeks' time, with you again. Yay! <laughs> I get a double dose of our lovely Monica. Amazing. Um, make sure you check out your baskets on any of the items that we brought you so far. If you have missed out on anything, then you can always wish list it. Um, coming up tomorrow, you've got Claire. Oh, gorgeous Claire. So that's going to be a treat for you and lots of amazing goodies. Dave's on at 10. Um, and he was saying, what did he, he did mention it, didn't he? Nephrite, that's it. A brand new parcel um, of Nephrite. I'm back with you now on the weekend. So on Friday, we've got Susie um, and Dave. So that's going to be an absolutely super show. Then I've got Mark, I know, on Saturday. Um, we, and what is it? think off the top of my head right now sorry i've slept since then anyway it's going to be amazing stay with us though because you've got our sister channel up next with um amazing hobby makeup we'll see you soon Bye. did you know that calls are free from a uk 